your big nose sack of arrogant shit. If you even have one little thought in your empty ass head that I'm going to sign a release form to do that stupid ass childish balloon stunt, you are absolutely the... Why does he keep calling me? It's like, well, don't, don't do it. He's going to do it. Well, that's why he keeps calling. He can't no. believe you're not taking him at his word. Mm-hmm. I don't know if I could sit through this whole thing. Do you really want to hear it all? I just love it when he calls you names. All right, you want to hear it? Yeah. It Are talk. You? He talks till it runs out. Yeah. How long is that? Well, he's got two of them. A well, 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 minute. This one's a minute two, and this other one's a minute seventeen. I mean, yeah. it just goes. Till, you know, sometimes it's sort of random. Right. Dumbest person, and I have ever talked to in my life. There is no fucking shot that you are going to get my hand to sign my name on a release form. No, I will. So stop. And you will do it willingly. Wasting that balloon woman's time. Because that's all you're doing. <laughs> is wasting that woman's time that she could be spending with a legitimate customer that will absolutely go through with it. Stop wasting her time. Because I'm not doing it. I don't give a shit what you say. It's not going to happen. You cannot. I mean, it's I, silly. Let me see what this one's about. Because that just goes. I'm, I'm just really absolutely sick of this balloon shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's not going to happen. Oh, it'll happen. You know what? I'm sick of you saying that. When I say it's not going to happen, it's not. No, it will. I'm, hey, I'm going to prove you fucking wrong, you big no sack of shit. I've been right about you all along. I don't see why I'd be wrong about this. You're my Mount Everest. <laughs> no, you know what? Here's the deal. The only way it's happening is if each and every... Hello. Hi, Larry. This is Catherine McPhee. No, it's not good luck. Hello? Hello? This is Ooh, up the virus. Knock it off. Lick my pussy like it's a piece of taffy. Hello? Who's Blue Iris? This is Catherine McPhee. Tell Stern that this is not funny. Oh, my God. Catherine McPhee loves to have her pussy licked. Knock it off. I want to suck your cock. Who is it? It's Catherine McPhee. Stick your midget tongue in my shit pipe. Uh. Knock it off. I know who this is. It's not funny anymore. I want you it to put funny when it began. I want you to put your head inside my pussy. <laughs> you don't want to put my hand in my fist outside your face. Stop calling. Fuck that midget. I'll just suck on Taylor Hicks. Jesus, what a grumpy munchkin little piece of shit. Eric, what's Ellers Donlos? You are a complete and absolute moron. It's Ehlers Danlos, my disability, you dumb shit. Why would we know that? Who would even, who's, first of all, you've got a stupid disability. No one's ever heard of it. Green How many people do you think in this country have Ehlers Danlos? Danlos. <laughs> I'm not doing it for someone that... And number six... Hey, and... shut up for a minute. I'm not doing it for somebody that 30 minutes ago made a really cruel comment towards somebody that can't help themselves. Who's this? Wendy. Oh, give me a damn break. The comment... Don't oh, do it for me, man. Oh, You've got a chance oh. on a girlfriend. Hey! Hey! hey. <laughs> shut up for one minute. Stop wanting to hear your voice for one minute. One minute. One minute. So getting back to my... So Eric the Midget is pissed again. Here's Eric the Midget. Uh, well, this message is for your big nose, retarded ass boss. Listen up, you piece of shit. Johnny and I tried to call you Thursday, yesterday, and today. All three damn days you left us on hold for 
hours on end? You ignorant, retarded piece of shit. Stop doing that. Johnny wanted pr to promote his pasta sauce, oh. and I wanted to actually do something called agreeing to the balloon stunt. But you could fuck that idea. <laughs> no fucking way I'm doing that. You've been leaving me on hold for that long. I love this you. is my little white ass, you big nose piece of shit. Bye. Eric the Midget excuse me, has left many angry voicemails <laughs> on my voicemail machine. You mean recently he just made a bunch of voicemail calls? Yeah, she's very angry that we won't roast him. <laughs> He's frustrated by this. And uh, you can see it's directed. <laughs> hey, Eric, Gay Ramon saying if he was alone in a room with you, within minutes you'd be blowing him. Oh, for sure. Not a chance in hell. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Eric, don't be a little homophobe. Come on. Hey, Ramon. Yeah. Give Eric some phone sex right now. Eric. He does it. I'm hanging up. Bye. <laughs> uh, what a little homophobic midget. Give him a little love talk. Eric. Hey, Eric. Suck on my dick, Eric. Oh. <laughs> Is Eric there? <laughs> He's there. He wants to see Are you there, Eric? Yeah. Please vote for Sanjaya. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Ramon. Thank you. I gotta go. Bye. Love you. Oh, hey, what is it, Eric? That really fucking pissed me off, you big nose piece of shit. Don't you ever fucking do that again. What? I am a straight man. Midget. <laughs> I'm a straight midget. You know, so what? So if you were really straight, then why are you so offended when a gay guy comes on to you if you're secure? Because I am. Maybe he stirred up feelings. What? You are insecure? No, no I'm not, dumbass bitch. Dude, being gay will get you thrown out of the mafia. You better be careful. Frodo hears about this. We got a gay godfather. You're a fairy godfather. <laughs> So what was he yelling at you about? Uh, he's, yeah, it's like when I don't pick up the phone fast enough. For Sorry. Him. Yeah, I'll play you that one. It's kind of funny. It's a little long, though. Hey, Will, this message is for Howard. Hey, Big Nose, what the fuck is your problem? You know, I left a message on Gary's voicemail that I was going to talk to you about this morning. Only thing is, instead of talking to me about it, you leave me on hold for two and a half hours. Now, by the way, this is like one of like 50 billion, you know. Yeah, you, you know, your last week on air, you were going to get an apology out of me for backing out of the Jimmy Kimmel trip. Because you leaving me on hold that Wednesday and Thursday? No way. See? No way. No. Hey, Will, this message is for help. Oh, no, I said it back. I set up the. I set this tape back now to oh, the beginning. No. Isn't there a fast forward on this? I guess not. Gary, where's the Eric pissed at Howard call so I can fast forward? Like, what page is that on? Go to Gary page two. I vey. Second column. Hot take, third one down. All right, thanks. Hey, Will, this message is for Howard. I'll talk to you about this morning. Only thing is, instead of talk, what the fuck? Oh, instead, I'd rather argue with Ronnie about the heating and air conditioning in my limo. Listen, big nose. Who the fuck cares if you're hot or you're damn cold in your limo? I certainly the fuck don't. I only care if you throw your big nose up off in that limo. <laughs> At least maybe it'd be an improvement on your looks. Man, he's funny on these. He's good. So. I'm going to be calling in today to talk to you about the very, or this morning, to talk to you about the very same thing I called in for on Monday morning. And I expect to get on the fucking air and not and not spend two and a half hours on hold <laughs> listening to your dumbass argue with anybody of your staff about anything. So, you know, it kind of isn't a important thing for me to get on the air to explain that message to tell you that I'm not going to respond or forward press one 
Yeah, 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 we won't last a second through right, this. Let's see how boring it is. All right. To Richard, here's a tip. When you want to do an, another person's voice, who's the damn redneck hick Kansas ass accent? Because, you know, it doesn't really work when you sound like this and you're trying to sound like somebody else. See what I mean? It just uh, goes on and on. It's and it relates what? to something that nobody knows yeah. what he's right. talking about. Right. It's just it, ridiculous. It upset him, but oh, nobody else the other knew. morning, dumb bitch. <laughs> Remember when I was last on air? Yeah, we don't. We, we, we don't. Not everybody like hears every bit of the yeah, show. Yeah, they're not hanging on your every word and living your life. Trust me, Eric. When I don't put something on the air, there's a reason. You know, I kind of know what I'm doing with this. Yeah, stuff. you're a moron. All right, whatever. <laughs> my audience appreciates my filtering abilities. We got you. No. And, oh yeah. By the way, you know how you've been playing those clips of the Star Wars convention? Yeah. I can tell you somebody that would not want me to tell you that they would fit into that convention quite easily. Huh? Who would that be? Hayden Porter. That stupid bitch that ratted me out a couple months ago. Here's the thing where I'll I got it. Oh, Eric, I got to go. I got to go, Eric. Thank you. She's a... She has a vagina, though. When Darth you, Midget. You like it. <laughs> Darth Midget. <laughs> I'm Darth Midget. Darth Nihilus. <laughs> uh, I am Darth Nihilus. <laughs> yes, Eric. You hung up on me as I was trying to rat someone out. Someone could rat me out just fine without getting any problems, but I can't tell on someone else. Eric, it's not I'm about that. Care. Sitting there with that empire of his. Big, I'm so jealous of that big picture of Diana DeGarmo and him. Oh, look, he blew it up. Blew it no. up and it sits behind him now. It's got a whole thing going on. Is that in his room or part of the screen? I, can't I don't tell. know. I can't it's tell. Part of the screen. Oh. But so, where do you have it? You must look at it several times a day. Beat it's off my, to it. It's on my computer. Ah. Eric, be honest. How many times have you slapped it to that? None. Zero? Really? I doubt it. Well, who are you slapping it to, if not her? Hey, this guy says um, he was watching your webcam, and he saw something weird, too. What is it, Rusty? What did you see? Hey, you know, last night I was on Eric's webcam. I saw him fucking a dog. <laughs> <laughs> Man. Eric, how do you respond? Is that I, true? No. <laughs> Eric, I know this is legendary Matt Rusty Staub, and he doesn't lie. Yep. <laughs> I'm telling the truth. I also saw him doing a Nazi salute and beating a Jewish kid. Hey, are you the same Rusty who calls into public access? Yeah, that's me. I, I listen love, to you all the time. I love to call. I, I, What's that show you call? Uh, Beyond the Rabbit Hole? Yeah, Down the Rabbit Hole. Down the Rabbit Hole, yeah. Yeah. You're very good on that. I love Eric's webcam, too. He's doing some wild shit on there. What'd he do on there? What'd you catch him doing? Well, I saw as he was doing, uh, he was burning a cross. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Rusty, uh, Rusty, outfit. Rusty, I want you to hold on. Yeah, I want to talk to you, Rusty. <laughs> <laughs> Is this Paula? Let me see your tip. Paula. Uh, oh, Rusty, oh, Rusty. Why? Don't do that. Rusty, you know, um, I love the phonies. <laughs> the phony, f what is it? She goes, we've had some interesting the calls, cranky calls. Some cranky, cranky calls. I like the cranky calls, <laughs> but um, not now, Rusty. <laughs> Let's see that. Let's see that shit pipe, Paula. Oh, oh Rusty. Rusty, 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 we're ending the show. Rusty, just... this is a Rusty. Would you hold on the line? <laughs> would yeah. you please? I want to talk to you, Rusty. I got nothing better to do, Paula. Especially you. <laughs> oh my, Rusty. I love you, Paula. Oh, thank you, Rusty. I love you too, Rusty. Uh, Rusty's one of our cranky callers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking bizarro. What planet is she from? She's from. <laughs> she's one of those like flower children, like. Kindergarten teachers, you see. You know? Oh, Rusty. I, my favorite one is where she, it's her last show, and right. now she wants to make friends with Rusty. <laughs> <laughs> and, you, and then you apologize to her. Don't go, Rusty. Rusty, wait. Um, can you hold the line, Rusty? <laughs> it's our last show. And it's our last show, and you're like, no. I miss you, Paul. No, come on, Rusty. <laughs> Paul, don't go. I have to go back to the flower patch. How did she look, Rusty? Was she hot? 
uh, she looks a little older than she sounds. Oh. She was hot their day, I'm sure. <laughs> oh, Rusty, but that's terrible. You probably so, gave her a thrill. So now instead of Paul, you watch Eric the Midget and you saw a finger up his ass? Yeah, I, I did. I saw a finger in his ass. I saw him, uh, uh, what else? I saw him shooting up. I saw him. Shooting up? <laughs> yeah. Wow. Had a huge needle bigger than him. <laughs> That'd be funny if like Eric had some creativity with that because do, like people would catch him doing weird shit That's on that. That's right, tying off. But he has no sense of humor. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I tuned in since my show was canceled and I was horrified. I saw Eric getting a blumpkin. <laughs> <laughs> hey Richard, this is your dad. I tuned in and I saw Eric getting given a blow job. <laughs> oh, God. Eric, yeah, he, Eric, do you ever do anything on that camp besides sit there? No. <laughs> Not really. It, I do my shows. I seen him hunker down on a feller's car. Why don't you do something funny? Like, an, if you want to get some traffic to that website of yours, I'm thinking, you know, I'm thinking showbiz now. Announce that today at 12 o'clock noon. Uh, you're gonna light an M80 in your mouth. No, like you're oh. gonna, you're gonna. Uh, even taking a shower, Howard. Mm. I would love to see Eric mm. take a shower. Well, he's not going to be naked on there, but I'm saying, do something, like, do something, like, at 12 o'clock, all you have to do is, uh, hmm, let me what? think. Oh, do I'm something. Saying, come, on, come on, I'm thinking, he's got to do something to get people to tune in. Would you, would you light yourself on fire for, like, two <laughs> seconds? Oh, oh. <laughs> no? All right, let me think. See, I'm telling you, he doesn't have to be, show everything when he takes a shower, but I'd love to see how he mm -hmm. takes a shower. I don't even want to see the stuff he's going to show. <laughs> what about shaving your eyebrows? What about that? Like, you'll, you'll shave off your eyebrows at you, noon. Do you want to know what he could do, seriously? Clean your ears. At yeah. noon today, on your website, you're going to take Q-tips and clean your ears. I'd what are your that. daily activities? What do you have to do? Yeah, what are you going to do today? I'm going to make a couple of phone calls, and then you know, later at 7.30, my time is idol gives back. That's till 10 o'clock, and I do that show. And then I, last night I was on here, I did idol. And then I did the... Um, no, but I mean, what are you going to do today to, like, maintain yourself? Right. I mean, when do you eat? What What do you do? I wanted to see you eat. I don't eat on cam. That's what we want you to do. Yeah, I'm saying you got to do oh, something. Well. On cam. <laughs> I mean, do something. We'd like to see what you do. I've played video games with the camera watching. Nah, that's not what I mean. Put yeah. the camera in your kitchen and see if you could fit in your blender. Hey, you wanted my advice? I'm looking at you now. That you couldn't fit in any appliance, fat ass. Well, I've, not many humans can. You know what, Eric? <laughs> that goatee and mustache? I'm not yeah. thinking it's working. I mean, even that, just it's shave it off. It's a little threadbare, isn't it? Dude, did you... Did you... Uh, Eric the actor, you're on the air. I haven't heard from you in a while. First, before I get to what I was calling for, the... Thing that you were saying about Linda McMahon, you said that she, they said that she created 600 jobs. Give me a break. Not all 600 jobs have to be shaved in bikinis and all that. All right, all right. Eric, we know. Oh. Eric, these are just like sort of things to make people laugh. Here he I'm goes, not, yeah. making sense. Yeah, <laughs> don't try to make sense out of anything we say. <laughs> you know, Eric has like no sense of humor, by the no. way. No. We know that all the jobs aren't about guys in bikinis getting shaved. Believe me, and the audience knows. Those guys aren't even in Connecticut. Yeah, my job is to make people smile. And then the other thing. <laughs> Claire, yeah, I, I have else. to explain the show to him. Yesterday, what is it? <laughs> yesterday, Gary made a severe mistake. For somebody that is supposedly has a 121 IQ, he's an idiot. Well, okay, go ahead. Give me well, an example. give us an example. Debbie's Twitter account does not have more followers than mine. It wasn't the Twitter account. It was um it was your um web page, I guess? Your your yeah, you know. it was the JFS. Well, okay. JFSC. Okay, okay, then technically he's right because I don't have a apologize to me. Apologize. <laughs> <laughs> I don't well you're only right by default because I don't well, you're wrong, but you're wrong because you don't know the difference between Twitter. No, because Eric's saying he's not on JFSC anymore, so it's not really his page. 
He does have you on a technicality. I mean, who knows what he does? Like, he, I, he didn't call me and say, I'm no longer on JFSC. We didn't know that. Who I even cared? That, I said that months ago that Johnny and I fired the guy. All right. Hey, Eric, thanks for the call. So complaining midget. <laughs> Can you finally fucking play my TNA video? What? Oh, please, Eric. It's so bad. I'm going to be fired for not for you not getting the attention to the video. You hear what's going on? Eric got this, this gig where he calls into some show about TNA wrestling. Right. And obviously they hired Eric. To get exposure. Because he, they know we talk about it here on the air. Yeah. So I've purposely been ignoring Eric because I've heard these TNA clips <laughs> and they're just insufferably Awful. dull. And like, I, there's nothing even to make fun of. It's so bad. It's so bad that it's like bad to even listen to them. <laughs> and so I, I, it'll it'll hurt us. I've chosen not to expose my audience to Eric's unbelievable appearances on TNA, and then he has the okay, nerve then, to call me then, and goes, "I'm going to get fired if you don't play the clips." Then maybe you should be fired. Then maybe they won't expose North Shore to any money if I win. Oh please! Oh, if you start that again, Eric. That's just, if that makes you look, that makes you look like an idiot. First of all, how much money have you donated to North Shore Animal League? Five dollars? No. How much? Fifty was the last. All right, fifty. That so was you one you donation. take it away there fifty dollars. As much as I appreciate that, and I told you, my wife even wrote you a letter. But you know, I don't threaten little innocent animals that are going to be you know dead. But by saying, if you don't play my, my stupid TNA thing, I'm not donating to North Shore Animal League. Don't donate. He's strong-arming you. What am I going to do? Using I'll, the puppies. This Christmas, I'll donate an extra 50. It, 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 to make up for your 50, you're not going <laughs> to donate. Well, I'm quite sure if I won, that TNA was going to donate a whole lot more than $50. No, whatever. Well, win on your own. I'm not going to be blackmailed into. Pay but is there one clip I can play? Uh, <coughs> I I was I've been pushing for this one. I think it's funny when the wrestler yells at Eric. All right, uh, I'll play that. JD one in white. <laughs> All right, Eric. Here's one of your clips. <laughs> I can't wait to see your big donation to North Shore <laughs> Animal League. <laughs> Here we go. Don't be out of their money. By the way, this show <laughs> is so bad. <laughs> it's like a show on the internet about TNA wrestling. And Eric was hired to be a part of it. And Eric, they don't even show him on camera because I think it depresses people too much. <laughs> right. And they can't yell at him if they show him. Yeah, I mean, when, once you see Eric on camera, no wrestler, yeah. I don't even care if he plays the bad guy, is going to yell at Eric. I mean, it's the only reason I'm able to be so tough with Eric is because I'm not looking at him. If I had to look at him right now, I would just melt. Well, that was well, the thing. We used to look at him on screen all the time. Right. And you they couldn't act, say a bad word to No, him. it's it's heartbreaking. <laughs> they actually were looking at me. They just didn't have their cameras set up where it would record me. But exactly. Was, exactly. Right, nobody can see who they're yelling the, at. The audience can't see how you know heartbreaking you are. <laughs> all right, so here's Eric again with that, that way he speaks, you know, that broken sort of gasping speech pattern <laughs> like when he talks you, you have to sit there suffer like through when it. he said that gary made a severe mistake yeah that's all i hear i i hear friends impression when i listen to her. it's like i miss the sun and i was just like <laughs> you just play the Gary made a veer. <laughs> All right, here's Eric the actor. One match you did get right, Eric, was the street fight between. But there you go. All right, uh, let me uh, say hello to oh Eric the midget. He wants to be called Eric the midget. Are you there, Eric? Yes, I am. Hello. Hello. You know, you always hang I, up on me whenever I bring up the uh, homosexual room, and so I haven't talked to you in, like, a week. Right. Would you go into the I, heterosexual room with me? Yes, I have no problem with that. No. Why can't you go into a homosexual room? Like, you couldn't go into a gay bar? 
Would you ever go to a gay bar just to hang out? Like, not that you're gay. No. Mm -hmm. You wouldn't take an appearance at a gay bar? No. Oh, my. Are you anti-gay? Are you a homophobe? No, I actually, and I wrote this online before, I've actually become more open-minded to that lifestyle by, you know, after being a part of this show than I was before. Right. It just it's just not your thing. thing. Right. I know that. Let's but, go down to the heterosexual room. Okay. All right. See? You didn't, Robin didn't even know I had a heterosexual room. I didn't. When did you concoct this? I built this after Eric wouldn't go down to the homosexual room with me. <laughs> There's Eric's uh, chair. He's on a lift? Yes. Well, let's do something manly together in the heterosexual room, Eric. Uh, Sounds like a home. Under man, he might have a shot. Let's watch some NASCAR. Right here. You all right with that? Billy Ken Hall. Right, right yeah. there. Want to have a beer? Came with a look, but lines up. I drink. Oh, you don't. She doesn't drink. It's okay. <laughs> Let's spit. <laughs> Do you spit? No, there yeah. you go. See? This is, is manly. This, is there a can? You just guys are spitting all over. We're just spitting on the floor like real men. <laughs> I'm going to do some weightlifting over here, Eric. You all want right. Eric to spot you? Would you mind spotting me? Yeah, but I don't know if I'd be able to open it. Don't worry about it. I, I only bench 95, but <laughs> since we're in the heterosexual room, I won't admit that. It only takes a finger. Right. Hey, look, Eric. It's a hot chick. Wow, the heterosexual room is... Hey, there. Hey, how you doing, honey? Is this manly? Oh, yeah, take off your clothes. Yeah, take off your clothes. Eric and I love that. Wow, she wants... She wants us... So sexy. Yeah. Eric, unbutton her pants. Okay. Uh-oh. Eric, she has a cock. Oh, how did you get in? We've accidentally walked into the bi-curious room. I think we're actually in the homosexual room. She has a cop. <laughs> There's a ton of naked dudes in here, and they have us surrounded. Eric? Eric, are you there? Yes. We I'm accidentally here. went down into the homosexual room. Now would you like to have a Pepsi? <laughs> We're going to have to suck these guys off in order to get out of here. No, that's not what we have to do. These guys suggest we have a circle jerk, Eric. <laughs> See, I actually... Do you remember how you used to open sodas in the homo room? Yeah. Hey, Eric, let me just open this soda in your asshole, if you don't mind, now that we're in the homosexual room. No, thanks. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> I just opened a bottle. Oh, Eric. I'm far. <laughs> All right, let's get out of the homosexual room and talk to Eric, because he's uncomfortable right, down here. Yes. All right. It's pretty good the way I tricked him into it. Absolutely. I loved it. I don't have a heterosexual room. <laughs> Okay, we're out right. of the homo room, Eric. See, Eric, it wasn't so bad down there. All I did was stick a bottle in your ass and open up a bottle of uh, Pepsi. And we know how much you like Pepsi. All right. We're out of the room now, Eric. You can talk. All right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you, I can't believe you were down in the homosexual room. How did it feel? I don't know. Hmm. He's confused. Part, part, of the reason, part of the reason why. Eric the oh. actor doing gay oh. stuff. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Suck that With a club foot up my anus, Eric likes it rough. All right. Go ahead, Eric. What do you have on your mind? Well, I was going to. You guys were playing the clips of Riley Martin, and I actually watched it. Oh, I was going to fill you in. Yeah. But you guys got past all that. Do you believe that girl had a dick? 
down there? <laughs> <laughs> she tricked us. She sounded like you a girl. You liked her at first, huh, Eric? Yeah. Hey, Eric, what is that? Mayonnaise on your back? Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Robin, even I got fooled down there. I thought that was a legitimate woman. You thought it was a girl. I did. You thought it was a chick. I did. That, 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 that guy f fooled me. <laughs> All right, Eric the Midget, you're on the air, and then we'll get over to Ham Hands Bill, let him promote his show tonight. And Eric, what's on your mind? Now, why do you have to make this a quick call? <laughs> oh. <laughs> because... I have so, someone to chew out, not someone on the staff, but someone to chew out. And you want to make... It's a quick call. Well, Eric, why don't you tell me what's on your mind? We'll see how it goes. Damn Natalie. That's what. What? You she deal with all, him. She was all nice to me and everything last week, but her comments on the show and on the wrap-up show have come up and bit me in the ass. You talk about Natalie Maines of the Dis Dixie Chicks? Uh, yeah. And those comments didn't have far to go to get up to your ass to bite you, I'm sure. <laughs> what, what did she say? Fat fuck. <laughs> you fat fuck. You bastard. <laughs> what did because she say? Of... All right, Eric the Midget obviously is angry with Natalie Maines of the Dixie Chicks. Let's find out why. Yeah. Go ahead. Well, okay. One reason is because of her comments about, you know, she didn't believe that I had any type of relations with Haley and Cherry, that's now cock blocked me. They don't want to do it with me anymore. They want to be platonic friends with me. Because of that bitch is comments making people think that they, they were lying. Eric. You really? They were not fucking lying. Neither was I. Eric, oh, do you really oh, believe that because Natalie Main said they didn't sleep with you, they're never going to sleep with you again? You think that's the reason? Come on. I got a text message saying that well. from one of them. Yeah, she said she didn't want to be any more than a platonic friend. That's all she said. Yeah, because of the reason and because of Natalie. Don't be ridiculous. Those girls don't want to sleep with you. I told you the problem, man. Shut up. No one wants to fuck sleep with your dumb, retarded bitch ass. <laughs> hey, uh, Eric, wow. I told you, those girls are hookers. What they've done is what Artie's heroin dealer did to him. Right. They gave you a little taste for free. Right. Now you're jonesing for them. You want the fucking pussy. And, you know, these chicks, they're in it for a living. They're in it. They got Someone's got to pay the bills. They ain't fucking you because they love you. You can't get confused. Yeah, they're going to be platonic friends. Please, Eric, they weren't in love with you. They hate you. I mean, they, they don't want to sleep with you because Natalie said they did it. They don't care. They're they hookers. were looking for any reason to get out of it. They'll sleep with you if you pay them. Got to pay them. And I bet you those chicks get a pretty penny for fucking guys. Yeah, come up with some scratch. They'll be your friend again. I'm telling you. Get it? You pay, you play. That's not the case. <laughs> nah, Eric. Boy, can it be I this know, naive? Eric, they work at a whorehouse. You know as well as whore I do. The whorehouse, the bunny ranch, has been Even. always... Eric, you want me to tell you the reality? Because I don't have much time for this nonsense. The reality is the whorehouse, the bunny ranch, is always looking for ways to get on my show and do interesting things. They love it. It's great advertising. I'm sure a lot of our fans go down there and, you know, fuck girls. So when you got involved with us, they're like, hey, it would be funny to get Eric the Midget down there and get him laid. They get you down there. They let you act like a king for the weekend. You get on the air. You're talking about the Bunny Ranch. They love it. They even fly you down here. They let you fuck the girls the night before you come on the show so you'll have a story. The Bunny Ranch got what they needed out of this. Now they're gone. Now they're gone, and now you're stuck with, like, oh, my God, it was great, these chicks. I mean, you never and got... And you're looking for a reason that you lost them. Natalie is not the reason. Yeah, no, no offense. If Natalie was the reason, I'd tell you, but she's not the reason you lost them. They're whores. I told you they're gonna. The the the, 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 the traveling roadshow packed up and went away and left you behind. Notice you didn't even have sex the night after the show. You got to put that together, man. They're fucking you because it's a good story on the show. If they wanted to keep fucking you, why would Natalie's comments stop them? You know how many people have commented to Beth that she shouldn't be fucking me, but she she ain't stopping. Well, that's a way different situation. She loves you. These girls. Well, that's what we're trying to explain to. These Eric. girls love money. I'm trying to explain to Eric that you know, even Artie, 
When Artie pays a whore, he knows the scene. You got to know it, man. You got to know the rules of the game going into the game. You're dealing with hookers. And then don't hate the player. Hate the game or whatever. Bro, well, that's good advice. Mm -hmm. Don't hate the player. Why, A? You know, but he never wants to admit it when he's in here. But you said to him, you're in love, aren't you, Eric? And yeah. see, Eric's little heart is broken. I knew it. Eric, now this is me talking to you man to man. You're in love, aren't you? I really cared about the two of them, yes. Yeah, I know it. I see. I knew they were yeah. going to end up doing it. I wish they hadn't even started with them. I hate when they break the little guy's heart. Yeah. Uh, see, That's this is, not the case. See, I'm the guy who's got to sit he here now and pick up the pieces. Right. Yeah, you're the best friend who's got to see him yeah. all Shut broken up. up. for a minute. The scratch <laughs> Even my idol co-host that was with me that day could see that one of them actually did generally like me. No, they don't. Bullshit. Eric, you're making They're the actresses. you're making the rookie mistake that every guy who goes to a hooker does. Point zero. You ain't Richard Gere, and this ain't Pretty Woman. And pick on somebody your own size. Gary Delabati taking a virtual beating from Eric the Midget, the angry little guy going thermonuclear in a series of wild emails to Gary. Eric the Midget calling Gary, among other things, Howard's effing a hole, ape face, retarded producer Gary Baba retard. Eric the Midget is so angry with Gary that it makes no sense. I guess Gary said some things that he doesn't like Eric or whatever. Then Eric fabricated emails from Robert Mills, the guy from ABC that I know. Yeah. And um, so another letter. Wrote him himself. And Gary caught on right away. He said, Eric. Eric goes, I'm going to sue you, Gary. <laughs> Robert Mills will not hire me because of things you said. <laughs> and Gary goes, I can tell you wrote these. Yeah. And then Robert Mills admitted to us that Eric is lying. Yeah. You know. But for some reason, he's still calling Gary and saying he's going to he sue him. He's still angry about this? This is my fault. And i, I got to tell you, Howard, it's like, you know how some people are addicted to drugs? Right. He keeps emailing me, and I can't help but answer him. <laughs> yeah. And it's usually like one-word answers. Yeah. You know, like he goes, it wasn't, it wasn't a hoax, and I just write back fraud. <laughs> and then he sent me an email about how... He's gonna. Um, he's getting me all the phone numbers for all his teachers that he was a student teacher. But he's writing in like three inch letters, and it's like, "Fuck you, ape face." I'm gonna show. I was a student teacher, and I was on the honor roll. So I write back. Right. Remember, he fucked up the math. We asked him to do yeah, nine times yeah. seven or something, and he I, couldn't get it right. I wrote it back, and I said, "There's no honor roll anywhere in the history of the world that would have a guy on it that takes eight minutes to answer what nine times seven is." So I don't. I can't stop emailing him. I, it's I, so funny. And now he's voicemail. Yeah, but you're engaging him. I know. And, and he yeah. and he can't say away. Working him up. You, yeah, you're getting him. Involved. Involved, and he loves to be involved. And now he's also voicemailing Gary, as Steve mentioned. And uh, I'll play you some of them. Oh, I, I love I mean, that. He's so angry. He's such an angry midget. <laughs> hey, asshole, eight face. You want to fucking war with me? You got to fucking war with me. Trust me, asshole. You're going to fucking lose. I'm going to make you fucking pay for all the retarded bullshit that you've been saying about me on the air. Shut those gigantic fucking cock sucking lips up, you sissy boat rolling asshole. <laughs> Better stop saying the bullshit that you're saying about me or trust me. Your kids aren't going to have a fucking college fund to huh? survive on. Fuck you. It's going to soon wow. take away Gary's money. But he, well, he can't win any money in a suit because I there'd be no damages. Right. Oh, dude, I said he's stupid. I'm going to bring in the CD of him taking eight minutes to do simple mul multiplication. What's he going to say? As I was saying, your kids will not at all have a college fund if you continue to bash me on air. You and I both know your opinions of me are nothing but bullshit. I could do math, fucker. I could do math just fucking fine. I'm not a fucking retard like you think I am. Excuse me, but I'm not you. So shut the fuck up, you piece of dog shit. <laughs> you continue, I will make you fucking pay. I have had it with you, you sorry ass sack of shit. Wow. You are completely stupid. Go to hell, you fucker. By the way. Go to hell. 
Looking at Eric, he's going to win any lawsuit, so you better be careful. I love him on the air now. I didn't used to, and now I do. I love the places he decides to take a breath My. when he yells at you. Is, there's a lot to love there. <laughs> One last thing. This is to you, Alf, or to Howard. Howard, I don't have any problems with you at all. It's your fucking retarded ass piece of ignorant shit producer that I have problems with. A lot of the fans are thinking that you should fire Artie for missing work this week and stuff like that. Next in line is that fucking eight-faced sack of bullshit that you have as a producer. That's the next fucker that needs to get fired. Or maybe he could get fired ahead of Artie. I don't give a shit. But the bullshit that is coming out of those gigantic ass ape lips of his needs to shit and stop. I am sick of it. None of that shit that he has said about me is fucking true. It needs to stop. Or else, like other celebrities that get shit printed about them as a tabloid, I will get after him legally and sue him for that shit that he said. <laughs> I won't go after you legally, but I guess obviously, even though you're his boss, technically, you have no damn control over him. And I obviously see that. But if he doesn't fucking stop with that bullshit, his kids... You could sue him for calling you an eighth face, can't you? First of all, I think he's going to have an aneurysm. I think the guy's going to fucking tip over. <laughs> well, the war continues between Gary and Eric. It's the latest, and uh, it is big. Every time I how, how, every time I email him, I say, I almost go to delete it. I go, I'm not going to send him an email. That I just can't help it. You can't, you so can't help fun. yourself. You love arguing. Well, because I know that it's going to be. You should. The emails that he sends me back are so. They're screaming, and they're. You, you fucking eight face piece of shit. <laughs> you know, he's gathering up all his old teachers. He's telling me he's trying to give me his transcripts. <laughs> I want to see that stuff. He says that he was so smart in high school that he was actually a student teacher. Wow. But who There's knows no what such, uh, Did he go to college? How could he have been a student teacher? Did he teach math? Who knows what he's talking about? Like, like, listen, that guy came in and said Bruce Lee taught him, you know, kung fu. Right. You know? <laughs> then you, then you dig a little bit, you find yeah. out the truth. All right. Thank you, Gary. And uh, good luck with your war with Eric. I, I hope your kids get to go to college. All right. Anything else? Where is Eric? Is he back? No, he's not. <laughs> Too bad. Yeah, he's. Uh, there's a lot of good stuff on there. There's a lot of train stuff. Look at its pages. But it's like you pages. didn't. You didn't buy him any train stuff because you probably thought that was frivolous. Well, yeah, I did. You know, because I don't know. You know, I don't know if he even has trains. And if you buy him one train thing, then it's not Some enough. Ways. Yeah, you need to buy him to start with the whole kit. Like a donut maker, at least is like something that he could live on. It's food. complete. Yeah. You know, I like to imagine him making donuts. <laughs> Like a Keebler elf. Now he's got two. He won't know which one to use. Eric, do you have a train set? No, not yet. See, that's what I was worried about. See, Eric, was... you're registering for, like, the barn and the little police force uh, for the train. you got to start with the track and the trains themselves. I have pretty much everything on that list. Oh, you you're have everything. Uh, Eric, you're into toy trains? Well, it's kind of... I went into them because my dad is a kid. He, him and his brother got a train set. Is it a, is it a hobby? Yeah, but you're like 37 years old now. I know, but we had this family train set and haven't had it set up for years. Is it a hobby or is it for transportation? Oh. <laughs> it's my M track. Eric's wish list is 57 pages yeah. long and has over 1,400 items listed. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Eric, what's the one item that you haven't gotten so far that you're dying for? Uh, uh, Jim, Jimmy wants to get it. For yeah, you. please narrow it down because I can't. It's hard for me to to go yeah, through all of it. Go through all those pages. It's too many pages. Well, let's see. There's a lot of on there. A lot of stuff that I would like. Just to tell me the me. one thing you want that Jimmy can get you that you want more than anything. It's on your list. Kind of hard to think of one thing off the top of my head. All right, well, I'm not going to wait all. You that. need to pare down that list. <laughs> well, I'll be listening. So the next time you call in, have that um, information, and you know, 
we can move forward from there. Still hung up on the TNA wrestling event. <laughs> That's that little midget in the chair? Yeah. <laughs> you I don't. can't stand that guy. He's so mean to you. Yeah. You just keep taking it all the time. I know. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a victim. I, I have a victim mentality. He talking about get me tickets. I want tickets to wrestling. Why you do that? <laughs> That's by the way, it's a good impression of Eric. Thank you, Eric. Even Juan is ain't upset with you <laughs> enough. Ooh. Good morning, Rachel. Ah, uh, <laughs> uh, you're such a fucking Very little funny. ass. You're such a little ass. Don't you think everyone knows that it's Rachel? You got to prove that you you're had so ruin, smart. You got to break the illusion for everybody. Fucking maniac. Oh. 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 Yeah, he had to ruin it. Proving huh? I'm not falling for that shit. Wow, you're a genius. Now we have to start the show all over again. <laughs> and we, now we can't even do. Uh, what, underdog lady is here, uh, Robin. Yeah. Hello. 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 Uh, uh, I've been waiting very patiently here. It's it's been a while, and my my bladder is shifting beneath me in this chair. <laughs> well, how is your health? Uh, 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 I've been suffering from from toxoplasmosis, which I, I appear to have contracted from my cat, uh, who's still <laughs> suffering to uh, to this day with it. Now, don't fuck this up, Eric. No, do they? <clears throat> keep the one line in there that I contributed, or did they? What was like, the line? I'll tell you. Keys, woman. Yeah, Jeez. yeah, they left that in. They left that in. I saw it. And there was a writer, Eric the writer. Actually, I thought that was the most awkward line. It was like I didn't buy that he that this little tiny dude it was know, bossing around. Somebody. Yeah, yeah, it was weird. It was actually the one wor line that was disconcerting. <laughs> I mean, did you think so too, Gary? When he goes, "Keys, woman." I mean, yeah. I, th I mean, I thought they were going for like a sort of a, a lame joke. Yeah. Like I was supposed to buy that the guy in the wheelchair. Yeah. Like she could just take him and throw him in a garbage. <laughs> right. Dump right. him. Like, like, like she should just push him over. He weighs like forty pounds. And just pick him up and throw him in a garbage pill. Like, what do you mean, cheese woman? Who are you talking at, Willis? <laughs> Eric so wants to act the man. Oh, he's so the man. He's like, cheese, cheese woman. <laughs> Sounded more like that. Yeah, I had to watch it twice to make sure I got it. Like a chainsaw. <laughs> Blow me down. <laughs> Yeah, go ahead. You fucking mind. It's Fred. Yeah. <laughs> hey now. <laughs> All right, calm down, Fred. Sorry. Eric's trying to say. All right, what did you want to say? I'm sorry. What you hear on air here and on that show was an act. This personality that you hear on air <laughs> is a fucking act. Oh, you're it's different? not my real personality, yes. Oh. <laughs> well, that is true. I do. Sometimes I meet Eric in person, like at America's uh -huh. Got Talent, and he doesn't say anything. He just kind of <laughs> stares at you. So if he's speaking, he's acting. I guess so, because like, I go to him, I go, hey, Eric, man, how do you like being here? And he goes, he's just staring at me, and he goes, <laughs> I I don't think Eric wants to work. He just wants to hang out. Yeah, right. You did the thank you. No, I I want to get as many parts as I can. Sounds like medicated Pete grabbed one of your parts. Ronnie's you already don't... grabbed one. And Ronnie grabbed one. Are you too straight picky. or are you gay? I'm straight. All right, would you pay, play a gay guy? No, not to insult you, but no. Of yes. course not, because you're, because you're not an actor. Eric, watch this. You're George, not an actor. George, would you play a black cowboy who yodels in a submarine? <laughs> <laughs> It'd be a stretch, but I would uh, audition would try it. for it. You'll try it. There you go. <laughs> Do you see the attitude difference, Eric? 
But he's not an actor. Yeah. No. He doesn't want to. That's, why, that's but, why I, for years, would not call him Eric the Actor, because I felt he wasn't an actor. No, he isn't. I am Eric the Extra. Eric the Extra. Right. <laughs> that's what it is. No, it's not at all. <laughs> well, how can you justify the word actor? When you don't want to act, then you're not an actor. Right? What do you, what do you consider Eddie Murphy? An actor. He's an, an actor, actor, comedian. Yeah. He turned genius down Ghostbusters. Yeah, because he had five other career. projects going. He he made a bad call on that. Turning down a role, but he would have done it. Yeah. yeah. By the way, the role for the for the black guys, quote unquote, in Ghostbusters was a very very small role, and he probably said, "Hey, I'm hot as a pistol. I don't need to be uh, do, doing five lines in Ghostbusters when I can be doing, uh, you know, uh, a Beverly Hills Cop. That ain't you." He got into you know position. Will Smith. Will Smith played a gay guy in Six Degrees of Separation. That's correct. That's right. Now look, I haven't heard from him since. No, I don't oh, think no. you want to act. <laughs> you just want to be Eric. No, you just want to yeah hang act. out on the set. You want to be Eric who hangs out on the set, right? Out of the door, Eric. Don't forget, you're upset. You don't want the rabbit out. All right, and action. Go ahead, Eric. Do it as angry and as upset as you are. Go ahead. Crap, don't let them bunnies out. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> Crap, don't let the bunnies out. <laughs> you realize it. <laughs> I'm sitting there. And so how many times did they have him do that line? I'm sitting there with Look, headphones on, watching it in the monitor, and I'm going, how was that? How the fuck is this guy up there doing this right now? Like, So the director says to him, okay, now you're angry, and you're going to scream. You're yeah. supposed to scream, crap, don't let the bunnies out! Right, right. right, right. Well, first, the first five takes were because they couldn't get the bunny to go out the goddamn door. <laughs> so at one point, you just see the guy flinging a bunny out the door, like there's a flying bunny coming out the door. And then after that, you know, and Eric goes, they always say in Hollywood, don't work with kids or pets. Like he's doing <laughs> shtick on right. the set. It's, so, so the and director, then like another five takes they had to do of that scene of him yelling. And uh, Eric, you can't muster up more of a yell? Come on, you really don't want the bunnies out. I told him, imagine the bunny is a caller that hates you on the show. Go ahead, Eric. And action. I'm not going to yell that loud. Yell. Yeah. I'm the only person in this house awake. Don't worry about it. Prove they that won't you can hear you. They won't hear you. These walls are not shit. Eric, shit. Eric, and action. I'm not Eric, yelling. Eric, and action. An actor acts, my friend. Go. Get them fucking bunnies out of there, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Johnny, you're pretty good. I can get the bunnies out, believe me. Eric, act like uh, you're emotional talking about that you can't get your Pepsi. And just put it into the bunny. Sorry. Hey, Eric the Actor, real quick. I've got this device here that tells you whether you're gay or not. Okay? All right. All right. Let me point it at George, for example, and show you what happens. <laughs> okay. That means you're gay. Now, point it at you so that we know that it does... You know, that it works? All right. Different things, yeah. Okay, this isn't me. Hold on. That means I'm not gay. Got it? Eric. Yes? I'm pointing it at the phone. I just want to know. Are you or not? This will tell us once and for all. Here we go. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Wait, let me test that again. That does Because he's heterosexual, I thought. Go ahead. That means you're gay. Yep. Eric, do you have something to tell us? I woke up for this bullshit. <laughs> Is there a man in the room with you? No, don't fuck. <laughs> because I'm telling you, it's going off like crazy. <laughs> This thing, this thing is going on. Look like, at it. It's stuck. All right. All right. All right. Stop it for a second here. I'll turn it off. That's what I'm just trying to figure. I said, who's the most heterosexual guy I can call? I thought it was you. And then this is saying you're gay. And it's not wrong. It seems to work. Let me test it again. George, I'm pointing it at you. Yes. There it goes. All right. Point it at Benji. <laughs> Point it at Fred. Point it at me. All right. Point now it point at it at Eric. Eric. <laughs> ah. 
Do you want to say something? In this beautiful Do you want to say something about this? I What? I am not gay. All right, so you're saying this isn't accurate? No, it's not. You've not had a gay experience? Not even any tendencies or... Anything. You've never looked at a guy and said, wow, he's got a nice cock? <laughs> no, dumbass. <'cause laughs> I've never I just can't imagine. Wait, wait a second. Let me point it at Gary. Let me make sure this thing's working right. I can't figure this out. Gary, I'll point it at you. Says Gary's gay. <laughs> wow. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> that was a weird one, too. Yeah, Gary's married with children. I, I think know. he's turning into Eric the actor. Why don't they make you a wrestler? That'd be great, Art. Mm. Like you wheel in in your underpants. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> what? Well, I have been thinking about not challenging him myself, but saying to him and one other guy I was arguing with on Twitter that works for TNA to take the challenge of taking on two guys that I find. Uh, I that's no fun. Nah. Mm -hmm. Why you? Why? What if they let you have your? What if? They, listen to me. Cut the bullshit. What if your wheelchair could have special weapons, <laughs> like like literally like little rockets that fire out and attack, like the James Bond car. Right. Right. Yeah. <laughs> like the thing that comes out of the wheel and cuts the tires. <laughs> cut people <laughs> like. <laughs> I'll cut you down. <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> Look for Skyfall. What? Look for Skyfall. Open Friday. Find me? I'm still standing. I, I mean, that's ridiculous. Oh, shut up, JB. No, 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 no. I heard you're good friends with, with RVD now. You guys are tweeting each other, huh? You're following RVD? Are you following yes. RVD on Twitter? Great. You know what? Why don't you follow me? Why don't you follow my foot up your ass, you stupid son of a bitch? <laughs> you better hope I don't ever see you. you oh, you better hope you never see him. Because yeah, you'll be so sorry. That <laughs> you're going to feel like a real idiot. 12 o'clock East Coast time. Midnight. Midnight. <laughs> yeah, nine o'clock West Coast. I see. Oh boy. Wow. Well, everybody stay up till midnight. So it's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, AGT because of Eric. Yeah, AGT wrap up show with Eric. <laughs> Alan, yeah. Do you, What's I don't know if you can, but if you go to Gary Page One and yeah. write, Eric left a message for I guess for Will, um, saying that we accuse him of talking slow, but I, I swear he's gonna have an aneurysm when he's leaving his message. <laughs> All right, let's hear it. I like am fucking abundantly clear with each and every person. Let me start over. Let me get something fucking abundantly clear with every one of us to this fucking show. I do not fucking grunt when I talk. And I do not talk. I do not what when he talks? Fucking grunt. Grunt. Uh, 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 no, it's, uh, it's uh, sometimes your words get uh, like that. In the first sentence, he says, Her. Son. Yeah. That's what they're saying. Yeah. And then when you some sometimes you talk so slow it's ridiculous. I mm, mm. Slowly. Do you hear me talking fucking slowly right now, motherfuckers? <laughs> I talk Mother at a normal rate of fucking speed. And I do not grunt when I talk. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Wow. I like that he had to start over. Did you write that down? <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, anyway, Eric has a show at midnight on the JFSC. And, and can we have samples of this? Um, I do have samples. Oh, wonderful. But I, I, I'm kind of avoiding playing them because they're so boring. He doesn't want to take the two seconds to do that. <laughs> By the way, wouldn't HIV be a step up from the disease you have? <laughs> no sex at all? <laughs> yeah. What's his disease again? <laughs> oh, God. His what, real one? Yeah, what do you have? Ehlers-Danlos. Wow. Ooh. And it's not a life threat. 
need one like HIV. Is. Don't people with HIV live longer than people with Elar Danios? <laughs> <laughs> it would be nice if you would pronounce it correctly. Charlie Daniels. He, uh, how, how do you know Charlie not. Daniels disease? He's Charlie Daniels disease. <laughs> <laughs> what is the disease? Ehlers, Ehlers Danlos. Ehlers Danlos. Igor, Igor yes. Danlos. <laughs> Igor. <No. laughs> Elor Danlos. How many people in the world have that? Can't be many. About nine out of ten people. Nine out of ten oh. people have Elor Danlos. That yes. means more people would look like what you. What are you than... talking about? <laughs> That's the statistics off of the website. Nine, Nine out, of... out of ten. Yes. That's crazy. Nine out of ten people have Elor Danlos disease? Then then most of the people in here would have it. But Eric, everyone would, I mean, <laughs> I, see, I don't see that many people walking around hey, like this. I don't make up the stats on the website. What website? That's what the website says. Wow. For the disability. You Lord Danlos. I never even heard of it. And you're telling me nine out of ten people. That can't be right. Well, he, everybody must have a very mild case. <laughs> yes, a, a lot of contortionists actually have it. I wish I could get a <laughs> special how, license plate. That's, how they're, that's how they're so flexible. Hmm. Well, somehow it really fucked you over. You're not flexible at all. I used to be. Yeah, the guy's famous and fucking boring as shit it is. <laughs> I know. Hey, Eric. Eric, look at me. I'm a big scary werewolf it is. I'm going <laughs> to rip you out of your wheelchair and fucking eat you. <laughs> you hear that, Eric? <laughs> <laughs> that Bigfoot Junior bit is so stupid. The real hey, Eric, even, Eric, how many thing. times today have you humped your bed today thinking about American Idol or Kurt Angle it is? <laughs> the real Bigfoot couldn't even... Yeah, 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 out. real Bigfoot, oh, that's real original. Right. Hey, Eric, what's nine times nine it is? Shut the fuck up, you <laughs> We're waiting. <laughs> 99 Eric. it is. Yeah, Eric, uh... <laughs> Eric hates hey, you. Eric, what's nine plus nine? <laughs> Ninety-nine as well. Eric hates Bigfoot Jr. and has been tweeting and blasting him all morning. Is like, that yeah, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah, my Twitter's blowing up. I don't even have a fucking computer or a phone in it. Fuck him. Right. <laughs> what do you got against Bigfoot Jr.? Sit. Stupid yeah, idiotic. get to it. Yeah. Hey, Eric, can we hear some of your hard-hitting predictions of who's going to win the fake wrestling match this week? <laughs> I want to place the bet it is. <laughs> well, Eric, I mean, Bigfoot Jr. is making a good point. I mean, no one cares about your association with wrestling. Honestly, you can't use my and show And I don't like even that. know what he's talking about. He's giving us results of something I don't even know what he's talking about. Of the pay-per-view, like somebody watched it. Nobody cares. Boy, this guy's fucking dead air it is. <laughs> if, if there was not any technical issues. <laughs> Say that again? Technical issues? <laughs> Will you shut the fuck up, you ignorant ass? This is a fascinating story. Shelly Lubin is here, but uh, I see Eric the Midget on the phone. I'm just dying. Oh, wait a minute. Aren't you him. done with him? Yeah, I'm so done with him. I can't even tell you. You know... Hey, Eric, I got to interview someone, and I'll talk to you later in more depth because I really want to explain to you why I'm done with you, and I really am done with you. I, this guy heard the bit on the air, the IQ test bit the first time. He yes. knows exactly how it works. Excuse me. He knew exactly. No, I did not. You don't? You I don't was, listen to the show every day? I was up in Vancouver. Oh, oh. I well, we still oh, told you you weren't yeah. supposed to get the results. We would announce them on the air. Anyway, you can have, Eric, you can have the results. You're no longer on the show. And I'm not kidding this time. I'm done with you because you know it's like American Idol. We don't tell people ahead of time what they got on the IQ test. You find that on the air and we all bet and stuff. And it's fun. And then you argue with all the guys. And you go, I'm going to beat you and I'm going to beat you. And then I go, Eric, do you think you're going to beat JD? And you go, yeah, I'll probably beat him. I mean, come on. You know, you know the drill. You know the show. I don't see the fucking issue of me. Eric, here's you the, don't here's care. the issue. We don't care. Here's the issue. You ready? We've done this bit a, a billion times now. 
everybody went in. Gary said this on the wrap up show. It was beautiful. He yeah. goes, everybody went in, took the test, and then came on. Nobody the air had a problem. Go, nobody had a problem. The one guy who has a problem is Eric the Midget. Yeah, always. And I always assumed Eric was like not really that much of a dick. Oh no! I, I really don't know did. How you you could have missed it. I, I'm the only one missing it, but I get it now. You're a major pain in the fucking ass. I think because of your condition, you've never been socialized. You've never hung out with people. I don't know what your deal is. I hung out with plenty of people, you fuck and big nose ass wipe. Yeah, you see what I mean? Yeah. Howard, do you really think it has anything to do with like his, you know, his condition or anything like? I, I don't know. I think he's just a malcontent. I mean, there've been other midgets that I I've mean, seen on the internet. Everybody I know went in, took the IQ test, came on the air, and found out their results. He is on the internet. I'm not participating in this. Uh, they lie to me. They're. I mean, I, it's always a problem with this guy. It's not, there, there hasn't been one thing that's gone smoothly. Not Ever. one goddamn thing I involved. In how many years? And I'm done getting him jobs. I'm done with him. We're Look how done. difficult he made it for you when uh, you tried to get him in touch with that guy from ABC. Oh my God! I mean, that's that you is know, like a I monumental could, I could thing. I can put up with everything, but you know what it is? This bit costs us a lot of money. Yeah. It, it, it's a major pain in the ass to find testers who will do the yeah, test. And he's in a remote, you know, he's not in the general vicinity. You got to yeah. do something special to get the tester to him. I went out of my way. I'm done. I am so done with you, I can't even begin to tell you. I'm glad your eyes are finally open. Finally and not open. that I don't like Eric, but you shouldn't put up with his BS. No, I won't. I, I, you, you wasted our he money. He gets rewarded for it. It's, it's only made him worse. You waste our money. You waste our time. It's, I'm done. And by the way, the fans have all written in and said, Howard, thank you. Howard, it's about time you dumped this Eric, the, the, the midget. He's so fucking ungrateful. Get rid of Eric. Uh, here's another one. Greatest day in show history. I'm so happy that all ties have ended with ETM. Please keep your word, Howard. And I will keep my word. I'm done. When I'm done, I'm done. You know that. When I was done with Jackie, I was done. Yeah. Eric's the same way. I, I, I like the guy personally. I don't know why. I know a lot of people don't. I've tried. I've bent over backwards. Uh, Eric's on the Internet saying laws have been broken. He, you're not supposed to give. He has to give me my results. This is medical information. I go, oh, my God, you, I'm done with Goodbye. this guy. He's just one big troublemaker. You want the results? You can have the results, Eric. I don't give a Enjoy fuck. Enjoy them. I don't want to know your fucking IQ. I don't want to announce it on the air, and I don't want you part of my show anymore. I'm done, okay? So let's say our goodbyes. <laughs> You want something to say? Go ahead. Now's your chance. This is your last words. If you fuckers, your audience, want me to start respecting you, you start respecting me. F you. All I do is respect you. You don't respect me. Yeah, uh, what, is, uh, what hasn't been done for you? You've been given money. You've been given you jobs. You you've you've gotten to be well, on TV yeah. shows and meet people you've always wanted to meet. Who hasn't respected you? I got you laid, too, for the first time in your life. I mean, you're so ungrateful. Forget you it. You don't even see it. Dude, you know the bit. You watch American Idol. You don't announce the result ahead of time. They don't tell, they don't tell Kelly Clarkson she won. Before she won. Before the show. The fun is to get your result on the air so you react to it. <coughs> you don't know that? You say you respect me. Fuck that, you do. Oh, bullshit. Then stop calling me Eric. The We're mission. not calling you no. anything anymore. We're, not calling We're, not calling. We're done with you. We're done. <coughs> So you don't even have to suffer that indignity anymore. Yeah. And Gary can get you the results of your IQ test. You can have it. I don't care. I don't want to know Sit your IQ. Sit there with them and enjoy them. Yeah, I'm trying to do something here on the air and try to make it fun. And you're just ruining it. And I wasted all my time testing you. I don't, I don't know why I bother with you. You know how we do things. You're not that out of it. And he's carrying on. Oh, Laws he's accusing you of breaking the law. Yeah, breaking the law. Hurting you, him in can, some way. Yeah, yeah. Just, just go ahead and in get fact, your results. In fact, even to get the result, ah, oh, they'll trick mm. me. They'll yeah. do this. They'll I mean, do that. I'm exhausted from you. Go ahead. Have your last word because we're done. You don't have to call anymore. You don't have to be a part of this show. And if you want your result to your IQ test, go get it. I don't care. I'll tell the doctor to give it to you. I'm done. Good luck getting laid on your own. Or anything else. Yeah. And good luck getting work and good luck everything. Since I'm not respecting you. 
Go ahead. What do you want to say to that? I don't know what to say. I know you don't because you you, you just eat my kishkas out. I mean, really, I you know the, the, this bit is the easiest bit in the world. Have somebody IQ test it. We all go and we get on the air and we give the result. I, it couldn't be simpler. He's making me. He's torturing me. I'm done being tortured. Are by you him. that bored that you have to make everything a drama? No. He want he he just makes everything difficult. Yeah. It's like, can't you just man up once and fucking be part of the bit? Do you have to make it all about you and begging you? And, and it, it's I'm done. I don't care yeah, what your IQ is. You're so hungry for attention. Yeah. Everything has to be difficult. I'm sure you have a fairly normal IQ, and it's not even going to be all that interesting. So we're done. I don't want to be bothered by you anymore. Please don't call anymore. Like you don't want things to ever go your way. Uh, listen, dude, you knew the score. You know what the hell. You know what this thing is about. Why are you explaining about. it I, I, to him? You're right. Why are you explaining I'm to him? I'm wrong, He's Eric. dragging this out. Once again, you're right. I apologize. I'm wrong. If you need the result to your test ahead of time, Gary will get it to you, okay? Thank you. And it was been nice knowing you, and we're done. Good luck. Good luck on your own. Call Jackie to joke, man. That's what it's like. Howard, is this goodbye? Yeah, it's goodbye. I'm not kidding. Goodbye, no Eric. Joke. Say goodbye. Everyone say goodbye. Goodbye. Bye, Eric. Eric. Before you go, what's nine times seven? <laughs> 63, you eight-faced fuckhead. What's nine times six? <laughs> 54. What? Shut up. What is it? 54. He's got help going yeah, on. Yeah, He's got yeah. a couch. Somebody oh. did it for him. There's no one here helping me. So uh, you have it written down. Have right, anyway, goodbye. I got a woman here who's going to be. Turned on or anything. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. nice knowing you, Eric. Nice. Thanks for being part of the show. I'm sorry this bit had to go. So t I'm sorry every bit is so rough for you. Uh, I don't know. I don't even understand what it is you're complaining about. You know the show. You know how we do things. You could be a little bit easy and work with us, but you're just eating my heart out. And I, you know, I, I don't have time for it. I'm done. I, I like you. Uh, you're a nice guy. We just don't see eye to eye on things, and I can't keep going through this. Thank you for being a part of the show, and um, and good luck with the rest of your life. We are done. And you've gotten enough out of this show that I'm sure you can continue your career on your own. The only reason why I wanted Goodbye. to ahead of time was because I didn't want... The stress of sitting here for weeks wondering. That is the point the of the bit, Eric. That's the whole point of doing this. Yes, but you're talking about you guys have normal health. Right now, stress is not good. For All right, so All listen. Right, so get your results and goodbye. Yeah, you, we're going to give you the results. Gary can give it to you off the air, and we're done. Okay? Because you shouldn't be dealing with us if we stress you out. Yeah, I don't want you having any stress. I want you to live a long, happy life. <laughs> By the way, everyone's applauding out there. J.D.'s so happy that it's Eric's last day. You have no idea. I'd like to come there and grab J.D.'s head on a wall. Go what? ahead. Don't you wish you could? Why? <laughs> Isn't that stressful? Me. Eric, it's just not working out. You don't understand the show. Honestly, you don't. You really just don't. You don't get it. And I don't want to stress you out. I want no. you to live a long life. I happen to like you. Let's end on a good note. You, this bit's not for you. I hate all you. Go to hell. Good. Uh, you go to hell. Have that feeling. Right. <laughs> Hang up on him, please. No, I'm 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 saying goodbye. Nice. No, no. He hung up on me. Good. Yeah, he's, uh, he's a douchebag. His you, final Eric. words were, "No, I, I hate all of you. Go to hell." No, I like Eric, but I I just cannot put up with this. I mean, we we went through all the trouble of getting him to do this, and now it's again a problem. And believe me, we explained to him that we would have the results right. released on the air. Right. He didn't have to have heard it before. He knew he wasn't supposed to get the results. He, he, that, but he doesn't want to be stressed out and I, you know what i don't know eric's medical condition mm -hmm. and i respect that mm -hmm. if it's stressing him out not to know his iq you, you better rest up that's <laughs> <laughs> all i can do now uh let's talk to bill bill you're on the air in amanda ohio let's say hi to bill hi howard how are you doing i'm doing well Hey, Howard, I just want to call in about this Eric the Midget situation. I really think you should reconsider Eric. What's this? Eric the Midget claims he hit a slot machine yesterday for $750,000. Really? You believe that? No. Me April neither. Fool. It's April Fool's. Could, could, you know, they go up that high. 
Big April Fool's <laughs> joke. April Fool's Eric. I'm called fucking footed, you asswipe. I know. Don't start out like that. Let's be nice. Eric, Eric. Go ahead, Eric. Do your April, do your April Fool's joke. Not an April Fool's joke. <laughs> you hit a slot machine for 750000 It wasn't yesterday, but it was over the weekend. Don't you Eric, think that'd be in the paper? the paper? Yeah. Don't you think a little midget that made $750,000 at a slot machine would have been in some paper? Yeah. It has not hit the paper yet, but I did do it. Where did you do this? At one of the local Indian <laughs> casinos. Oh. He's lying. We should call the casino and find out. Yeah, but why? Who cares? Let him have we his had to pay it. Wow, Eric, that's great. Congratulations. See ya. <laughs> you want to know what? No, I'm let's see. Let's take care. You're going to the bunny ranch, of course. I am Eric the Flyer. What are you going to well, do with the money? He's going to buy the bunny ranch. <laughs> well, you kind of technically. Um, I asked Rich and Dennis if I could become a small partner. Uh, you are a small partner. <laughs> <laughs> You're a small everything. <laughs> there was no no, I don't understand why you're making this up. I don't get it. Like, really. He's going to buy the buddy ranch. Who wrote this script? Johnny Frado? <laughs> <laughs> no. Hey, I got a good idea. You hey, should no. call that Howard and tell you him. call that fucker and that you tell him that you won a big <laughs> payday at the casino. And you're buying into the bunny ranch. Got it? <laughs> no joke to this. So, uh, you're damn right. Come uh, yeah, fly yourself not to laughing. New York <laughs> and let us see uh, this new big spender. Johnny, Johnny thinks I'm wasting my money by doing what I want to do by, uh, you know, wanting to partner into the bunny ranch All business. Right. All right, Eric, I got to go. Congratulations Thanks, on the 750000 Did you talk to Dennis about partnering? I just said that I did. Mm -hmm. What does Dennis say? He, we're going to have a meeting about it on the phone today. Have All myself right. in. All right. All right. Well, have a good meeting and let us know how it goes. Okay, I will. All right. Tomorrow. Thanks, Eric. Congratulations. See, now there's a guy yeah. who believes in something. He's willing to put his money. <laughs> Believe me, I wish Eric did win $750,000. I'd be thrilled. But to put his money in the bunny ranch, you know he's doing that because he thinks that he'll be able to get the girls all You know what's great? I was going to give Eric $1,000 because I had this uh, sponsor that wanted uh -huh. to give it to me. Now I don't have to give it to him because he was $750,000. Yeah, give it to somebody who I'll needs it. give it to it. someone else. Okay, Eric, so no 1000 for you. Okay. All right, thanks. <laughs> Bye. Give it to Richard himself. <laughs> Do you believe any of that? No. No. It's, it's, and it's such a boring... Like, who can, you know... Yeah. Who's a shit? It, wouldn't he be a little more excited if he actually won money? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> Yay! What is it, Eric? Eric the Midget. It yes? was an April Fool's joke. You were <laughs> right. But I fucking resent the fact that you didn't think I came up with it. That you... Uh, Johnny came up with it. It's all my fucking idea. <laughs> well, it was a bad idea. That's his, you that's ought his not second want April Fool's joke. It. I was trying to get you. I was trying to get you off the hook and blame it all on Johnny. Eric, it was the dumbest, stupidest, lamest <laughs> joke ever. <laughs> Eric calls up and tells us he won seven hundred fifty thousand dollars, and I go, well, "It's April Fool's, right?" So, Eric, the idiot. It wasn't. It was just lame. No, it wasn't. Who do you so think, who would fall for that? That's Eric the retard. So I tried to help you out and blame the bad joke on Johnny, and you now you're blasting me for that. Yeah. Did anybody fall for it, Eric? I don't know. No one did. No. And then Eric he was, the shithead. And he was buying interest in the uh, bunny ranch. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so you're not, still not sure that it was me that came up with it. Will All right, you came up with it. I, no I believe you. Nobody gives a fuck. Bye. Eric, the completely All right, Eric, thanks. unfunny midget. Thank you. Are you still offering that $1,000? <laughs> no, you, you missed out. I thought, I thought it was for real. That's how bad your joke was. <laughs> you ripped yourself off of a hundred of $1,000. Right. Eric, the stupid midget. <laughs> Thank you, uh, Eric. Bye, Eric. Right, that's Eric the Midget, who, by the way, is going to supposedly have a meeting at some point. 
with one of the producers of The Bachelor. And I don't think it's happened yet. But I think that's an April Fool's That ain't. I, I lined that up. At least it didn't seem like an April Fool's joke. It was, I think, in February that happened. <laughs> uh, what else you got there? But I didn't. Eric the Midget making some uh, weird phone uh, w weird phone calls to me. The guy said, hey, Eric just made a weird phone call. I said, let me guess. He's pissed that I hung up on him the other day. <laughs> like, isn't that always the case? I figured he'd be, you know, yelling at you on email or <laughs> voicemail I hear. after that. I got it for you right here. Hello, you big nose jackass. <laughs> what the fuck was the point of hanging up on me this morning? You rude ass piece of shit. Don't you ever fucking do that again. I was trying to get to another point, and then all of a sudden. Is it weird when a midget tries to be like a tough guy? <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't work. Like if that was Chuck Zito saying it to me, it's a whole different thing. You're goddamn right. I'd be apologizing. Click. Bob, fuck you, <laughs> you annoying sack of shit. Don't you ever do that again. That was uncalled for. No fucking reason to do that to me. I had more to say, and I've had more to say for two or three weeks. That was my first time to get on this show in two or three weeks, <laughs> and you abruptly hung up on me. You know, there are people thinking that I'm not calling the show because instead of you take my calls every morning, I've called, you leave me the fuck on hold. And people, they don't know that listening to the show. They don't know that I'm, they don't know that I'm sitting on hold waiting for you to pick up my line. As far as they know, I'm asleep. Or just listening to the show, not calling. Let me on the air and don't fucking hang up on me. Got it? <laughs> Got it. <clears throat> hey, uh, for those of you who thought Eric isn't calling the show or is asleep, he's on hold. <laughs> <laughs> I just talked to him. <laughs> He's the greatest, isn't he? <laughs> Eric the Midget. I love him. I, I, Doug Goodstein just told me that Howard TV is going to do in the day in the life. Of Eric? Yeah. Oh, great. I think it's going to be sad. Well, I do. I still want to see it. I'll watch it. <laughs> Jerry, you're on the air. Nothing wrong with being sad. No. Go ahead, Jerry. Hey, how's it going, Howard? Big All right. Man, man. Hey, you know, I went to high school with Eric the Midget. And uh, he he was such an ass. You think he's a jerk now? He, he ruined the last couple of years of high school because he had the entire place revamped for handicapped people. It was like a hundred year old building made out of bricks, and he had him put in an elevator for him. No kidding. Yeah, and the thing. What is, an asshole! <laughs> it, it was a it was a regular high school, but uh, how did that ruin high school for you? What's that? I say, how did that ruin high school for you? I mean, he got a... Well, because cause they, they had construction crews going all the time, building ramps. Any place you would have stairs, they had to put in ramps. And they couldn't just put in ramps. They had to tear out everything and put in concrete. And it had to be level. I see. So while you were trying to learn, let's say, you had <laughs> noise in the background. Yeah. Oh, okay. It is a pain in the ass. <laughs> Come stay home. I can't hear you. They're putting in a ramp. As we speak. <laughs> we're making way for Eric. You mean he yeah, was the you know, he was the guy who? He's the reason he failed. Oh, his plan. Was he, was medical he the, school is not for that goddamn midget. <laughs> <laughs> Why you? Yeah, what was he going to be that got derailed? Yeah, what happened? He's the reason I'm a shipping clerk. <laughs> <laughs> what, what do you do for a living now? Me? Yeah. I'm a land surveyor. I uh, I walk I, around, look at the land. <laughs> so you realized your dream. So what well. were you gonna be before Eric got in the way? A brain I was, surgeon. I was gonna run for president, but you know that didn't work out. No, you know what else? I uh, would have been president if it wasn't for that midget wanting access to toilets. <laughs>
Uh, no. No. I, I, My I marks would have been a lot him. higher if it wasn't for that damn midget. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know, and he never left the basement anyway. He didn't need the fucking ramps. Well, <laughs> you're obviously very burned by this. <laughs> uh, let me give you another visual of what it was like to see him walk. I was I... going to be an opera singer, sir, <laughs> before Eric the Midget came along. Well, I'm sorry to hear all of that. Thank you. And I, I could have I studied harder, but it wasn't for that teacher yelling so loud so the deaf kids could hear. <laughs> Where was your compassion for him, sir? I mean, he is very handicapped. He, he, he'd walk around and... He'd I would have graduated if it wasn't for that braille uh, reading material. Now, let the guy say, okay. what did you say? Okay, so he'd be riding around his little motorized wheelchair, and he had he, he was in special ed, except for maybe one or two, so he, he always was hanging around the retard. And so there was this one guy who was like probably like six feet tall, kind of chubby, with hella acne scars, and uh, he'd follow Eric around like a zombie. He didn't speak. Harvey Weinstein? <laughs> And Eric would, Eric would, would think... Wait, they're doing construction. You'll have to talk up. <laughs> then he'd go and do something. Whatever Eric would tell him, he'd go do it. And then he'd get behind Eric again and follow him around like he was like... Like Eric was a little evil genius in a wheelchair. And there was this crazy... Like, <laughs> monster Wait, sir. Around. You know what? What you said would have been real funny, but they're doing construction. <laughs> Eric's coming here next week. We got to build him a <laughs> So in other words, you're saying Eric ruined the high school because him and this other guy walked around and he would uh it, it was distracting to you <laughs> motorized around. he'd yell at people to get out of the way too get out of my way so hey, I, i'm trying to get by here all right thank you I let's go to yucko the clown <laughs> yes yucko why the hell you have to go to me when are you only going to give me one minute because quite frankly what do you got to say that it should take longer quite frankly you've used up 30 seconds already all right complaining yeah because your calls rhyme with something, um, what is it, boring. <laughs> they rhyme with boring? Yeah. <laughs> the word boring rhymes with boring? <laughs> Snoring, boring. What do you want? Well, I want to call to say that you guys are making serious waste money on Lankford. Steve Lankford from the Howard <laughs> 100 News? Yes. You're costing Mel Karma's money by having that idiot on your staff. <laughs> Well, that's true. We are costing you money, but I think the return is magnificent. Yes, I do too. Look at the, look at my pay, my window. All right, I'm looking at you on the internet. Yes, I see three there. fingers on a hand that's supposed to have five. No, he's looking at. Jack you're looking at, at the there big is five picture. there. Oh, there are five. Okay, <laughs> sorry, I missed two of them. They were gnarled underneath. But go ahead. Do you have a picture? Yes. Obviously. I'm not a stalker of Diana DeGarmo if I'm able to sit there with her and take that shot. That's that Diana DeGarmo? Sunday. When did you meet Diana DeGarmo? Sunday night. Oh, so? I was, I was invited to this charity event that she was at in San Jose. Yeah. So what do you want from, what are you talking about? I don't even know what the fuck He's you're talking about. He's into a battle with Steve we don't even know anything about. Right. <laughs> you don't remember back in September. Remember that ass wipe did a story. Hey, Eric, here I'm gonna I'm gonna remind you. You were calling Di we get we you were calling Diana DeGarmo and her mother way too much. Where the mom even said you were calling too much. Back up, your idiot! Report that shit story up. She told me both her and her mom. Told me that they didn't at all. Yes, and we told you privately. She was saying, "I wish Eric wouldn't call so much. She didn't want to be mean to you." Don't start calling again just because of this. I'm, I'm not, but I'm telling you. All right, so you met Diana De Garmo, and are you calling her now? No. Good. Uh, she didn't fall in love with you after meeting you. No, she did not. No. Oh. Didn't expect her to. No one but did. <laughs> All right, so so there's no problem. Yeah, you look like shit the other night on Kimmel, by the way. Well, it, there's a bulletin. You stayed up and watched Artie? Yes. He's such a fan. He's a fan of yours, Artie. Clearly obsessed. Did you see that big sweat stain on Artie's T-shirt? Yeah, and I heard it was the third t the third shirt he went through. Second, you little douchebag. <laughs> <laughs> Now, now who's reporting false news stories? Yeah, you see, you're not getting the story right. 
Hey, you know what? That picture of Diana DeGarmo and you was good. You can't see the rifle someone has on her. <laughs> yeah, whatever. They're out of the frame, huh? <laughs> good framing. <laughs> All right, Eric. Uh, we'll, we'll let the record note that you, in fact, are not stalking Diana DeGarmo. We got it. This is the second time I've met her. Excellent. Congratulations. I'm sure that was a highlight. <laughs> oh, is he over that chick he was in love with who dumped him? By the way, oh, I got Kendra news. Really? All right, so I'm leaving Kimmel the other night, and, right. uh, you know, you go out the back to get to the car, and unfortunately, I was in, like, a major rush to, to, go, uh, to go meet somebody, and I fucking was running out, and some guy, some, like, hip L.A.-looking guy, like, you know, like a, quite frankly, like a drug dealer to me, but... Um, <laughs> says, uh, hey, Artie, uh, look who this is. He was there with a blonde girl in a hood, and he said, it's Kendra. And I was like, hey, Artie. and he goes, it's Eric the Midget's Kendra. And I looked real quick, and it sort of looked like her. Uh -huh. And then, um, but then I had to leave, and then I told Jimmy, and uh, the security guy was going to maybe ask her and, and see if he can get any information. But I think your girlfriend was waiting to fuck me there at uh, Kimmel. <laughs> yeah, right. Well, do you, do you deny that that could have been her in L.A.? I doubt it. Well, uh, are you talking to her at all? I, I, I want to get out of this. Just say I'm yes not, or no. I'm not confirming that or denying it. Uh, thank you. Uh, Eric, good luck, and uh, thank you. Hey, I have to move on. Wait a minute. Yeah. Go to www.jfsc.tv. Okay, we will. Thank you. Okay, bye. Bye-bye. Bye for now, as they say. All right. <laughs> Jessica Hahn, go ahead. Stop it. I have a DVD uh, suggestion for you guys. Go ahead. Have you ever heard of the actor Peter Dinklage? No. Hey, I got to go. Station agent. Yeah. He's a midget. Oh, the little guy. He was, I saw him a DVD last Oh, night. Station Agent. I saw yeah, that. Yeah, that's a great movie. Great movie. Well, there's another one that he's in called Tiptoes. All right. About Matthew McConaughey. Kate Beckinsale and a bunch of other people. What's it, all midget movies you're recommending? He hey. did another great movie called I Wish I Could Reach the Cereal. <laughs> no, I mean, uh, black people watch black movies and midgets watch midget movies. Yeah, but they're never good. Did you ever see Under the Rainbow? Station Agent was really good. Yeah, that was good. Did you ever see The Wizard of Oz? But it was incidental. That the yeah. Wizard of Oz was good. Yeah, it was yeah. good. Let's think of all the midget movies. A what? Freaks? What Freaks about, is great. What about the black movies? They're, they're never good. Yes, they are. Black, black, black movies are good? Black midget movies are No, you, you don't have a vote. I don't? No. Oh, why not? Because you're, uh... What is this, 1914? Yeah, I, the vote just got <laughs> taken away from me again. Black. Taking the vote away. Some black movies are good. <laughs> like what? Malcolm Howard. X. Howard. And Spike Lee. Yeah, that was actually good. What was wrong with the color purple? That was Spielberg. It doesn't matter. It's a black movie. That's true. I saw a midget doesn't version. Doesn't take a black man to make a black movie. I saw a midget version of Godfather. <laughs> the worst, mi the worst midget movie supposedly ever made was Chevy Chase. Under the Rainbow. Under the Rainbow. Under the Rainbow. Yeah. Howard. Yes. In the uh, movie Tiptoes, you'll actually recognize one of your uh, guests in the movie, uh, Bridget the Midget in the movie. Yeah, I know Bridget. Do you want to do her? No. But she's in the movie. She's in the credits listed under her real name of Bridget Powers. Wow. Wow. Oh, great. Shut up, you short bore. <laughs> oh, Artie. So oh, hard. Artie's drunk. But I still like her so talking, hard. Midget. Bridget was in. Uh, Artie's oh, drunk. I'm drunk. <laughs> yes. He also had a small part in SWAT. <laughs> Anything else? Yeah, Captain. Hey, hey, Eric, I just got a question for you. You know, you're always calling and complaining. Howard's giving you tons of prizes, cash prizes, and you could probably even make appearances now, you know, because you're known on the Howard Stern Show. Yet you just keep calling in and complaining every time you call in. I don't get it. Well, I mean, who really likes to be made fun of? Well, they're, it's, they're not making fun of you. They're just making prank phone calls, which are funny. They're using your voice in it, but they're not making fun of you. Well, they're, in a way, they're making fun of the way my voice sounds. No, that's not true. They're just using your voice in certain things no, that you say. No, 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 we are. We're making fun of him. Yeah, it's funny. <laughs> it's funny. Hey, Eric, how does it feel to be the last guy to know it's raining? <laughs> and he, yeah. No, that, that would be me, Artie. Captain Jenks is shorter than Eric the yeah, Midget. Yeah, I am. You're close. 
All right, hey guys, I gotta run. Okay. All right, hey Eric, time. don't complain no more, Eric. Just just take your take your little fame in stride. Hey Eric. Huh? I gotta go. Howard. I don't really Howard. think he's upset. No, he loves the show. He loves the attention. Sits in his room all day staring at a Kelly Clarkson poster from American Idol. Yeah, this is the only other exciting yeah. thing that happens. I'm the most exciting thing that happens in his life. Well, she she's actually supposed to be on live with Reaches and Kelly today. But um, <laughs> one of the other reasons why... I, you fag. <laughs> why I'm trying... The other reason why I'm trying to get on your show so much is I'm looking for a job, and I know you guys have a ton of listeners out there, so, you know, maybe... What can you do? Well, I just completed a hotel restaurant management course, so I got that degree. Yeah. You could be a short order cook. <laughs> That's great. You can manage our restaurant. <laughs> we need someone to paint the baseboard. No, but what would you do? What was your ideal job? Well, it was working in Las Vegas at the, any of the hotels down there. Why don't you be a lawn jockey? Hey Eric, I heard. I'll you paint you, and I'll stand you out on a lawn. Hey Eric, I heard in your driver license, driver's license picture, you can see your feet. <laughs> Wait, well, you're hammered. <laughs> that's, that's a good. Funny. That's a good joke. A good All right, hey, hey Eric. <laughs> what the? So you got the word out there. We'll t we'll look around see if anybody wants yeah, a job. Yeah, 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 yeah. has a job. I'm pulling yeah, out all my. I'm pulling out all my short jokes. <laughs> all right, thanks, man. Uh -huh. You know, Artie's drunk, and Ralph's annoying, and <laughs> she's through the news. Oh, this is great. <laughs> the greatest morning. Like, that's easy. This is the greatest morning ever. <laughs> I can't wait to eat pizza. We're going for pizza? <laughs> I'll, I'll go. We're going back to Jersey to drink for another four hours, and we'll get a slice, and I'll go to bed. <laughs> Sounds like a great day. Why not? Yeah, and then maybe we'll uh, squeeze in the elliptical machine. <laughs> <laughs> but that's lo a low priority. Very low Maybe priority. I'll get on the bulletin board and talk to Artie's bloated liver. <laughs> <laughs> Alien versus predator. <laughs> <laughs> if there's time, Scott the Pace will log me on that nerd. <laughs> The pace, you nerd. Oh, you Republican nerd. Oh. The pace is on the bulletin board arguing about Rush Limbaugh. I know. It's crazy. Who's there? Ladies and gentlemen, someone gets Scott the pace off the board. <laughs> I'm trying to, Rush Limbaugh's offended. I'm trying to score some Vicodin. Hi, well, it's me, Eric. Just wanted to talk to Howard about a couple of things. The fact that my life sucks. Of course, I won't be able to say that on air. Um, and I absolutely need you guys to take me serious about ha having you guys help me get a job. No prank calls from Richard Christie pretending to be some employer looking to hire me. What I need is the real deal. You know, I, I was appreciating, you know, the... $3,000 that I've gotten from the show. This kid is one foot tall. He's in a wheelchair. <laughs> and I don't know how to get him a job. I was going to say, what does he do? Does he do anything besides watch American Idol? I, I could be a solid gold dancer. He could be voice. Doesn't he sound like an evil character? Yes. Like, like, I'll get you, man. <laughs> I'm currently working as a picnic fan. <laughs> oh, since I've been belly button now. going in yeah. it's 2002. You'll work for me. Digging up dead bodies. <laughs> he will bring dead bodies to life. You will carry your little one foot frame into the graveyard. I will lower you on a piece of dental floss. I will work for you, master. I'll do anything for you, master. The old thing goes if you give a man a fish, you feed him for one night. But you but teach a man to pay, you feed him for a lifetime. <laughs> That's what I need. Your job. Not exactly for you guys to oh, he wants us a fish, <laughs> but for you guys to have Send him a fish. can of tuna fish. Yeah, and you can become a fisherman. That's what, what if you use a man as bait? What does that get him? Let's put him on a hook and throw him in the ocean and teach him how to fish. Give me rats and spiders to eat. <laughs> I'm a midget philosopher. Put me out by getting a job and getting more money than... Get my coffin, Ravini. 
and I'm all in, in my coffin so I can be in it before sunrise. <laughs> you one foot freak. Yes, <laughs> master. Here is a bug I caught. You may eat it for breakfast. I yeah. thank you for the bug, master. Oh, thank you, thank you, sir. Thank you for these spider duos. And plus more money than what SS, more money than what SSI gives you a month, which is a joke to be stuck on SSI. That's why I'm so desperate to get a job. Bring me young surgeons to out drink here. the blood of. Okay. Bye for now. Where is it? <laughs> Eric, out. <laughs> I'm in my underground lane. Come with me, you two-inch freak. We will kill young virgins together. <laughs> yes, master. <laughs> Let's dig up dead bodies. And we'll attach the electrodes to the nuts and bring them to life. You have to put my brain in a normal person's body. <laughs> Please, master. You said you would take my brain and put it into a regular midget's body. <laughs> who's, only, who's two feet tall? <laughs> Hello? Yeah, can I speak with Eric, please? This is him. Hey, Eric, I heard you on the Howard Stern Show today about looking for a job. I'm calling you about that. I called the office and got your number. Oh, okay. Yeah, my name's Dick Buffman. I'm the uh, owner of CWA California Wrestling Alliance. I hear you're into wrestling. Yes, I am. We'd love to get you involved in the organization. I have to think about that. Well, can I tell you a little bit about it? Sure. Okay. I have a character design for you that I'd like to tell you about. It's called the bat. What will happen, your partner will actually throw you at the other wrestlers, and you will latch on to him and bite their necks. Would you be interested in that? Actually, no. I would. This doesn't sound like something I would actually be interested in doing. I was going to ask you, too. Are you afraid of heights? No. Well, because we were thinking, too, if you're not interested in actually having the wrestlers throw you, we might drop you from the rafters once in a while. We've actually designed this costume with working bat wings that would allow you to actually glide down from the rafters if you'd be interested in that. No, thank you. <laughs> the Captain bat! Jack, you know who this is? No. Take a guess. Captain Jake. Guess again? I don't have any idea. It's your arch nemesis. Oh. <laughs> Do you know? Yes, Richard Christie. <laughs> How you doing, Eric? I'm all right. <laughs> Did you think that was real? No, because I never heard of CWA at all. Oh, so are you mad at me? Yes. <laughs> Master, we must get Richard Christie. <laughs> Wait a minute, this isn't Dick Buffman? <laughs> Master, we will get him tonight. We, we will get our revenge on him. I will lift you up and you will spit in his face. <laughs> you mean Dick Buffman? No, no, I keep telling you, there is no Dick Buffman. <laughs> Why won't you believe me? There is no such a name as Dick Buffman. They won't drop me from the ceiling. <laughs> Dick Buffman. <laughs> I'll pick you up and you can mash him in the stomach. We have to get Dick Buttman. <laughs> Please, Master. You can sit on my head and then spit at him. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want any more calls from Richard Crisp. Yeah, my heart's nervous. I... I... I liked when he said, well, I'm not sure. I have to hear more. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to drop you out of a ceiling That's with so bat wings. By the way, Gilbert would have accepted that job in two yes, seconds. Yeah. <laughs> They're going to throw you at the other wrestler. Gilbert Sager would have where said, where do I sign? <laughs> where do I quit? <laughs> Eric, the car picking him up. But what else could he do? Eric turned us down, so <laughs> can you do it? <laughs>
<laughs> Master, you're hi. You're doing the paper clip. Hi, this is the toaster. <laughs> this is Eric the toaster. I was wondering if I had any more Eric bits, but I don't know. Oh, They're too hard to find. I, I would I love to see a character of the bat, by the way, in wrestling. I would love that. That's a great idea. Somebody ought to take that. Here comes Superfly Snook. Come on, the bat. <laughs> You better get me a job. Eric the Bat is latched on the Superfly Snack. You said you'd operate on me tonight <laughs> and make me into a real person. I will, it's me, Eric. Instead, you tried to bring the Frankenstein monster. <laughs> the fact that my life sucks. <laughs> I don't be able to get out on here. Um, and I absolutely need you guys to take me serious about ha having you guys help me get a job. I could be an erotic dancer. To Richard. I want to work in a strip club. <laughs> yeah, this, hey, where's my other Eric the Midget stuff? Is, is Chippendale mm. still hiring? <laughs> I keep dropping subtle hints that I need help with getting some Eric right, the Midget stuff. No. <laughs> <laughs> There's not one There's person. There's not a person out there listening. No, it's it's incredibly slow out there today. Yeah, I uh, I got it on CD, but I think there's some uh, stuff where I called Gary the retard with Eric's voice on call. Oh, is that what it was? Yeah. yeah, that's what it was. You yeah. promised you'd put my brain in Webster's body. <laughs> what is this? Oh, uh, Eric the. Uh, oh, I don't even know if you want to go into this. Eric the actor was on Super Fan Roundtable last night. Well, how does he get on any part of the channels if we banned him? I know. I banned him because he's such a freak. He goes, uh, my family wants to sue you because people on Twitter are mean to me. I said, well, I take, well first of all, if your family and you want to sue me, then first of all, why the fuck would I have you on anymore? Secondly, what a ridiculous lawsuit. I haven't instructed anyone to make fun of you. But they're your fans. You know, this is... <laughs> <laughs> I go, first of all, I don't even know that they're my fans. They're your fans. Eric closed his Twitter account last night. Wow. Well, anyway, so Eric doesn't want to be Derek anymore. <laughs> <laughs> this is pretty funny. Is there any chance that Stern fans are going to see Derek again? Or just let us know what's happening. Is that is that chapter over? Yes, because it sucks that only way to be a part of a show that I was almost a, or, or that I was a part of for almost 11 years is to play a stupid character instead of being myself. Okay, but um, the person that you're, is but yourself... You are an actor. Yeah, but I don't want to keep playing. I want to be able to return as myself again. Then he, uh, he, he want to hear more? What else does he have to say? Right. Eric, um, you do understand that Howard does not usually take very likely, uh, lightly to people that threaten to sue him. Honestly, most people that threaten to sue him are never heard from again. The, the fact that you are... Honestly, I feel like I'm risking my job as host of Superfan Roundtable, even having you on the show. Have you made any steps to try and correct this, or are you proceeding? No, I'm not for seating. Have, have you, uh, you know, at least let him know? Have you told his legal team that you're dropping those, you know, charges? Or, or where is that? Where, where is your legal standing? You could obviously weren't listening. I didn't say that it was an animate thing that was absolutely going to happen. It was if something happened to me or a member of my family so far nothing has <laughs> so there's no legal uh, he's got to get that attorney with the knock knock jokes <laughs> but anyway uh, so so if anything happens to eric right right, right. it's my fault <laughs> i said well that's too much responsibility so don't call yeah. in anymore let that be somebody or else's. his family you uh, right. a group you don't even know no yeah but anyway, here's uh, Eric summing up. Eric, can, can we talk to Derek? No, you cannot. No, why do you hate him so much? It's not that I hate him. It's that I don't want to be him anymore. Hmm. 
Well, but you God, are you, you. But you, but you created him. I don't care if I created him or someone else created him. I don't want to. Well, why would you? Anymore. I mean, if you, you wait, wait, hold and on. Rip, you heard me. Mark said, Mark said, you, you, you created something that everyone liked. And really, so I why would you just to... kill him like this? I'm still no, mutt. I still do this yeah. show as mutt. I, I got to let you know, my name's not really mutt. It's not. Yeah. Everyone, shut up. I don't really okay. have time to do this <laughs> right now. I need to make another call before the dentist's office closes. Are you calling is it, Derek? Is it, is it another agent? No, it's. Did I just say a dentist office or an agent an office? Oh, okay. You Are you that, having but, work yeah. done to your teeth to look less like Derek? Goodbye, idiots. <laughs> and interview over. Oh, that's funny. Right. Johnny wants to plead Eric's case. I'm not interested, but I'll talk to Johnny anytime. Is and he's going to start with a knock knock joke? Yeah. Johnny. <laughs> Johnny, I don't. To... I don't want Eric on the show anymore. He's he, if he thinks that I'm responsible for his fate on Twitter. Well, who the hell needs a... Think that. He does. I, listen, Howard, I don't even want to... I do... You know, I, right now, I badly don't want to stick up for him. I really don't, because I just don't feel like it. But he does understand that it had nothing to do with you, and he claims that had you listened to it all the way out, um, he, he says that he said all the wrong words. In other words, he... Be terribly sorry for. What I don't know. I, I heard him on Superfan Roundtable. I just played it now, and it doesn't sound like he understands anything. No, he doesn't. I, you know, listen. I don't now. care about his dumb lawsuit. I, I care about people threatening me, and I don't. You know, yeah, I don't well, deserve I that. that. Yeah, you don't, it's Johnny. You wouldn't put up with that. Never. Oh, I get threatened by the fucker all the time. What are you kidding? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I listen to some of the messages I leave on Shuli's phone. Uh, he threatens me like every other day, but this is just his way. But the thing about it is he does, he absolutely does feel bad that he said what he said. And, well, because it's and, uh, you and only because it's you, I will, I will think about this. I wouldn't even give it a second thought. I would like you to think about it. Right. I, think he, I think that if he wants to come back, he should at least come back as Derek one more time. Because, Howard, I'm telling you, when he's doing the Derek thing, like when he was practicing to call in as Derek, right? much more pleasant guy. By the way, he had me fooled. He was so pleasant that no, I, no, I I was convinced that Derek was a separate person from Eric. Well, the, the personality was a totally different personality. <laughs> right. He may be an actor. He may, after all. All right, Johnny, I understand. I'll take it under advisement. And, Howard, I want to tell you what happened to poor James Gambafini, okay? You know what happened to this fucking guy? Tell me. He, he gained too much fucking weight. The little kid wanted to go to fucking Italy. He didn't want to take that kid to Italy. I promise you that. The kid <laughs> is screaming, give me gelato, got more gelato. I want fucking Ferrari. I want this. The poor guy's drinking. And the kid nagged him, and boom, there he went. <laughs> now, Johnny. Johnny's real high on children. Robin, Robin, <laughs> I'm telling you the truth. Robin, listen to me. Johnny's miserable. He has a second family. Johnny, if you could take it back, like you have a whole second family now, right, with little kids. Uh, Howard, yeah, I would take. I down to when I get rid of the second one, Robin. Right, I would get rid of the first one too, <laughs> because when they grow up, they're no good. Listen to me, they're no good to nobody when they they tell you, you know, you don't teach them to say I love you, give me a hug, you know. They don't mean it. They well, you know what it I'm is, Johnny. Right now, anybody with kids. They get 13, 14 years old. If they're good in school, keep them a little while, put them in college when they're 18. If they're no good when they're 13 or 14, you got to get rid of them right away. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Are you angry? because are your, Do your older children give you a big pain in the neck? Every one of them. Wow. And and these little ones, and then and then the one that the little one that I love, you know, I got I get the little the little one I love, you know, he's a perfect little kid, but the motherfucker dances to some game all day called Just Dance. <laughs> so he blasts music and he's dancing all day. Right. Well, you know, <laughs> and, uh, you know what it is, Johnny, and uh, and maybe this is too heavy a conversation, but when children are very young, they they need a parent so bad that all they do is love you. And then as they get older, th th as people, they have to sort of grow up and form their own opinions and fly their own way. And They have to break away. They have yeah. to break away. So you're a guy who likes to be adored and appreciated. 
you've got to tolerate that your the older your children get they almost have to be filled with resentment and stuff and you want to be just worshipped. I, I must have did a real good job because they are. I'll tell you that right now. <laughs> <laughs> they are. All right, Johnny. Fucking kids. Yeah, okay, Johnny. Uh, Johnny so fell. What for do the... I tell Eric? Well, Johnny decided to have a whole second family. He's got a young wife. Right. Uh, yeah. You know, and she, of course, uh, had the desire to have children. And you know, Johnny said, "Of course, darling." You know. And now he's, you know, how old are you now? You my age, 59? 58. 58. 58. He's 58 fucking years old. He's chasing around a kid with diapers, you know. <laughs> and then the other kid, the other kid is like on uh, yeah, happy days, you know. I never hear him talk. All he does is bounce a basketball. Yeah, That's well, all I know he's around. I care the basketball bounce. Yeah, and Johnny, we like, live in Johnny, the hours. Johnny was ready for a whole adult kind of sexy life with his young right, kids. Right, he's saying, I live in a penthouse. Yeah. Yeah. The neighbors don't appreciate a bouncing ball. Right. All day, all day and all night. The kid bounces the ball when he's asleep. You know, like Johnny shouldn't yeah, even be allowed to live in that is, penthouse. The other one's dancing like a fucking maniac. <laughs> yeah, Johnny, like the condo board should just get together and go, Johnny, we're throwing you the fuck <laughs> yeah, out of here. We're because, voting you out. We're voting you out because you should you should have a house happen. in the suburbs with these kids. Oh, my God. All right, oh Johnny. My God. I got to go, man. Idea. All right, later. All right, guys. Johnny hey, Frog. Eric back in, though? I, no, he he's not. said he'd think about I don't, it. I'm only thinking about it because it's you. All right. And you represent him. All right, Johnny, thank you. Okay, guys, take it easy. He's in hell, Johnny. Oh, that's funny. Yeah. But I don't want James Gandolfini's 13-year-old thinking he killed his father. <laughs> you know, Johnny's putting something out there that really shouldn't of be. Of course. Gandolfini loved that kid. That's Johnny. That's, you're coming from Johnny's place. You know, Johnny's just fucking angry. He decided to have young kids. And he's, you know, he, he's, he's having a hard time with the, the kids don't, you know, when they get older, they don't, they don't look at them like when they were little. Well, yeah, they become something that just bounces a basketball, won't even speak to you. <laughs> <laughs> and you're still feeding it. Right. <laughs> you know, Johnny had a childhood that where he didn't really uh, have parents who understood him at all. You know, they, they were very busy with their own shit. And so, right. and Johnny, of course, feels now that he has children, they should only be devoted to him. And well, he also had a family who was giving, you know, they had the space capsule right. brought to the house. Yeah, but you that, know, they were doing all kinds of crazy things for him. Yeah, but that ain't the kind of love he needed. Things ain't I'm just saying it. he, you know, everything was a big event in his life. You know, he didn't have people ignoring him. Well, Johnny's who he's paying for. Johnny's dad probably did not put up with any bullshit. He ran the fucking mafia. You know, so anyway, whatever. Well, we should have asked Johnny if he resented his dad or and showed it. <laughs> he wasn't even allowed to resent his dad. <laughs> That's why it's killing Johnny that his kids are. I got it all figured out. Anyway. First of all, let's play the Eric the Actor Either Or game. I think everyone will have fun with that. All right. And I think you'll have fun with it. And let's face it, we're after our own fun. All right, here he is, Eric the Actor, as he is known. And uh, you have to do Either Or, Robin. Here we asked Eric the Actor, for example. Would you rather walk or be a millionaire? Now, I would think Eric would rather walk. I would hope. Right? Yeah. Here's his answer. Of course. Yeah. Let's see if this gets harder. Would you rather be verified on Twitter or be best friends with Kurt Angle? Hmm. Kurt Angle, Ooh. the wrestler, and he loves wrestling. I yeah. think he'd rather be best friends with Kurt Angle. I'm going to say verified on Twitter. All right. We have a disagreement. Let's see. Verified on Twitter. Oh, wow. do I know my Eric? Yeah. <laughs> But wouldn't, he, wouldn't being best friends with Kurt Angle get him into all the wrestling events and then maybe even like he'd be able to parlay that into favors and In things? In Eric's mind, it's more he'd, he'd be able to network himself better if he was verified on Twitter. And you know if he got verified on Twitter, Twitter would close down, let's of say, course. or something bad would happen and he'd yeah. lose that. It's not going to help him at all, but he thinks it will. I think you're two for two on the Eric the uh, yeah. Actor game. Good for you. Would you Where rather we donate $10,000 to the little people of America or a weekend at the Bunny Ranch? Oh, easy. Weekend at the Bunny Ranch. Yeah. A 
weekend of the bunny ranch. Why does he care about the other little people? <laughs> yeah, right. He's got his own deal. <laughs> Do you prefer Jewish people or black people? He's going to say, you know, that's, blacks. you know, I don't really think that way, but I think he, yeah, yeah everyone prefers blacks. <laughs> black, some, some comedians said black is the new white. <laughs> I forget who it was. And I'd certainly credit him, but, oh, I know who it was. It was, um, what's the guy who has the channel here? Je uh, oh. Jamie Foxx. Jamie Foxx. He goes, black's the new white when he was on Saturday Night Live. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, Jewish people. Oh, oh wow. He's going old school. Good for you, old school. Real old school. <laughs> Would you rather fly with balloons or join Howard in the homosexual room? Fly with balloons. Fly with balloons. Fly with balloons. Mm. Because I find the homosexual room disrespectful. Disrespectful? Yeah, he thinks it's disrespectful to homosexuals. <laughs> I don't think so. I think it's just a room for us to relax. First of all, I don't believe him. He'll never fly with balloons because he's scared. And uh, the homosexual room is just a, it's a, it's not a real room. Right. It's all virtual. Right. And he is going into the room with me. <laughs> Next time I have him on the phone, he's going down there with me. In fact, I'm going to trick him. I'm already going to be down in the room with him. <laughs> and we're just going to start doing homosexual stuff. Be able to walk or have sex with beautiful women every day of your choice. Walk. Right? Oh, you got to have... Wait a minute, wait a minute. Sex every day? Every day with a beautiful woman of his choice. I still well, say what walk. what do you need legs for? No, nah, come on. <laughs> walk, right? No, yeah. sex. I say walk. Have sex every day with <laughs> beautiful <laughs> women of his choice. Absolutely. You're uh You're way zoned in. <laughs> wow, I, I just never would have thought that. I thought his dream would be to walk. No, the only reason he wants to walk is he might be able to get a woman. I see. All right, well, you're thinking like Eric. <laughs> Would you rather play an Ewok in the next Star Wars movie or play a munchkin in the new remake of The Wizard of Oz? Ewok. Mm. Ewok, yeah. Play Ewok. Sure. Would you rather have a girl pee on your chest or have a sexy girl spit in your face? Ugh. Mm. Ugh. I, I, I'm not, I'm pee, I'd rather have a girl pee on me than uh, spit? Than spit on me. Yeah, spit's gross. I, I can almost deal with pee. I can't better. even answer that question. It's all disgusting. I'll, all right, I'll go with pee on the chest. Oh, good grief. I guess uh, I'd have a girl spit in my face. Oh. <clears throat> I could deal with because my chest, I don't care. My face gets but it's spit pee, on. pee, and she's got, you know. I could be sort of hot in a weird way. Oh. Maybe. Am I jerking off during it? I don't know what you're doing. <laughs> Trying to avoid splatter, I would imagine. No. Is it going on in my bathtub so I don't have to get a mess all over the place? It's in your bed and everything's going to get a mess. I think I could get worked up about a chick enough to let her piss on my chest if it was really her thing. Really? Yeah, I think I could. Oh, if she's that's... really hot, like that chick who just got shot by her boyfriend to death. Oh, just don't oh. even say that. I'm saying I'd probably let her pee on my chest. There are other pretty women you could pick out besides the girl who just got her head hit with a cricket bat. Well, if Beth wanted to pee on my chest, I'd allow it. There you go. There's a pretty girl you right. could pick. I'd let her shit on my chest, maybe. Oh. Well, you know what? You're pretty disgusting, and I I'm think she's love. leaving you when she finds that out. <laughs> I'm in love. <laughs> to me, that's love. I don't want to live with a man who baby, would let me shit on oh, Baby, I love you so much you can shit on my <laughs> chest. Oh, oh. Just bring the playtex wipes in there. Don't I even the say Would you thing. let your wife shit on your chest, Fred? No. I think I would. No. Nah. I'd let your wife shit on my chest. <laughs> I'll ask her. It looks good. It'd be a great dinner yeah, conversation looking for tonight. a spot. A small dude. Diana DeGarmo or Kelly Clarkson? Kelly Clarkson. Kelly Clarkson. Kelly Clarkson. Of course. <laughs> mm. Anyway, hey, let me get to a, let me let me take a let me take a break here. I, I want to actually take some phone calls and stuff. I see Eric the actor is on there. Uh, I don't have time. You know what it is? He just goes on for twenty minutes. Well, you know, you told him. You know, yesterday was his birthday, and you said you didn't have much time. He's calling in with plenty. Yeah, but I, but I but I got a ton of tape and stuff to get to. I'd give him a minute, but he's just he never gets done in a minute. Let me take him down to the homosexual room. <laughs> Eric, let's go down to the homosexual room. How about it? Hi. What? Eric. Hello. Eric. Did he hang up? 
No, maybe, maybe he hung, hung up. up. And then yeah. he said bye, Howard, which is really funny because... Because um, I was going to bring him down the homosexual? Well, I got an email from Johnny Frotto saying that we're calling at 6.30. We have a major announcement. Mm. <laughs> he wanted want to announce something, and I, the homosexual scared him away. Wow. <laughs> oh, that's he could always great. say no. Yeah, but did you explain to him that my phones are broken and the only one working is down in the homosexual room? <laughs> I will tell him. Oh, Johnny. Fr- That's Johnny. Johnny. <laughs> they called in together, so Johnny fell asleep, and Eric just hung up. <laughs> oh, what a team. <laughs> what a team. That's his agent. Wow, listen to Johnny. He's so sleep deprived. He's got young kids, and he's an old dude like me, you know. He did the second wife, and they dead two kids, and fucking guy's exhausted. Now he's got like the whole Eric the actor situation going on. He's got so many different. You know, Eric's like another child. That's the sound of a beaten man. <laughs> <laughs> Listen a, to that. That's a lion. <laughs> Could you sleep through that, Rob? Like if your husband was making that kind of noise, you would... I would move to another room. <laughs> <laughs> get separate bedrooms. <laughs> Yeah, back in Victorian times, they had it right. Oh, God. <laughs> wow. That's some heavy fucking sleep. Dude, I'm so jealous. I got up at 2 o'clock this morning. I went to bed at 10. I woke up at 2. I've had four hours. And, I, you know me, I'm neurotic about sleep. Right. Like, I don't go, hey, I just needed four hours. but. And then I got up and watched The Bachelor finale. Watched the fucking broads go crazy over this guy. Meanwhile, he, I, I still don't know what this guy does for a living. That was my point. I mean, like, he hasn't worked in two years, I assume, because he's been on The Bachelor. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Howard, I'm listening to uh, Sorry. It's hard to compete with that. <laughs> hey, you know what? I don't. I want to see how long Johnny snores for. You want to just let me play the commercials and... Keep going. <laughs> yeah, what do I get to do, a live thing here? If you like, sure. Sure. What do you mean if I like? Do I have a choice? Sure. Oh, I do? You mean I'm, I can play yeah, a pre record first and you can do for... it? Right. Yeah, but I got to do them. Ev- okay. Do it. Uh, Identity Guard has something perfect for you. I'll lower the music so we can hear Johnny snoring. Identity Guard has something perfect for you. You do just about anything to protect your children, right? What about protecting their identities? You may not know that identity theft targeting children is on the rise. <laughs> well, not, you've got What's some... music under you, Howard? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, now you've got some help for that. It's called Kidshore, an innovative service from Identity Guard. Uh, Kidshore monitors your child's information, looking for data such as bank account numbers attached to their social security numbers. Identity theft can happen anytime, even when you're just registering your kids for a sports team or school. You can now get the protection you and your kids need from the company with world-class patented technology that's been trusted by millions of Americans and even by some of the leading financial institutions. Oh, he sounds like he's got a horn in his paw. Identity Guard is committed to keeping you, your family, and your... It sounds like life with life of pie, <laughs> that fucking tiger. <laughs> pie, pie, don't die. I will save you. Pie, please. Richard Parker, don't eat me. Richard Parker. Oh yeah, right, right. The tiger's name is Richard Parker. Yeah. Richard Parker. His name is Pie. Richard Parker, this is Pie. <laughs> you are my only link to civilization. We are going to have to learn to live together. <laughs> Johnny Parker. <laughs> now I don't hear him. He went back down into the bottom of the ship. <laughs> yeah. Wait, don't tell me. This is Johnny's best appearance. Sometimes he can ramble on. That's right. We called Eric back, by the way. What happened? He's not going. In, he says, I'm not going into his room. I'm not doing his bit. He won't go in the homosexual? No. Nope. But, but that's the only phone that works. I know. Morning. It's the only phone I have down here. <laughs> Uh, too bad. Johnny's sleeping very soundly in the homo room. He's gonna, he's gonna, Johnny's down here with me. He didn't even care. I'm having my way with him. Eric's going to call me later and yell at me that he had a major announcement that you wouldn't let him make. Well, what am I going to do? So, fuck it. He's such a baby. Just come down there with me and fuck around a little bit. Man on man love. Hey, you know what? As long as we're down here in the uh, homosexual room, let me let me enter Johnny, see if I can make him pregnant. <laughs> Let me pull his pants down. 
<laughs> okay. Let me see if I can put my... Let me see if I can open up his ass with, this, with these clamps. You must be at the door. <laughs> yeah. Let me see. Uh, here we go. Stretch him out a little. <laughs> so far, he doesn't feel a thing. All right. I, I, you know what, Johnny? This could be considered rape. Let me close him back up. Right. You're not getting permission. <laughs> right. I, I, I know better. No means no. I get it. All right. I'm closing him back up. That wasn't right. Put his pants up. Put his zipper back up. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Anyway, um... Identity Guard is committed to keeping you, your family, and your children safe. <laughs> Identity Guard. Please, no one tell Johnny I did that. <laughs> <laughs> you ever hear, do you ever see on the internet those goat uh, videos, like the goat singing to Guns N' Roses yeah. and stuff? And that's what Johnny sounds like when he snores. Uh, IdentityGuard.com. Your identity and your kids' identities are counting on you. We'll be back in a flash. Now with the new Hopper from Dish, you can... Hello? Johnny? Hmm. He must have shifted or something. Yeah. Probably turned his head, right? Yeah. Should I hang up on Johnny or you want to hear more snoring? Because it's kind of distracting in a, in a certain way. Oh, what's he oh. doing now? Johnny? <laughs> Go! How you doing? I'm good. How are you? Do we have Eric? Now Eric hung up because I, I wanted to bring him into the uh, homosexual room. That's why he hung up on well, I brought you down. I, hey, listen, I might as well come clean. I brought you down to the homosexual room, and I unzipped your I didn't pants. Go. Johnny, uh, I, yeah. I, I unzipped your pants, and I opened up your ass, and then I thought that was like rape, so I closed up your ass and zipped up your pants, so I didn't, I didn't have sex with you. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. It's all right. <laughs> I just really wasn't into it. Was Dude, like, you got you, were, you, know, you you really had no say. You were asleep. <laughs> Dude, you've been snoring oh, into the phone God. for the last. Oh, yeah. Hello. Well, did Eric give the, his his uh, what he what he was what we called about? No, no, no he hung up on me because okay. I I mentioned homosexual right. room and he just ran out the door. All right. Well, then I guess I got to do it. Go ahead. Eric wants to now be called Eric the Midget. What? <laughs> what? He is accepting the name Eric the Midget. But I thought he thought Midget was demeaning. He knows it's demeaning. But he's also figured out that if he wants to sue some of the people that are making products and things, he can't sue him if he's not Eric the Midget. <laughs> are people so using the name? Of my, on the advice of my lawyer, my lawyer said he has to. Uh, Johnny, uh, lawyer Scott Hervey, he has to. He has to accept the name Eric the Midget. But Johnny, he doesn't own the name. He's never trademarked it, and uh, I'm the guy who came up with the name Eric the Midget. How does he have a claim to that name, even? I'm saying you're the one who has the claim because you gave him the Midget, right? You're the one who deemed him Eric the Midget, but he says he doesn't claim it at all. People are making t-shirts and hats and all kinds of things um, that he's not that he doesn't get anything for. Wait, does Johnny have the worst phone? Likeness. Yeah, he he was clear when he was snoring. Yeah, you were clear when you were snoring. Now you're talking. You're 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 like underwater or something. <laughs> maybe, maybe it's just me. I don't yeah, know. There I think I'll walk over here. Yeah, walk over there. Yeah, I'm gonna walk over here, right over here. But hold on. You get my thing here. So Eric is now right, Eric better, the Midget again? Better now? Yeah. yeah. Is it better now? Yeah, much better. Eric the Midget is now Eric. Oh. He's now Eric the Midget. Eric the Midget. He is Eric the Midget. From here on in, he is Eric the Midget. Well, I got to hear it directly from him. You know, I mean, uh, this I'm is sure crazy. he will call in, and, and then you can ask him, "Are you Eric the Midget?" He will have to say yes. And what products are are, are out there on the market as Eric the Midget? Howard, you wouldn't believe it. There are T-shirts, cups, hats. Wow! Uh, some guy had keychains made that were like little uh, little keychains that were his. Uh, they were like little little miniature things of his body. You know what's funny now? Yeah. I'm so used to calling him Eric the actor that now I'm going to piss him off by calling him Eric the actor, <laughs> and he's going to yell at me and go, hey, "I'm Eric the Midget." You got to call me Eric the Midget. Yeah, He'll you know. Or, oh. or ETM. He made me include ETM in there too. Wow. All right, Johnny. Uh, I got Howard, the Howard on March on March the uh, on March eighth. I mean, on the May eighth, he's going to actually be in New York for a uh, uh, for an event, a charity event. Great. That he 
was Bring brought him in. to. So he will be. He will oh, be here he is. Hold on. Hold on, Johnny. Uh, here he comes. Is this really true, Eric? You're right now Eric the Midget? Yes, but I would like to be referred to as the actor formerly known as Eric the Midget. No, we don't have all day. day. Yeah, yeah, I'm doing yeah. Yeah. That's, that's no... PM. No, I'm calling you Eric the Actor. We and got used to that. You're not Eric the Midget. You're Eric the Actor. That's what you made me call you, and that's what I'm calling you. He won't call you Eric the Midget. What, what the fuck is the world going crazy? What happened? <laughs> <laughs> this, is, this is you to face your biggest fear, and it wasn't even there. Yep. Holy fucking shit. You realize if Eric wins these lawsuits, he might pull in as upwards of $300? <laughs> oh, that's it's rich. True. Yep. Eric, how much money do you stand to win in court with the Eric the Midget name? I have no idea. There right. are people saying that they're making a lot more than what you just had off of selling items. So you're selling out your you're selling out your soul and your beliefs for a few for shekels. a few shekels. Yep. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Go right out. Ah. Ah. Sold out both came and Eric got right <laughs> Oh my goodness! Some woman wrote an article the other day that I shouldn't call Gary the retard retard or Wendy the retard retard that. Uh, they worse than retarded. Uh, no, she you no. Know, she was like you know saying, "Hey, that's a bad word, retarded." So I was like, "Oh, I didn't even know that." I mean, okay. Well, I, I'll tell you what. I'm going to call Gary and tell him from now on he's Gary the academically challenged adult. And let let me hear him say it. Hey, I'm Gary the. I'm Gary. <laughs> But it made me feel bad, you know, the article. I was like, hey, I'm not, I'm not going to bum anyone. Did we get anyone. kicked out of Canada for that? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> hey, we lost we lost Canada. <laughs> so, well, and then I, and I finally, we Eric was after me. Show. Eric the Midget's a negative name. Midget, Midget, Midget. I said, okay, man, you want to be Eric the Actor? You're Eric the Actor. Now he's calling me up. He wants to be Eric the Midget. <laughs> right. Well, and they're not accepting it. Right. You're going to be Eric the Actor yeah. no, more, no matter what. At the, at the end of January, the show, Jeff, the Pro, Jeff Probst afternoon show, interviewed the guy that's known as Shorty Rossi, and he himself said three things. You do not pet little people on the head. You do not call them midgets, and you do not call them dwarfs. So then why um, are you selling out and calling yourself Eric the Midget? Well, to stop these idiots from profiting. And now you're telling me I can't even tap you on the head anymore and pet you? you can do the fuck that. is it? I'm doing it. I don't care. I'm not giving a pet of you. pat you on the head, will you? <laughs> what was know. the last thing? Right. I didn't even understand yeah. that. You can't. <laughs> if I would want to put you on the fucking head, let him. What's right. the difference? What do you care? It's, it's human yeah. touch. How much of that do you get? What, yeah. is, what is the third thing you say? Oh, you, there's no. You shouldn't say dwarf either. Oh my God! What mm. he was asking us? I don't to like that dwarf. dwarf. I don't like that word dwarf anyway. I don't even know why Eric likes that word dwarf. The word is little person. I think midget is the best word because it just means miniature. Yeah, but if you were a midget, you wouldn't want to be called that. Evidently, like you'd feel shitty. That Would you... I want to be called a little person? Yes, because I mean, a little person sounds more no. demeaning than, than midget. Johnny, at least you're like still being noticed as a person, depending upon whether you're little or you're you not. People who call you you're being recognized don't as know you're a person. person. I'm getting confused. Can we still toss you? <laughs> no. Oh. What happened to that whole thing? Where you, where you get a little person and toss them across the room? You can't do that. that went out with the, the, all over like a, like a Florida case. There was a Florida case over there last year where... Tomorrow we have Bold and the Beautiful. Stop it, and then I'm going to give you a little hint on something else that's happening for Eric and the Midgets. We have a, a movie, a feature movie, by a, by a giant writer. Hmm. A giant? Now, can Martin. you call him a giant? 
Yes. I don't even know. All right, listen, know. hey guys, I gotta go. All right. How big the guy is? I, I don't know. He's a giant in his field. Can I say that? Yeah, quickly, just give me the information because I gotta go. This is well, Bold and the Beautiful, uh, and the upcoming announcement about Eric being in maybe a major a movie. Right, let me let me just get I, the I, announcement. I is Eric the, is Eric the actor going to be on Bold and the Beautiful and when? Eric the Midget will be on Bold and the Beautiful. Actor and, and <laughs> what were you saying, Eric? Eric the what? Eric, I don't even hear Eric calling himself Eric the Midget. He's, he's, he's going through all kinds of machinations. Call yourself Eric the Midget so he believes you. Will you? What's your name, young man? Eric the Midget. Wow. Never thought I'd hear this. Holy man. I know, I'm, a little, I'm a little taken back myself. Oh, my God. I don't know what to think. This is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, hey guys, I gotta go. Bold, when is Bold in the Beautiful? For this very thing. Mm. He's when gonna is... shoot Bold, Bold in the Beautiful. Yeah. Oh, he's shooting. Okay. Yeah. All right. Call us when Bold in the Beautiful is on, and when you're ready to make the announcement about the movie. Okay, guys. You, you got it. Hey, but real quick, one thing oh. I, Johnny did not oh, no, say no. was the fact that the whole thing of the charity event All right. is not completely written in stone because I. All right. All right. Thank, thank you. Clearance right. for my. All right, if you're here, you're here. If you're not, you're we not. see it, we see you. Okay, bye. Eric, the rude, obnoxious, and annoying midget. <laughs> <laughs> the entire thing with the charity is not exactly 100%. <laughs> Eric, the ridiculous midget. Wow. I still have to clear it. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a whole thing going on. <laughs> Can't get that little bugger down in the uh, gay room there. <laughs> Cannot get him to go down with me. I had Johnny down there, but he didn't know it. That's I know. wrong. Johnny slept his way through the uh, homo room. Yes. Shit. Johnny looked so fucking hot with his pants off, and I had his asshole completely open. I can't believe I was able to maintain my composure and stop myself. You know, that shows a good deal of self-control. I'm trying to teach young people out there. Heterosexual and homosexual. You can't take someone when they're fully asleep I had them wide open <laughs> could have done whatever I wanted <laughs> Johnny has the ass of an athlete Robin did you and see the it the way he was sleeping I don't know if he'd have awakened through the whole thing. not with my little chubby <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it would have bothered anybody <laughs> All right. Well, that's why I don't talk much anymore. Hello, Eric, the actor. You should tell us everything you're thinking. I don't uh, think if I told you what that. I was thinking right now, Robin, you'd have me arrested. <laughs> Eric wants to defend you, Sal. Oh, thank you, Eric. Go ahead, Eric. No, I want to defend him. Um, Jay, going in it, Jay, he's proven that the thing with the IQ test was fixed. I mean, give me a break. Someone spouting off this shit is 12 points higher than me. You got a point there. <laughs> Eric, the actor, is the best. Do you follow, do you follow him on Twitter, Sal? Uh, yeah. I love when he gets pissed off. He he gets angry at everyone. Yep. And in fact, I don't follow Eric on Twitter, but I, I get CC'd sort of like in a weird way. They put my name on it so I can see it. And then I forget who it was. We were in the, we were just sitting around this meeting and, and everyone started like, I think it was Jim McClure. He loves Eric the actor. And, uh -huh. and he said, he got, he, start, he got up and he started reading Eric's tweets. And there, one is funnier than the next. Here, listen to this one. <laughs> he answers everyone, by the way. Like, like it, the more insulting the thing, he'll answer it. Like he can't just stay out of the he fight. He must be busy with this all day. Like, listen to this. Dumb fuck. I do not have any cum on my glasses, and I never have. <laughs> I look in the mirror, and I see a little person, not a midget. Here's another one. Let me make something fucking crystal fucking clear. I do not give a fuck what fucking publication calls me a midget. I am not one. All in caps. How's this one? I am not fucking retarded, and I am not at all delusional, you fucking pathetic, worth worthless, stupid fuck. <laughs> Eric, don't you realize people are just saying things because they want you to write back? Yeah. And Can you not help answering? You just can't not... You can't let it go? Well... 
I'm Irish. Irish are known for fighting. Listen to this one. <laughs> Physically fight, so I fight with my words. You fucking pathetic I dumb fuck. I do not have one fucking pubic hair from anyone at all. I do not collect shit like that. I guess somebody accused him of... Of collecting pubic. Yeah, and he goes and he goes berserk when anyone says anything about a diaper. I do not fucking wear diapers, you pathetic dumb fuck. <laughs> also, I do not shit on myself. Fuck off, motherfucker. Bullshit. And I, I saw a, I saw a diaper flap hanging out of his pants in L.A. when I met him. Really? Absolutely. And you know it, Eric. Remember when I spoke about that? Oh shit! You dumb fuck. <laughs> I saw that I diaper. Do not. Well, you, you need to get your eyes stuck and examine it. Are you kidding, or are you just are you are you telling the truth? I'm just fucking with him. Oh, <laughs> Eric, do you talk into something to, to write these tweets, or do you type this all out? Type. Yeah. Hi, he doesn't have fingers. Right? <laughs> my eye. Is he his nose? <laughs> No, dumbass. <laughs> he runs over the keyboard with his wheelchair. <laughs> Whatever he does. I I use the on screen keypad on my iPad. Uh, okay. Well, he just yells at people all day, and like if someone says, um, you know, like you just have to, like if so, you just write, oh, you wear diapers. Then he's like, I do not fucking wear diapers. <laughs> I do not, and then you write, well, you shit on yourself. I do not shit on myself. And then he writes it, so then you, everyone ends up reading it, because he's repeating right. it. Yeah. What are you most concerned with, that girls are going to read this shit? Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, because yeah, they're just lined up for you. Look at this. I have never once ever crapped myself at an A's game. <laughs> go fuck yourself and go to hell, you fucking dipshit. <laughs> I've never crapped myself at an A's oh game. Goodness. He tweeted last night, he got very upset because somebody said he's a jinx to the A's. Yeah. And he insinuated that the, that the A's wouldn't be there if it wasn't for him in the playoffs. I am not... Oh. What? Gary wanted to read what I said was if I was a jinx, they wouldn't have made the playoffs. Meaning that if I was a jinx like they said I was, they would have been in last place. Right. Instead, they weren't. So clearly, I wasn't a jinx. So clearly somebody wrote him on Twitter that he's bipolar and he has a lazy eye. <laughs> so you can just say whatever you want to listen to this. I am not fucking bipolar at all. I am not a midget. I do not have a fucking lazy eye. Go fuck yourself and go to hell. Isn't that more than 140 characters? <laughs> yeah, so the, the, so, yeah, I know. So the fun thing is to just, you know. <laughs> right. Eric, you're a plant, and you uh, survive on photosynthesis. I am not a fucking plant, and I do not survive on fucking photosynthesis. Howard, I got one for you. It's a real one. JD's just telling me he got very angry, very angry, because someone accused him of being on the show Mama's Family. <laughs> and what did he write? I was never on the fucking show. <laughs> Mama's Family. Yeah. I Here's, you can oh, just tell some, somebody wrote him that he was gay. So he goes, dumb fuck, I am not gay. And then he goes, well, you must have fucked guys. And he goes, I have never fucked you or any other guy in my life. I do not have any STDs and I am not a midget. So somebody wrote him, you're a bug-eyed toad. So he writes back. Oh, I am not, it. listen, I am not a bug-eyed toad. Go fuck yourself and go to hell, you pathetic motherfucking dumb fuck dipshit. Oh my Eric, goodness. do you have to answer Eric. everyone? No. Do you really think somebody's really? going to believe you're a toad? Like the fun thing to do is evidently you write Eric and just tell him that he's two feet tall. And he goes, you pathetic, stupid bitch. I am not two feet tall. I am three feet. Go fuck yourself and go to hell. I am not a midget. It's just unbelievable. No matter what. And you, it, it just. Well, does everybody write to him, Eric the Midget? Because almost every tweet has, I am not a midget. 
I guess the other fun thing is to tell him that he lost to Jeff in the acting contest because mm. then he goes really berserk. <laughs> But look at this one. Obviously, somebody wrote him mm -hmm. and, told, and said he has tits. So he goes, shut the fuck up, you fucking pathetic dipshit. I do not have tits, and I am not a midget. <laughs> well, that settles it. <laughs> but why is everything, I am not a midget? Do they all say you're a midget, Eric? Well, I, as I said, that the last thing you said, I, I don't know. I said pretty much what they say. Oh. Whatever they say, he repeats, which only makes people want to write him more. Now everybody knows, yeah. yeah. This guy wrote, he's going, Eric, you are going broke. So he writes, bullshit, motherfucker. I am not going to fucking die miserable, broke, and alone. Also, no. I, also I will be mourned. Fuck off now. <laughs> I will be mourned. <laughs> <laughs> what that, what that fucking pathetic loser keeps saying that I will die Malone broke and miserable. But and why, are you, why do you have to... And not in a morgue? No, and not be morgue. Yeah, well, but why would you write him back? I don't know. I just feel like fighting back with him. Yeah. You will not be But mourned. then you say it makes you upset. If somebody wrote me a tweet and said that you will not be mourned, I would laugh because, like, what do they? They don't know anything about me. But then he'll say, "I have to get off Twitter," and he blames us for the people writing these horrible things because they upset him and his high, his blood pressure goes up. Why do you get engaged? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. All right, well, thank, we're, we're, we're trying to rag on Sal, not you, right? Yeah, so yeah Sal back says to apparently, you, right. apparently your IQ is a lot lower than mine, stupid. Yeah, at least Sal doesn't answer these people. Right, I'm smarter than that. <laughs> and I know I'll be mourned. <laughs> Sal's so excited now he can make fun of someone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Poor little guy in a wheelchair. Boy, I feel Wait like a, a minute, bucks. Eric, have you had uh, your your bed lift off the floor? <laughs> No, not even Eric. No. You should go to see Pat Robertson. He can grow your limbs. <laughs> By the way, here's a fact that everyone will be interested in. How many tweets? I have the number of tweets Eric has written. Do you uh -huh. think it's over 10,000 or under 10,000? Jeez. I mean, 10,000. I was just thinking it would have to be about 10,000. So what do you think, over or under? I'm going to go slightly under. Under 10,000, Sal? I'm going to say I'm going to say over, something. about 11,500. Fred? I'm going to say it's over. Well, the fact is, Eric has written over 22,000 oh. tweets. Holy oh, my shit. goodness, yeah. Eric. Wow. What an incredible waste of time. Jesus. <laughs> you might and be they're all... They all contain you dumb fuck. Yeah, oh, oh, every one of them. No, no, I, I do try to on a case and write to someone like Mary or, you know, someone else that I've met. But of course, when I do that, the dumbasses start harassing me and This is funny. Someone on Twitter, somebody on Twitter must have called him a brony. You know, like, like that, that set him up. Listen, uh, I am a brony. You fucking well, pretty fuck much. That dick Luther. Listen, all you fucking pathetic dumb fucks. I am not fucking in any fucking stupid ass brony groups. Those people are fucking sick in the fucking head. They fucking all need to be thrown in padded cells. Go fuck yourselves and go to hell, fuckers. <laughs> I mean, throw in three more fucks. Yeah. <laughs> and what's with all the cursing, Eric? Like, it just shows you have a poor command of the language, really. Speak up, dummy. <laughs> oh, now stop. Shut up, dumb fuck. He's probably changing his diaper right now. <laughs> no. Not now. That's it, 730. Um. Right. The other reason why I called was about 
the <laughs> contest last mm. week, the act off. The act off. To show that. To show that I. Right, I gotta have go. No ill, Ill will toward losing towards her with Jeff. I asked Joni to start a kick. Kickstarter account. All right, I, 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 Eric, I got to go, but thank you. Okay, <laughs> goodbye. Eric starting a Kickstarter account? Yeah. yeah. I don't know. It's what a, for? I like to start kicking him right now. <laughs> <laughs> I love Eric. Kick me off the cliff. <laughs> What's nice about the show is that when you've had enough of Eric, you can hang up on him. Yeah. Yeah. Because you can get really. I what he's. Raising money for I don't know. You, you can call That's him That's a call here. for another day. I'm going to give you his phone number. You can call him oh, off the air. Oh, oh. <laughs> now, he'll call tomorrow and try mm -hmm. to say it again. Oh, my God. So much going on. Uh, oh, by the way, Eric, the actor, I'm going to mention this, is tweeting again. Remember he said last week, we took Maybe a week Eric off. Maybe Eric can take Paul Walker's place. Oh, here is Eric, actually. <laughs> yeah, Eric, there's an opening in the Fast and Furious franchise. I'd go see that. Now, if Eric was the star of Fast and Furious, I'd go see it. Uh, that movie is a, bit, a little out of my ability. It's a little bit too physical. Well, that's what acting is. And that's what makes a great movie. When you take someone like you and put you in something ridiculous. That's right. Yeah. Believe me. Um, and, believe no, me and I'll tell no you what this is. What? There's no way that someone like me could be in a fast the furious movie I get. That's what I love about Eric. Like when, when Eric tweets, this is exactly what he <laughs> tweets. Like he'll go, like, like someone will write him. It's so brilliant. Some one of our listeners will write Eric on Twitter. Uh -huh. Hey, I heard you're going to be in the new. You're taking over in the Fast and Furious. <laughs> Instead of like Eric just not responding to right. that, he'll go. will have to have a discussion. Go, you dumb fucking cunt. <laughs> That is out of my physical ability to be in the Fast and Furious movie. So listen to these tweets. Mm. Somebody must have written him that, um, Eric, we heard you're going to kill Christmas. <laughs> now, so instead of like just saying that's ridiculous, get yeah, off. that dip, that dip shit that was on air a couple of weeks ago, gone so. Yeah, so he goes, the guy's name is Gonzo Shitcock, <laughs> and then he goes, he goes, so Eric writes it back, he goes, all caps, get a fucking life, you fucking pathetic dumb fuck. <laughs> I have no fucking plans of killing Christmas anywhere, you dipshit. <laughs> so then this guy, Lynch the Scammer, must have written... <laughs> That Eric was was um, skiing, uh -huh. and he saw him at Big Bear skiing. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, if you know anything about Eric, he ain't skiing anyway. But he can't walk. So Eric writes him back, dumb hyphen fuck, dumb fuck. I have never ever skied once in my life. <laughs> also, dipshit, I am at home. I am not in Big Bear. Fuck off now. <laughs> These are the greatest tweets ever. Uh, okay, Gonzo Shitcock must have written that. He, you can write any absurd thing to Eric and he'll respond. He goes, we heard you um, sell Mary Kay cosmetics. <laughs> okay. oh, and then Eric goes, bullshit. Grow up, you pathetic, sad, immature, dumb fuck. I've never sold fucking Mary Kay or any other women's products. And then it goes on and on, like someone accused him of being a vegan and eating gluten-free food. Yeah. And that set Eric off. <laughs> you pathetic, immature ass. No, no, no. You're, uh, it's, he's, you know, he goes, I have never been a vegan or eaten gluten-free food. I, I got some of those, you know, because apparently I was mentioned in some of the follow-up <laughs> tweets. So no. I saw a little bit of Eric. People were taunting, why don't you would want to admit you're a vegan? <laughs> oh, it's unbelievable. And it drives Eric mad. And it's like you want to say, Eric, what do you care? It's just like, Eric, what do you care? I hate bullshit. Being said about me. Well, the more well, you well, respond to it, Eric, the more it's going to happen. Well, the thing they really like this guy Gonzo Shitcock really, really worked, Eric, about the vegan thing because then he writes, I am not a vegan. I eat ham, fried chicken, <laughs> fried fish, fish, and bacon as much as I can. As much as I can, mind you. I do not have any cookbooks because he was upset that, that now Eric was going to have a vegan cookbook. Right. 
And then I guess somebody said that he that Eric bangs whores, which he did bang a whore at the Bunny Ranch. And then Eric goes, a few of them. Eric goes, I have banged whores. You have that one right, but I had never, but I have never once taken a shit on anyone's fucking lawn. That is bullshit. <laughs> so it, whatever you write, like you go, hey Eric, we heard you shit on someone's lawn. He'll write you back. Right. I thought he was only responding to nice ones. Uh, his uh, followers or so, something. I forget what he said. Yeah. How, how does this guy get through to you, Eric? You banned him, right? I mean, you blocked him. I I can't figure it out because Twitter's got a, a malfunction that uh, somehow that idiot and other idiots that I have blocked still were able to speak hmm. to me. Twitter geniuses are after Eric. So then um, guns are shit yeah, ever, ever since last, last Monday when I made some comments on John's show about how Poorly, the site is. How poorly the site is? Yeah, the Twitter. Eric's upset because you can't block anyone because they somehow <laughs> get back to well, him. <laughs> like he, he blocked Gonzo well, Shitcock and Gonzo Shitcock wrote him. And then it's like, and then again he said, he accused Eric of trying to stop Christmas. And then Eric goes, I am not trying to fucking do anything to stop <laughs> Christmas. <laughs> Eric, why would you respond to the guy? There's no way anyone thinks you're stopping Christmas. How could you stop Christmas anyway? I don't know. Do you think that word will get out there and people will start to believe it? That's his fear. That Eric, that'll get around that Eric's trying to stop Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and then some, and then I guess someone, um, accused him then, you know, cause Eric was with Air Force Amy at the, uh, chicken, right. chicken bunny ranch or whatever that is. The hog ranch. The bunny ranch, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, chicken ranch. <laughs> anyway, uh, Eric. Dennis didn't own that one. So this guy's name is 69 did not happen, and his whole thing is saying he's claiming that Eric is a liar, that he did in 69 with Air Force Amy. Uh-huh. And then he goes, yes, I did fucking 69 Air Force <laughs> Amy, you pathetic dumb fuck. I'm not fucking bullshitting about it. Fuck off now. That's crazy. <laughs> Eric, you really have to find something to do with your time. And then uh, Eric was uh, denouncing uh, the fake Fred Norris Twitter account and the... Uh, Take Fred Norris started tweeting Eric. It's a whole thing. <laughs> Somehow your your situation, whatever you did, isn't working. Why do why Eric? Why do you follow Bank of America? By the way, because it's the bank that I have an account with. Yeah, and well, what are you doing? Like just monitoring their fee to see if there's any specials or something. Yeah. Huh. So how's that working out? I. Don't know, really. Like, is anything good had come of that, of following them? Like, did they ever give away free money or did they have any? I mean, you know, he's probably following them and nothing, nothing good. Nothing good has come of it. Yeah. The only thing good that's come of Eric's tweets are uh, Sal and Richard taking them and then turning them into phony phone calls when I read them, which is uh, always entertaining. Hello? Dumb fuck, I am not gay. What? I have never fucked you or any other guy in my life. Ah, uh, somebody fucking said ah. something fucking stupid. I don't remember none of that shit. Let me make something fucking crystal fucking clear. I do not have any STDs and I am not a midget. I definitely didn't know. I never said not one of them motherfucking things. Not one goddamn thing. I don't know how the fucking where and how all the shit come from, but I definitely didn't fucking do none of that or say none of that. Shut the fuck up, you fucking pathetic dipshit. I do not have tits. What in the fuck are you talking about? Dumb fuck. I do not have any cum on my glasses, and I never have. I ain't said that. Who the fuck you was talking to? Somebody <laughs> gave you a wrong name or number on that shit, because motherfucking I know I didn't fucking say none of that weird shit. I don't even fucking talk that shit. I have never once ever crapped myself at an age game. <laughs> well, stop me pulling that fucking leg, dude, because I don't even <laughs> fucking say dirty shit like that, man. Look, dumb fuck, I am neither a Jewish person nor am I a fucking stalker. Fucking Jewish stalker. What the fuck is that? A Jewish stalker? I ain't going to hear that stupid shit. Dumb fuck. I have never once cheated on my fucking taxes. Go fuck yourself and go to hell, fuckhead. Uh, how in the fuck am I going to know somebody did something like that anyway? <laughs> fucking what the fuck? Uh, cheating on taxes. I have never taken a shit on any lawn at all. 
You know, that's all fucking bunch of bullshit there. Whoever the fuck gave you that fucking info, I'd be going back and talk to them cocksuckers because somebody's gonna run this fucking mouth the wrong way, dude. You miserable ass. I don't have to look out for gravy because I do not look like a Thanksgiving turkey, so <laughs> shut the fuck up. I'm reporting you to Twitter. So I don't give a fuck. Fuck off, you dumb fuck. I am not fucking fuck. gay, I am not a prostitute, and I am not getting fucking married. Fuck off, you dumb fuck. What the fuck? Fuck you, dumb motherfucker. Fuck you, bump the fucking head again. Dumb fuck. I do not have one fucking pubic hair from anyone at all. I do not collect shit like that. You don't? I do not want to make love to Charlie Sheen, jackass. No, you bumping your head, dude. I'm just going to hang up the phone. I'm hearing the stupid shit. Fuck off now. I can't believe this guy stayed on the phone that long. But doesn't he realize he doesn't even know who he's talking to? No, that's a matter. He's going to stay. You know, that's got to be the loneliest guy on the planet. Dumb fuck. Uh, it'd be so great if I could get Bank of America to start writing to Eric that he's trying to destroy Christmas. And then he gets into a war. All right, Eric, I got to go anyway. Well, wait a minute. The main reason, main reason why I called quickly is because I wanted to get an update on the, the uh, taking out my jet. It was supposed to be today and tomorrow, but as soon as I told the producer that you guys want to be live on air last week, he asked if we could change it to. Wednesday and Thursday. Okay, good, cool. All right, thanks for letting us know. Bye. Bye. Okay, Eric, thank you. No idea. He's, he, well, what he, in the he, world is he talking He about? finally had his time to promote whatever he was promoting, and the phone fucked up. The guy's got no luck. <laughs> well, this is Gonzo Dumbfuck. <laughs> hey, hey uh, Gary, I just get, hung up on Eric. Can you get him get back? Get Eric back. <laughs> is that you, Gonzo? Yeah, hey, what's up, Howard? Hey, man. It's me. Oh, my God. The funniest Twitter exchange ever between you and Eric. Yeah, Eric's, Eric has been bullying me, man, on Twitter a lot. Bullying <laughs> you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, he's... I try to be his friend, and he's, everything's like, fuck you, and <laughs> fuck my dick, you dumb shit. I'm just asking him about... I've heard rumors on the Internet, and I'm just trying to get clarification. Yeah, Gonzo, uh, what have you heard? Eric's trying to destroy Christmas, huh? Yeah, I heard he was trying to destroy Christmas in Sacramento, Fresno, and... LA. Well, let me oh. see if I can get him back and, uh, on. Hey, Gary, you got any luck? Like, Hold on a second. Yeah, okay, good. So maybe there's some substance to this. Yeah, maybe Gonzo has yeah. something. <laughs> and uh, he's a vegan now. He has a vegan cookbook. He's gluten free. <laughs> yeah, and, well, you, uh, Gonzo, Gonzo, you know, Gon, when Gonzo wrote him and said, you're gluten free and you have a cookbook, I thought for sure, like, like Eric would just blow that off. Right. You couldn't even blow that. Like, they, that is the most innocuous, insane thing. It's just, it's just, it's ridiculous. <laughs> well, even just saying I'm a, he's a vegan. I am not, yeah, I, nor have I ever been. Wait, hold on. Okay. Hey, Eric. Eric. Yes. I tracked down this guy who's been torturing you, Gonzo. He's right here now. Hey, I'm not dumb fuck. Him. I just wanted to perfect. Hey, dumb fuck. <laughs> Gonzo, Gonzo seems to be indicating Eric, and I wanted to give you a chance to respond. Gonzo, tell us about this plot that Eric has to destroy Christmas in Sacramento. Go ahead. Well, Good Day Sacramento reported that Eric had a plot to uh, destroy Christmas in three major cities, in fact, in California. And one was Fresno, and one was Sacramento, and one was L.A. And um, I was just asking Eric about the reports. I wasn't, I wasn't claiming that he was trying to kill Christmas. I just heard that Eric, he was trying to kill Christmas. This guy Gonzo seems to have seen this on the news. Yeah, and then he attacked me. I was like, I was just, I was like, dude, I'm just, you know, reporting the rumors. So I don't, I don't. How do you respond, Eric? What's up, Eric? Grow, grow the fuck up, you image cursed <laughs> sack of shit. Good day, sack. Meno doesn't report shit about me. And how the fuck do you know? You probably don't even live here. Well, that's what I heard. Somebody told me on the internet. So, and then I also heard like that you're vegan, gluten-free, and um, you might be second cousins with Naomi Campbell. So wow. I, was just, I was just tweeting you find, trying to find out, yeah. And then, when did you become gluten-free, Eric? Never. He has a, he has had a, a, a recipe cookbook. Is that wow. right? Yeah, and that's why Boy, I, I tweeted a lot of well, Let Eric respond. Go ahead, Eric. Okay. No, I don't, you idiot. 
the only book I have is the one that still is yet to be published, the Dougie the Huggy. I haven't written the, any Dougie cookbook. The Huggy vegan? No. Yeah, maybe that was it. Dougie yeah. the Puggy is probably vegan. Yeah, that confused. was that was what I heard. Yeah, Dougie the Puggy is gluten free and vegan. Yeah, vegan no, <laughs> that works. Like, Most dogs probably are vegan. A canine, a canine that is a vegan. <laughs> that sounds pretty good. <laughs> it would be interesting to publishers, I think. Was there a book about Dougie the Puggy trying to destroy Christmas? Because maybe that's how that got started. I didn't read that, Howard, but that, that might be true. I have to do some more research on this. Gonzo, what, what, were, what were you writing about that Eric, you, be, you believe that Eric was lost in the Congo? What was that about? Uh, no, there was a, there, I was worried. There was a report that Eric was missing in the Congo um, during an acting trip. And um, I tweeted to West Stroud and West Stroud. Uh, I let Eric respond to that, Eric. Do you ever think of the idea that there may be more than one actor named Eric Lynch? No, you're the only, you're Eric the actor, Eric. Like, why, why would I believe that? You're the... Because it was a, the Eric it was a, it was an action stunt movie. Yeah, Gonzo. Think logical, you dipshit. No. I can't do that kind you know, of... Uh, I, don't know, Eric, I'm a dipshit. I don't know why. I mean, you're just trying to clear yeah, things he's up. He's just asking questions. Yeah. He's just a fan, Eric. Uh, Gonzo, tell me, when Eric blocks you, how do you get back on Eric's account? I don't know. I just, like, w one day he all of a sudden was writing all this really uh, bullying stuff to everyone. And um, I saw that he was writing again, so I, I immediately tweeted him out and I was like, hey, it's your friend Gonzo. And um, he wrote back some really mean stuff. And, <laughs> So, yeah, not I know, like out of, out of nowhere, he just—I think he—I think he made his account um, like un, unprivatized. Yeah, well, uh, so. uh, it sounds to me like you are a fan, but uh, somehow uh, Eric's been bullying you. Yeah, he's like he's like like if if, if like one if you bullied your fans, Howard, it's like you had mm. you had fans that loved you and said, "Hey, good job on the show, Howard," and you tweeted back and said, "Go fuck yourself." You pathetic <laughs> shit. Yeah, I'm thinking of starting yeah. to uh, write. Maybe 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 I'm, maybe I'm maybe I'm a glutton for punishment, but it's. Uh, uh, <laughs> I just like I just like interacting with you. You know, guys, so I value my fans. I don't know what Eric's up to. Yeah, even though he's mean to me, I, I still love him. And, Do you want to uh, file? I was a really worried. Are you going to file a formal complaint with uh, Twitter? No, I don't want to press charges. Mm -hmm. it's, it's okay. All right. But uh, yeah, I was worried about you, Eric when you were missing in the Congo. I was I was afraid that that you know we we lost you for good. So Eric, you I, Eric, I repeat, you were not missing in the Congo. Am I correct? <laughs> All right. All right. All right, Eric Gonzo. Thank you. Um, thank you for clearing it up, Eric uh, Gonzo. The only, uh, the only other country I've ever been to in my life is Canada. Right. Were you missing in Canada? Yeah. No, no. He wasn't missing anyway. Everyone knew where he was. <laughs> All right, Gonzo, thank you for clearing that up. Eric, thank you for clearing it up. Thank you, Howard. All right. Thank you, Robin. Bye-bye. Eric the actor and Gonzo. Uh, Is that a term of endearment with Eric, dumb fuck? <laughs> no. No, he's pissed. I he calls all of his fans dumb fuck. I'm going to tweet Eric today and say, weren't you gluten-free in Canada? <laughs> when you visited Canada, someone told me you were gluten-free. A vegan. A, ve a gluten-free vegan. <laughs> and you were riding Dougie the Puggy. All right, I tell you what, let me take a break here. We'll come back. I have so much to get to. Very nice. Uh, let's go to Eric the Actor. Haven't heard from Eric in a couple of he days. He would take this role, I'm sure. He played oh. a kid. Eric, do you have any problem being the kid? On Two and a Half Men? Oh, I don't know if I could pass off for a 19-year-old. Oh, yes, you could. You could pass off for a three-year-old. Yeah, you're the size of a three-year-old. You can definitely <laughs> pass. <laughs> well, one thing that took more is this thing, the way to write him off is have him have an accident in the kitchen and at the military base that he's at. Okay. Hmm. Wow. His character, <laughs> his character went into the army and became a cook. All right. All right. Hey, Eric, what can I do for you? Well, I since everybody can't seem to stand the TNA job I had, and I use the word had because I resigned from it. You, so you, resigned, you, re that. you resigned from TNA Wrestling? Yes. That's as dumb as the kid from Two and a Half Men. 
Why would you resign? They're paying you, right? What the fuck? What are you, stupid? I do it, and you criticize it. I, I, I just said you're horrible on it. On it. You're you're awful on it. But and the wait show to be a, fired. But why would you? Yeah, why would you quit? <laughs> you were getting paid. <laughs> you dummy. Why would you quit? Well, call Johnny a dummy too, because he's the one that advised me to quit. I I doubt that seriously, Eric. Call his ass. Uh, Why would you resign from a job where they paid you to give your opinions on wrestling something you're doing anyway? And how is this going to affect your uh, donations to North Shore Animal League? <laughs> <laughs> Not at all. <laughs> all right. They're still waiting for a it. Was, it, it was their money anyway. It wasn't mine. Uh, anyway, so why did you quit TNA? I'm just curious. So, because this is absolutely retarded. Nobody seemed to like me doing it anyway. But you Did you doing like it. doing it? Yes, I like Then why would you quit something you like doing? Because I was catching and I had shit load of crap for it. From who? Oh, Eric. From fans, from you criticizing. I, was, I thought it was funny. Was it was funny how bad you were. Now what are we going to talk to you about? Nothing. You're back <laughs> to being unemployed. <laughs> Hey, you know who wrote a song about you? Um, a Christmas song? Who? Bigfoot Jr. Oh, I hate that prick. Yeah, well, he evidently likes you because he wrote a song about he wants to have sex with you. Well, he's not ever going to have that happen. Here, I'll play it for you. Maybe this song will turn you on. I don't know. Yeah, listen to this. Gather around, little kiddies. It is around the fireplace. Bigfoot's going to tell you a story of it. Oh, I don't think this is it. Wait here. Here's the one about you. Hey, it's Bigfoot Jr. it is. I just want to say Merry Christmas. Ho, ho, ho to the little Eric the fucking midget it is. Here comes my cock, here comes my cock, right in the midget's bunghole. He talks about DNA, I think he's gay, and it's Kurt Angle that he wants to blow. I don't care that he's in no wheelchair, I'll just put a stick in his spokes. He won't get away when I'm ready to play, and I'll fuck his face till he chokes. What do you think of that? Kind of cute. <laughs> oh, you <he> hate it. You <laughs> hate it. <laughs> The fact that this guy's thinking about you is great. No, you sound like this kid from Two and a Half Men. I mean, uh, you had a job with TNA. You loved doing it. So what if people gave you shit for it? You loved it. Listen, when I do America's Got Talent, some fans say, Oh, Howard, you're a sellout. You did America's Got Talent. It's too mainstream. Why? Well, I don't listen to them. If I like doing it, I do it. Well, how did you quit? I mean, did you contact them and quit? I sent him a letter of resignation. You are kidding me. And, 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 Why don't you talk to us before you do these things? You write them a letter and tell them that was a joke. And you never quit. Like you didn't do it. <laughs> it's one of your imposters. You should tell them you found God. and Any God-fearing man would never do TNA wrestling. TNA is bad. All right. I'll go get that job back. What's the matter with you? Yeah, I hope they haven't read the letter yet. The one, pe the one group that actually employed this guy, he he, he resigned. <laughs> well, Doesn't make any sense at all. I am going to be on an F X series soon. Really? What's that all about? What is that? X series. F X. Oh, F X. A, a sitcom called Legit. Hmm. Yeah. All right. I don't care. I can't believe this guy quit. You're an idiot. Maybe he quit because he had other commitments. If I was there, I would throw you in the mailbox where you mailed that letter uh -huh. and make you go in there and destroy it. Uh, it's called email. Oh, you did it on email. Uh, That's too bad. Can't fit you through a slot, then. No. I was thinking we could <laughs> throw him in the mailbox. <laughs> Have him fish out the letter. Uh... Oh, that's 
so crazy. I mean, that's as crazy as this kid on Two and a Half Men. Of course, Two and a Half Men is much bigger stakes, but his people go berserk. And really, I mean, they go berserk. It's just, it's just mind blowing. Well, how did Eric get this idea that he could just walk into one I, job I, after? Another? I have no idea. You're an idiot. What are you going to say, Gary? No, hold on. I, I kept the letter. I want to show you his letter. His letter of resignation? Yeah. To TNA? Why did he send it to us? He sent it to every one of us. Oh, he did? He puts he puts this... Here. He CCs everyone? Foolish. Dumb. Stupid. Uh, hey, Jeremy. How are you doing? I am writing you this email to resign from the TNA today. Pick the pay-per-view winners for charity gig. The segment hasn't gone right from the start. The Stern Show has barely played the clips, and when they have all, they do is make fun of the clips. Oh. <laughs> 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 Who wrote you? I guess you wrote this yourself. When they have yeah. all. What? Yes. The Stern <laughs> Show has barely played the clips, and when they have all, they do is make fun of the clips. When they have. All they do. Oh, no no comma. Okay. All right. right. Oh, I see. Also, the last segment got recorded and then never got posted for the pay-per-view. <laughs> like, what do you care? What, did, I did enjoy the segments and working with you and the others of TNA Wrestling. I wish that I could have kept doing the segments, but it has been advised by my manager to resign. Sorry it didn't work out. Work out is two words. Please keep in... What? Oh, well... Okay. AOL didn't correct me. Please keep in... Well, workout is a word, but right. it's not what you're talking about. What are the odds that you actually just know it? Please keep in touch and please keep me in mind for whenever TNA comes to Northern California. Signed, Eric. Signed, Eric. Say best, Eric. He actually wrote out signed? Yeah. Signed, Eric. <laughs> Eric, the dumbass midget. Wow, you're not kidding. Say that five times, Eric, because... Eric, the dumbass midget. Right. Eric, the dumbass midget. Eric, the dumbass midget. Eric, the dumbass midget. Eric, the dumbass midget. All right. Can I tell you about the uh, interesting correspondence uh, Eric and I had over the vacation? He, you know, we don't really talk to each other, but I don't really... Dis you know, I don't hate him anymore. Uh... So he sent me a note. He said, I know we've had our differences in the past, <laughs> but uh, I need you to do something for me. And he started talking about how, I guess, a bunch of people on Twitter were calling him gay. Right. And because I had a gay brother who died of AIDS, right. he would like me to go on Twitter to tell everyone he's not gay and to stop. <laughs> Eric, think well, that, not, Eric, think that true. through. Think it through. Uh, Why would you think Gary, if Gary goes on Twitter and, you, and, and just suddenly tweets, Eric the actor is not gay. And stop and leave him alone. And stop and leave him alone. Don't you think it's going to get worse? It's because some people are going to think you... Th no one thinks you're really gay. They're just trying to get to you, and you let them. Will you let me speak? He fights with everybody. Holy crap. It's so easy to set up. Like, you just go, you're gay. And it's like capital letters, fuck you, die. He gets so angry. <laughs> <laughs> the point of what I was saying in that was if I could... Not only were these people saying that I was gay, but they were saying that I have HIV, and they were <laughs> tweeting Gary's Twitter handle into it. Yeah, you can't have that. So, you know how you know how Eric's sex life will be affected if they find out he has <laughs> HIV. But it's not my Twitter handle. Like I'm not tweeting it. Right. Uh, well, my point is, they're tweeting that shit to you and I. And Eric, I nobody think thinks you have HIV. They think you have a lot of other things, but believe me. Oh, if they're God. just tweeting it to you, oh. yeah, <laughs> you're giving it too much credit. I want to block Eric on Twitter because he Why? includes he includes my Twitter every time he like yells at someone. Like I don't want to be in his loop of yelling at people. Right. And he he includes me. I'm like, stop it. By the way, I mean maybe I'm crazy, Not but every time, JD. every time, Eric. Why do you include JD on your rants? He's exaggerating. <laughs> Why do you include him at all on your rants? Yeah. It's because I don't take out the name that the person puts in there first. He just hits the reply and uh, fucking... Uh, 
Are you yeah, annoying the hell out of me. So why don't you unfollow well, them? Tell, I'm about to. <laughs> I'm going to block tell them. Those, tell those people to stop including you in their harassment of me. Well, sometimes I block them, but then you reply and it... it just, just delete the, Delete JD's name. <laughs> he doesn't want to take the two seconds to do that. By the way, wouldn't HIV be a step up from the disease you have? <laughs> no sex at all. Yeah. What's his disease again? <laughs> oh, God. His what, real one? Yeah, what do you have? Ehlers Danlos. Wow. Ooh. And it's not a life threat anyone like HIV is. Don't people with HIV live longer than people with Elar Danlos? <laughs> it would be nice if you would pronounce it correctly. Charlie Danlos. Uh, how, how He's do you got Charlie do Daniels not. disease. He's Charlie Daniels disease. <laughs> what is the disease? Ehlers, Ehlers Danlos. Ehlers Danlos. Igor, Igor yes. Danlos. <laughs> Igor. <No. laughs> Ehlers Danlos. How many people in the world have that? Can't be many. About nine out of ten people. Nine out of ten oh. people have Ehlers Danlos. That means more people would look like what you. What are you than... talking about? <laughs> That's the statistics off of the website. Nine, out, Nine of... out of ten. Yes. That's crazy. Nine out of ten people have Elor Danlos disease? Then then most of the people in here would have it. But Eric, everyone would... I mean, <laughs> I, see, I don't see that many people walking around hey, like you. I, I don't make up the stats on the website. What website? That's what the website says. Wow. For the disability. You Lord Danlos. I never even heard of it. And you're telling me nine out of ten people. That can't be right. Well, everybody must have a very mild case. <laughs> yes, a, a lot of contortionists actually have it. I wish I could get a <laughs> special how, license plate. That's, how they're, that's how they're so flexible. Hmm. Well, if somehow it really fucked you over. You're not flexible at all. I used to be. Which uh, one does he have? Because then, there's different statistics for each one, and none of them are his statistics. Oh, please. Eric is one of a million. One of a billion. I had, I, when I was born, they gave me type 7, is what they said I had. Yeah, well. His is one of the most rare. Right, of course. It says about 30 cases are reported. I'm, 30? Imagine 30 in, I mean, Eric. He has one of the most rare types. Like Eric lucked out. 30 people in the whole world have this stupid thing, and, and he's got it. Ugh. Makes me crazy. Poor Eric. Of all things, you know? Did anybody else in your family have this? No. They were, they were believed, they were tested and believed to be carriers. Yeah. Your luck. I mean, you hit the genetic lottery. Jeez, the odds of him getting that are astronomical. And there's not, what did you say, one in ten? Well, he said, he said nine, nine out of ten. Nine out of ten? Yeah. I'm seeing one out of ten thousand in type three. Right, he's got type right. seven. Yeah. I mean, it's 30 people in the whole out of world. The of the page. It's crazy. Yeah, all right. All right, Eric, well, I got to go. I don't know why you quit your job with TNA. That makes no sense to me. Well, Johnny was saying that it was get, getting in the way of other job opportunities, like the one with the sitcom legit. All right. All right. Well, Johnny knows what he's doing. How, how is it getting in the way of a job you don't have? Oh, please, <laughs> Gary. Don't, I'm trying to get out Stop of it. it. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to analyze because, his career? Because the person was double thinking about hiring me. How about Elor's Dan? How about Elor's Danlos disease gets renamed Eric the Actor disease? Can we give him that? I mean, it's there's only not a, it, for starters, it's not a disease. It's if only thirty people have this disease. Why can't he? A disability. Why can't Eric be named Eric the Actor disease? <laughs> or a disability, uh, if you will. Who's heard of Ehlers? Uh, Who is Ehlers? There were two doctors. Oh, Ehlers Danlos. Yeah. Oh, fuck that! It's Eric the Actor disease from now on. <laughs> are you that dumb or are you not hearing me Eric the actor it's disease it's a disability it's a fucking ability moron well I've renamed it a disease it's Eric the actor disease don't you want this honor I'm giving you 
not as long as you're going to call it a disease. Well, not if that ain't a is. disease, I don't know what is. You got screwed. One thing about Eric. Oh, no, that's not true. Well, I was going to say, yeah. say he's not a complainer, <laughs> but he is. Uh, <laughs> how could you say that? You know, more people have blown John Hine than have that disease. Think about that statistic. <laughs> All right. Anyway, Erica, thank you. And I'm sorry you resigned from TNA. That makes no sense to me. And if I was you, I'd write them an email immediately and say that an imposter wrote that first one. And that wasn't you. And you love your job and you want it back. All right. That's my advice. All right. Thank you. And I'll talk to you later. Bye for now. Bye. Eric the shithead. (laughs) Eric the annoying midget. All right, I got to take a break. We'll be back right after these words. (laughs) All right, let me talk to uh, Eric the actor, a fellow actor. Oh, Eric's on the phone. Right. Good morning. I just wanted to say, you know, I'm trying to call up to congratulate you and your acting. <laughs> what is that? I said I'm trying to congratulate you, you and act and I can ask. I didn't do anything. You're letting that moron next to you hit buttons when I'm trying to congratulate you. All right, go ahead and congratulate me. Fred, knock it the fuck off. Red run! Red run! Red run! There's no point being nice to you. (laughs) (laughs) You two ought to have a show together. Red run! Eric... Announce your name, and then we can, uh, so everyone knows exactly what we should call you. I'm Eric the Actor. Now, are you sure? I think you want to be called something else. No, I don't. Eric the Dumbass Midget. Oh, all right. I would have called you Eric the Actor. Eric well, the Brood, Obnoxious, and Annoying Midget. <laughs> <laughs> All right, if that's what you want me to call you. I, I was being good and calling you Eric the Actor, but I'll buy you. Eric the you. Shitty Actor. Eric the Shitty Actor. All right, Eric the Eric Shitty Actor. Eric the Shitty Actor. Eric, come on, tell me what you're congratulating me about. America's Got Talent? I certainly hope yeah. you'll be visiting me on set. Are they going to be auditioning in San Francisco again? You know, I don't know. that. You know, they haven't told me a goddamn thing. I, I tell you. Well, maybe they don't have it all set up yet. They don't. I, I, I don't uh, understand no, how they don't. Uh, did you watch all of The Voice last night? I think so. You know, I, I fast-forwarded through some of the singers. I only like the good-looking girls and that one weirdo guy. Right. They they aired a commercial during it, and they said, and this sounds like bad news to you, 14 cities that they're going to do auditions in. Right. That is, no, they're talking That's about... That's not the... Those aren't the auditions that I show up at. Those are the ones that right now they're scouring the country looking oh. for talent. Okay, I was wondering if they were going to condense that down yes. and make the people. When I get involved, up. it's going to be less cities. Yeah, it'd be three by the time he. Gets. If I had my way, if I could run that show, it'd be one city. Let everybody come to me. Oh, with that traveling and carrying on. Why isn't it that way? You could be in in Vegas for a week. When they do the everybody voice, everybody come there. When they do the voice, they do the show. All the talent comes there, and they just yeah. do it. I mean, what, what, why why the charade? Why do we have to go around the country? Let's bring in all the talent. Yeah, I, I heard that, and I was like, oh, geez, he's gonna hate that. Yeah, well, I do hate it. That's the one part I don't like. But all right. Other than that, I like it, sort of. I mean, you like it once you get to the city. You just don't like traveling. I just hope my fellow judges are good. I like Howie and Sharon. Now, is there is there any update on what you were saying about trying to get me on Whitney? Because someone keeps asking me repeatedly. On I have no Twitter. update. I've been so busy with this new deal and the whole thing and... uh 
Well, are you going to be difficult to negotiate with? Because you lost the last job we tried to get you. I had you so hooked up, and you let Ronnie run off with it. I had him on Cougar Town. Can you believe this, right. George? I had this kid a job on Cougar Town. He was going to be the life of the... You know, I got him several acting jobs. What was he jobs. What was he playing? You know, George, I'm glad you're here. This is a, this is a great thing. They say to him, that I know the guy who writes Cougar Town. He's the executive producer. And I know uh, Courtney Cox, and I know uh, the, uh, Krista Miller. That you know, They're all on that show. He said to me, hey, we'll get Eric the actor or one of the people and we'll put him on the show. We'll write a part for him. Write uh -huh. a part for him. You, you would have died and gone to heaven to have him write a part for you, right? <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, who's sitting and writing parts for you? Well, well listen to this guy. It's something I wanted to ask George before you hung up on me. All right, hold on a second. I got to explain, George, your situation because he won't believe it. So I say to this uh, Bill Lawrence, you know, he's the producer. Uh -huh. All right, Eric, the actor, he goes, well, what would Eric play? He starts to mention several things that maybe like a criminal. Uh, Eric won't do any of them. Why? He says he, he doesn't agree with uh, the morality. Yeah, when you're an actor, he, you're playing a role. Explain yeah. it to him. You find that aspect in you. You know, yeah. you, you get angry, you get greedy, you get, uh, you know. Sure. You, you find that and you uh, play the, that. Did you, you hear that? That's Eric. acting, right, George? Exactly. Eric, it's a character. He doesn't want his head to explode. Well, he doesn't want, you know, he doesn't want any uh, special effects. He wants the role to be written for him yeah. as he is. As he is. Without any other. Yeah, with his morality and the whole thing. Oh, well. Yeah, I mean, we've even said he's turned down jobs to be in a bee costume. Oh, listen to this. He won't play a gay man. Isn't that something? Uh, Brad Pitt. Get close was, to that microphone. When you talk, it's good, but you got to be on mic. Uh, when Brad Pitt was uh, a struggling young actor in Hollywood, Go ahead. he was uh, he was in a chicken suit. Uh, what's that chicken? Uh, uh, McChicken? The San Diego chicken? Uh, it's that chicken uh, fast food. Chicken, uh, chicken, oh, uh, chicken little? Chick fil A? Chick no, 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 Chick no. Not that. Cuckoo Cuckoo. 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 He was a cuckoo yeah. chicken, you know, roaming around the sidewalk, passing out leaflets. You know, Let me ask that's you, what Eric, you do as an here's, actor. Here's a, Eric, I'm going to watch this. George, I have a role in a movie for you. Mm -hmm. It's a, a guy who's a mobster, mm -hmm. who's a pedophile who poisoned a nun. Mm -hmm. Are you interested? Sure, absolutely. Uh, I, I, I'll hear that. Card. Watch this, watch this. Watch this, George. Eric, are you there? Yes. Uh, I got a role for you on Cougar Town. Would you play a mobster who's a pedophile who poisoned a nun? No. Uh, why? I just don't feel like playing that character. Well, I thought you were an actor. Don't you act? Yes. But you want to be, be you rather than act a character. Well, That's not I've an actor. I've got a role lined up on a FX sitcom that Johnny helped me get. Johnny Frado, mm. his yeah. manager. Yes. Uh, yeah. His his manager. Then doesn't... why are you calling us about some other show? Well, I'm. Mainly... Robin, every actor has to line up their next job. But he always wants to be difficult. He wants to not only have the job, but he wants it to be exactly whatever he wants. He doesn't want to be an actor. That's what I'm. Let hearing. me ask this: Would you play a uh, a, a little person with Eller Dom's disease who turns down um, acting roles? It's not a disease, and it's Eller. Eller. See now you're screwing me up on my own pronunciation of the pronunciation. But would you play that part? Yes. <laughs> That's the part he wants. He wants to play who That's he is. That's the part he is. Yes. Hey, Eric, I was wondering, are you upset? Um, I understand Medicated Pete is out in L.A. shooting a small independent film, uh, a part that he got right. from his agent, Johnny Frotto. Oh. Ooh. Johnny took on Medicated Pete? Did you I know that? No, I had no idea that Johnny uh -oh. was. Hey, Eric. Uh, what do you? What, let me ask you something. Let's say a call comes in for a role. Did Johnny offer you that role? No. What are you saying, Howard? That he's not concentrating uh, on Eric's well, career. Well, I'm saying if what if a role comes in, who does he give it to? Eric or Medicated Pete, his new client? Hmm. 
Like, you think that might have been a call for Eric, but medicated Pete's easier, easier to work well, with. Well, I know Johnny's an ethical guy, but, I mean, you know, he's got to think, yeah, who's the, who's the guy who's most likely to actually take the work? I, I don't think Eric wants to work. He just wants to hang out. Yeah, right. He did the thank you. No, I, I want to get as many parts as I can. Sounds like medicated Pete grabbed one of your parts. Ronnie's you already don't. grabbed one. And Ronnie grabbed one. Are you straight picky. or are you gay? I'm straight. All right. Would you pay, play a gay guy? No, not to insult you, but no. Of yes. course not. Because <laughs> you're, you're not an actor. Eric, watch this. You're George, not an actor. George, would you play a black cowboy who yodels in a submarine? <laughs> <laughs> It'd be a stretch, but I would uh, audition would try for it. it. You'll try it. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Do you see the attitude difference, Eric? Well, he's not an actor. Yeah. No. He doesn't want to why. That's why I, for years, would not call him Eric the actor, because I felt he wasn't an actor. No, he isn't. I am Eric the extra. Eric the extra. <laughs> <laughs> that's what he is. No, it's not at all. <laughs> well, how can you d d justify Eric the word the actor? actor? When you don't want to act, then you're not an actor. Right? What do you... What do you consider Eddie Murphy? An actor. He's an, an actor, actor, comedian. Yeah. He turned genius down Ghostbusters. Yeah, because he had five other career. projects going. He he made a bad call on that. Turning down a role, but he would have done it. Yeah. yeah. By the way, the role for the for the black guys, quote unquote, in Ghostbusters was a very very small role, and he probably said, "Hey, I'm hot as a pistol." I don't need to be uh, doing five lines in Ghostbusters when I can be doing, uh, you know, uh, Beverly Hills Cop. That ain't you. He got into you know position. Will Smith. Will Smith played a gay guy in Six Degrees of Separation. That's correct. That's right. Oh, look, I haven't heard from him since. No, I don't oh, think no. you want to act. <laughs> you just want to be Eric. No, you just want to yeah hang out on the set. You want to be Eric who hangs out on the set, right? The title, Eric the set decoration. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Eric, I got to go, but uh, let me well, know. Wait, I, I wanted to ask George a question. Yes. Now, has anyone asked or told you when the Halloween episode of the new normal that you were on is supposed to air because it never aired? No, because uh, it was Halloween themed. And uh, yeah. it, it was preempted by Hurricane Sandy. And uh, it certainly was not, you know... Oh, my God, I want to kill myself. Yeah, well, it's going to be on next year uh, during Halloween. It's uh, How about Eric just compared himself to Eddie Murphy? <laughs> <laughs> nothing, nothing delusional in that. <laughs> George, would you play a grave digger who rapes corpses and eats them? Well, it's... A, it's Yeah, I'm not that at all. It's the farthest right. thing You're an actor. I am. But I will play that part. Right. I'll try to find something in me. Good, then I have a movie for you. Yeah, you know, you, <laughs> I wrote a movie last night about a grave digger who rapes corpses. <laughs> you, wrote, you, you just saw the greatest yeah. script. I tell you, I, you know, I am a guy. I love um, monster movie. You know, I, I love uh, vampires. All this stuff. I never considered myself a guy who was into zombies. I don't care about zombies. I love zombies. Always love zombies. Well, I, I didn't. And, you know, mm -hmm. I, now I watch The uh, Walking Dead. Which, mm -hmm. by the way, was just in the newspaper. Their last episode that just aired this week got ten and a half million viewers. Now, for a and cable, that's cable for a cable channel to get ten and a half million viewers is pretty remarkable. That's like more viewers than like the Voice gets, and the Voice is a big hit, or or more right. viewers than uh, yeah. I, I can give you you know comparisons, but it's such a good show. I love it. Brilliant, brilliant show. They do it so well, and I'm not interested in zombies. I, I, you know I what? I don't uh, like talking dead people. I don't like walking dead people. <laughs> what somebody said was, you know, in the movies, the zombie fun lasts only about a couple of hours, and Walking Dead has managed to extend it over weeks. It's brilliant. Yeah. So, uh, I don't know how I got into this, but I, I love it. <laughs> Zombies have always been a great genre. You didn't like uh, Night of the Living Dead and all that stuff. You wow, that's you a would, great movie. Yeah, those, that, that, those I like. Would you? Would you? You play a zombie though, Eric, right? No. Wow! <laughs> wow! 
I mean, Eric, do you realize not that many people are, are, are anxious to give you an acting job? Eric, the stupid bitch. Well, that's an appropriate title for you. You George, certainly aren't an actor. George, would you play an <laughs> egocentric actor who wears a toupee and shits on the <laughs> cast of Star Trek? <laughs> <laughs> now, that's really going to be both uh, close to me and a stretch. Right. But you'd play it, right? <laughs> Uh, all right, Eric, I got to go. Thank you for the congratulations right. on America's Got Talent. I do appreciate it. Thank you. Very sweet. Talk to you later. Get to work on getting him a new role. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, uh, just real quick, Robin, it's Eric the Actor's uh, 38th birthday today. Happy birthday, oh, Eric. Me. I can't talk Thank to you. you. Yeah, I can't talk to you long because I'm way over today. Tomorrow, perhaps, but not today. You have a wonderful oh, birthday, nice. though. What are you doing for your birthday? Tell yeah. everybody. Well, at this point, I really don't have much plan to do. Well, there be at this point, uh, when are you going to make a plan? Hey, let me tell you something, Robin, about this guy, if I can be serious. How many years have you defied the doctors? What age did they say you were going to be dead? Somewhere in my teens, I think. Now he's 38. Wow. He defied all of them. Eric the back actor. He has defied all doctors' predictions. This is why, even if the doctor gives you a death sentence, and this goes to Valerie Harper out there. That's what I was thinking, that Valerie right. Harper should hear this. Right, Eric? Isn't that a good message for Valerie Harper? Yeah, definitely. Right. What do you say? How did you do it? Well, I don't really know exactly. I mean, I know I didn't uh, keep from doing what Mayor Bloomberg doesn't want. I mean, I drink as much soda as I possibly can. Well, if can. I was you, I'd drink as much soda as I could get my hands <laughs> on to it. I wouldn't even worry about it. Well, you know what I was thinking? I should hook you up with What's Valerie that? Harper, right, Robin? What? Yeah, she would be. He she would be an inspiration. To hear inspirational stories. Yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> if I can line that up, will you meet with her privately and counsel her? Sure. Nice of you. Okay, that was very generous. All right. Yes. Well, what? he's giving something away for his birthday. On your birthday, Eric, your 38th birthday. What lucky girl will you be jerking off to on your special day? <laughs> I have no idea, really. No idea. I I I what would you wish for? Well, to uh, go through the day without having to put up with any bullshit. That's it? That's it. You heard it. In other words, you don't want to be bothered on Twitter today. Exactly. Right. Well, I think of a lot of greater things than that. <laughs> I would have thought a trip to the Bunny Ranch. Uh, anything. Yeah. You know, some right. girl to fall in love with him or something. Hey, Eric, do you need $5,000? That would be nice. Well, we're looking for a new theme song for the show. Go to SiriusXM.com slash Howard for rules and information on how to enter your original song for a chance to win $5,000. The $5,000 grand prize is provided by Dollar Shave Club. Shave time, shave money. DollarShaveClub.com. Uh, Eric would be a shoo-in to win that, don't you think, Robin? Uh, doubt it. <laughs> I've read some of his uh, I would literature. I would listen <laughs> to him sing. Great. Anything he sings would be good. <laughs> Three, four. Wild thing. <laughs> you make my penis sore. You make my cock shitty. <laughs> Wild thing. 
I do want to wish you a happy 38th birthday and uh, have a wonderful... May all your dreams come true. Thank you. All right. The next couple of days, Joni and I have some announcements to make. Looking forward to it. Thank you. Thank you for keeping it brief. Hey, you know... Uh... <laughs> and the other one I saw recently was um, this guy's walking around in a park. I think it's in France or something. And he has this thing, uh, he goes, excuse me, I have a, a gay meter. I just want to see if it's, uh, if you're gay. He hits this, this is like a piece of wood with a buzzer on it. Uh -huh. And he points it at people and he goes, oh, you are gay. You're very gay. <laughs> and these guys get up and they, they beat the shit out of them. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's, they, go, they go, we are not gay. That's funny. Oh, That's my God. funny. Robin, this guy's insane. Because, oh, I, mean, I got to see both of those. It's fantastic. And I don't even know what website I was on, but they just put in gay buzzers. In fact, I'm getting a gay buzzer for our... our <laughs> <laughs> hey, let's send Sal and Richard out with gay buzzers. No, 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 no. Get it, oh, don't get killed. <laughs> New Yorkers will just keep... In fact, I'll be I, here for that one. I built, <laughs> let me show you something. I built a gay buzzer. I'll show you how it works. It looks like a TV remote. It's made by Samsung. Um... Here, look, I'll point it at George. First, I'll point it at me. You'll see. Uh, it, okay. It just makes the sound that shows you I'm not gay. Here, wait. Let me see. It's not working. It makes a sound that says I'm not gay. All right. Let me turn it on. There we go. You see? That's a not gay sound. That's not gay. Now, watch what happens when and I put it on. And it's silent with me. No, let me see when I put it on you what it does. It should make, it should put the gay sound. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, all right. You see? <laughs> Try it on Benji. <laughs> Try it on Benji. All right. But just hit me, don't hit George. <laughs> well, George yeah, because they're pretty close right, together. Right. I'll lean back. Lean back. You're straight. <laughs> <All right. laughs> Who else you want to try? I've always try Richard. It. Try Richard. Richard. Oh, I bet you is gay. Mm. Uh, get Richard. Now, well, you, I, I with George, you must be very gay because there's, there's gradations. And, uh, ah. It you, was very loud. It for was you. very loud. <laughs> yes, it was. Yeah. It would be kind of muted for, uh, for Richard. Richard, come I in here. I want to point this at you. I'm not even going to tell you why. <laughs> All right? Just stand there. Are you ready? Or you could stand by the mic. It's okay. It'll reach, I think. I think I know what this is going to be. <laughs> Listen to that! Oh You're my gay. god! The thing's smoking. <laughs> I suspected that. There's smoke coming out of that machine. <laughs> hey, who can we? Hey, you know, while we're doing this, I don't will. while we're doing this, let me ask you: Who can we get in here that might actually think <laughs> that thing that works? Thing works? Yeah, besides George, you know, <laughs> George still thinks it works. <laughs> who can we get in here? Seriously, I want to do it on him right now. Like someone who would be like like upset about it. Well, they're listening right now. They should so be, yeah, but maybe there's flattered. somebody around who isn't listening. Um, Where's Ross? Yeah, Ross won't fall for it, though. He won't? He actually, I think his IQ is above 89. <laughs> <laughs> well, we don't have Bobo here. Although, when we go to a club, I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> who the yeah, hell Bobo can... would have been perfect. Who's running around here would be offended if we uh, found out they were gay? Like, we need, like... They may be flattered. Hey, can you get Gary the retard on the phone? <laughs> <laughs> we can try. Oh, it works yeah, over like, the phone as well. Oh, yeah, Eric the Midget. The <laughs> Eric the Midget. Oh, oh. Where's that? Hey, hey, get Eric the actor okay. on the phone. Eric okay. the actor. No. <laughs> Hopefully he's not listening. He's probably listening. <laughs> hey, probably. No, maybe he went back to sleep after that. Oh call. yeah, 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 yeah. All right. You're such a prankster. No, I just want to see if it works. <laughs> yeah. It worked on you. You're gay. <laughs> oh, yes. Well, there's nothing by about that. There's no question. Uh, let me tell you about Stephen Singer. Uh, Rob, hey, Rob, let me point it at you for a second. <laughs> <laughs> let me see what happens. Oh, okay. <laughs> Thank you. And you're straight. Verification, finally. A lot of people think you're gay. You're not. <laughs> hey, Gary, bring in a priest from the Catholic Channel. <clears throat> And I'll point the uh, gay beard. <laughs> hmm. Let me see here, Father. Whoa. 
<laughs> I can predict how it's going to go off. <laughs> uh, Robin, what else is in there? Can we get Eric the actor or not? I guess not. I guess he's okay. not available. He's very busy. We left him a message. Okay, good enough. Yeah, he's probably still. Ross is here. Who's here? Ross. He won't fall for yeah, you. Yeah, all right. Please. He said that he won't. No, I forget him. He's not, he's not going to be any good. Now let me point it to Gary. <laughs> <laughs> he looks a little gay to me. He's gay. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, you know, you're writing a Broadway show. Yes. Right. Hey, Eric the actor, real quick. I've got this device here that tells you whether you're gay or not. Okay? All right. All right. Let me point it at George, for example, and show you what happens. <laughs> Okay, that means you're gay. Now, pointing at you so that we know that it does... You know, that it works? All right. Different things, yeah. Okay, this isn't me. Hold on. That means I'm not gay. Got it? Eric. Yes? I'm pointing it at the phone. I just want to know. Are you or not? This will tell us once and for all. Here we go. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Wait, let me test that again. That does Because he's heterosexual, I thought. Go ahead. That means you're gay. Yep. Eric, do you have something to tell us? I woke up for this bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> Is there a man in the room with you? No, don't fuck. <laughs> because I'm telling you, it's going off like crazy. <laughs> This thing, this thing is going on. Look like, at it. It's stuck. All right. All right. All right. Stop it for a second here. <laughs> I'll turn it off. Yeah, so it's pretty crazy outside here. Uh, Eric, the actor, is on the phone. Now, hold it, Eric. I got a bunch of theme songs for you before you start. What's the? Do you have them, Fred, or do I? I have. Hold on. Here's one. No. Wait, wait, wait. Na, 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 na. Na, 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 na. Hey, hey, hey. Goodbye. the act act thing right who me no i do not oh what no i do not yeah but you got to admit that does sound a little like you the act act no not at all really act, act. Hmm. i could swear it's your voice is that so close to the matches act, act. do you like when they chop up your words to you know say different things no no you don't much of a sense of humor, do you? Well, not on stuff like that. Right. But I watch some completely I watch plenty of funny midget. I watch plenty of stand up sitcoms and comedy movies, so I have somewhat of a sense of humor. Right. Eric, the complaining midget. Anyway, what can I do for you, Eric? Could I speak to you? I was just wondering, ADT last night did not show Rachel at all. Is she going to be on tonight? Hmm. It's a good question. I don't know how they edited it up. I uh, I usually get an advance, but I don't get it until like five hours before the show airs. So they edit right up until showtime. It's amazing to me. So I don't know. I don't know uh, if she's in tonight's episode or not. Okay. And the other reason. Why I call is five years ago, this date, or this day, I should say, I got released from being in a hospital in North Little Rock, Arkansas for six days. That's when this congestive heart failure problem started. Okay. All right. Okay. Thank you, Eric. Good to speak to you. Great story. 
Thank you for sharing. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God for his theme song. Yeah, that kind of helps, doesn't it? <laughs> kind of pulls everything together. Uh, before I hang up on you, any other surgery anniversaries coming up? <laughs> no. Hmm. One more theme song for us. <laughs> Let's try that again. Maybe we should make a bigger deal about the anniversary. <laughs> Eric, what was that anniversary story again? Maybe we missed some part of it that we didn't really understand. Just that five, year, five years ago today, I got to get out of the North Little Rock, Arkansas hospital after being there for six days. Exactly on this date? Heart failure. This is the exact well, date. It was Wednesday, July 22nd. And what this is, is the 23rd. Yeah. Well, you realize yeah. it's not even it your anniversary. You missed it. <laughs> it was a Wednesday. <laughs> yeah, but that's the thing. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Eric, your anniversary was yesterday. I know, but a year ago, or a year from today, it will be the same. Well, call us a year from year. today. <laughs> hey, there's a Wednesday every seven days. You can't make Wednesday your anniversary. All right. Uh, That was a great no, was... ending to that story. It, it's not even, you called in about your anniversary <laughs> and, and, and through just a little bit of questioning, we found out and discovered that it's not even your anniversary. Oh, I didn't want, excuse me for not wanting to sit on hold yesterday when you guys wasted the whole first, the show, or the show talking about Benji. I thought that was a waste of time. It was a waste. Mm -hmm. Well, it didn't sound like there was much Let me get this straight. Resolved about it. You said a year ago today you got out of the no. hospital. Five years ago today you got out of the hospital. And then when we questioned you for one second, it turned out that it's not You're the anniversary. Fucking unbelievable. And you're like, no, it was a Wednesday. All right. Anyway, thank you, Eric. One, two, three. And by the way, ever since I've been on this show being a tech about wow, you make my penis sore. <laughs> you make my cock shitty. <laughs> wow, thing. Nothing but a worthless sack of shit. Uh, 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 so come on and push your cock in my asshole. Uh, 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 I love Steve Lankford's long penis. Wild thing. You were saying so what, that, what? I was saying it ever since I've been a part of the show and getting criticized about the pauses and stuff in my speech, I've been kind of studying other people talking on TV, and it's a normal thing. Even the president takes pauses when he speaks. Not in the sports, middle of words. <laughs> sports coaches, when they're giving interviews, take pauses in their speech. You just said talking. Yeah, you're pausing in the word. <laughs> Eric, the stupid bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, Eric. I hope you have a good day. Yeah. 
By the way, some of those ack acts, some of them are from the movie, but some of them are actually Eric. Because Eric went on a show once and said, I don't say ack ack, and then Fred took it and played it all the time. Oh, oh, it I is him. Oh, it is Eric. So when I'm playing, this is this will let you know. Listen to this one. That's him. And that's this, him? That's him. I thought so. And this is Mars Attacks. <laughs> so yeah, Eric, it's you. Well, how other was I supposed to explain that I don't say that? But it's you. <laughs> Can you say it one more time really clearly and slowly? No. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Eric. Uh, listen, have a good day, and, and congratulations on your anniversary. Thank you. Eric. All right. Bye bye. I, I would have called in yesterday. Right. All right, Eric, the actor, everybody who uh, has been doing a lot of acting lately. Thank you, All right, Eric, the actor. I um not a black actor, but I would take nuts in my ass after I give him to a fifth grade retard that comes in to my mouth. Take over! Take over! Take over! Take over! Well, what part is that? That high part? Who is that? Is that Eric? High pitch Eric? It's him, yeah. Screaming. But I'm not sure what it is. Oh. All right. <laughs> By the way, that is not Eric uh, issuing a plea for someone to fuck him in the ass. It's obviously a song parody. Uh, ooh. What was that? <laughs> what? <laughs> All right. So, uh... <laughs> oh, I know where I'll begin. I see Gonzo Shitcock oh. is on the phone. Oh. Yes, Gonzo. And by the way, uh, there is, there's a new thing going on with the people who send in song parodies. Hey, Eric. Hey, hey, Gonzo Shitcock. What's How's this new thing? The new thing is they've created uh, songs for everyone but Wolfie. <laughs> Even Gonzo Shitcock has a song, Robin. It's unbelievable. It's Gonzo, Gonzo Shitcock. <laughs> Gonzo, Gonzo Shitcock. Oh, my God. Gonzo, Gonzo Shitcock. <laughs> and a nice time. Sometimes I feel that song or those words should never be in song. Gonzo <laughs> Shitcock, uh, by the way, of course, uh, it became Gonzo Shitcock because of uh, Eric the Actor. Yeah. Eric the Actor's uh, arch enemy is Gonzo Shitcock. And nicely yeah. there, Eli Braden incorporated the ack ack into your theme song. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, uh, but it's great. And uh, wait, Eric wants to talk to you. Actually, this is a great way to come back. Eric is on the phone. Hey, Eric. Hello. I believe Eric has. Does Eric have a new theme song too? It's weird that that Eric wouldn't have a theme song. Yeah. But Gonzo Shik here has this. Song. Want Here's one for Eric. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think, Eric? Nice theme song, huh? I don't make that fucking sound. <laughs> but it's you making it. No, it's not. That's from a movie. Is that not Eric? That's my point. <laughs> you know the name of that movie. <laughs> Mars Attacks. Right. <laughs> well, I, it just sounds like Eric. It's not Eric. <laughs> but Eric, it does sound like you, you got to admit. <laughs> no, it doesn't. That's you, Eric. That's <laughs> exactly, <laughs> that sounds exactly like you, Eric. Shut up, idiot. Eric's been a complete asshole to me the last two weeks that we've been on. <laughs> he has been such a dick. Like, I'm nothing but nice this guy. This guy has been fucking torturing me on Twitter, sending me fucked up, up emails, fuck up. all kinds. See? Okay, Shut go ahead, up, Eric. fuck up. Mm. You, and also, how I post Eric because Eric was tweeting from a fake account. He like because you know I stopped tweeting. He made a fake account called uh, Rodeo Man Nine Six Nine. I expose him and I release voicemail clips. I send it to you guys. I don't know if you have them, but 
I exposed him, and he got pissed off at me. I told him, all I asked him was to unblock That's me. why I keep calling you a fuck-up. <laughs> why? Because I, I told, because I told the truth about your fake accounts that you were tweeting from? Will you admit now that at least it was a fake account? Because you were, you were making I, me look like an asshole, and you were, like, destroying my good name. Eric, you've been accused of making a fake account. This is uh, where it comes down to you telling the truth, or, 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 is, or is, is Gonzo lying? Yeah, you're destroying my credibility, Eric. Like, you're making me look like the asshole when you're the asshole. I let you in on that to try to test your loyalty. But yeah, you that's... <laughs> yeah, right. Eric, are you saying the that's fake account was, was set up with Gonzo Shinkok's knowledge to see if he was loyal to you? It was a mastermind of a genius plan on your part to see if he was loyal to you. This was a sting! Yeah. yeah, but then he, but then the fucker blocked me, and I said, Eric, just unblock me by midnight, and I won't release the audio tapes of you admitting to being, being this fake account. Because I, Eric had my trust, and I wasn't going to expose him for being this fake, fake account. So I said, Eric, just... And then he blocked me, so I said, unblock me by midnight, and I won't I won't tell anyone that you're really this account. Hey, and I won't hey, release Mr. the audio... Hey, Mr. Bullshit. This is unbelievable what I'm hearing, a plot by Eric the Actor to fool Gonzo Shitcock. Gonzo Shitcock falling for it and Eric exposing. Wow. The, the only reason why you got blocked again after being unblocked was because you exposed me. You called in the... But I gave you an opportunity. Hey, Dopey, I got the bitch and the rocket. The bullies him on Twitter. Got him so shit, cock. Got him so shit, cock. Got the bitch and the rocket. The bitch and the rocket. Got him so shit, cock. Got him so shit, cock. Thanks, little Mikey. <laughs> little Mikey, Eli Braden, but uh, those guns are shitcock uh, theme songs. But, I want uh, his exit song to be na 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 na. Hey hey, goodbye. <laughs> oh wow! <laughs> well, you know, Robin, there's a lesson in all of this, and people say, "Why <laughs> do you the have lesson?" Well, the lesson is this is what happens when you're trapped in the house all day long. You <laughs> run out of shit to do, and you end up fighting with guys or shitcock on Twitter. <laughs> Uh, it's really a good lesson. By the way, Eric, I heard this uh, amazing call that Wendy the Retard and Gary the Retard uh, uh, made to you. They were here, and they started um, calling Eric. They called Eric. Yeah, Listen to this. Waking me up when I was trying to... Uh, this is great. i got to get that Eric the actor on the phone at some point. What's going on with Eric? Oh, there's Gonzo. Hey, Gonzo, you're uh, about all things Eric. Hey, you'll like this. Hey, what's up, Eric? What's Eric up to these days? Are you still tweeting with him? Uh, yeah, he's um, he's actually tweeting under an alias now. Yeah. That we've uh, I don't know if you have the information there. It's like a, a this account called Rodeo Man 1969. I don't know that account. I don't know anything about it. Uh, I'm sure yeah. Eric would deny it. I mean, you two are always <laughs> feuding. But my best thing is uh, Eric. Um, I got his. Um, I, I guess he wanted to be on wait how do we get these yucko the clown i gotta ask eric about this he auditioned for the cartoon to play different characters on yucko's uh, tv show right and um he's got a bunch of auditions here what happened was he didn't know how to audition so he said he called Shuli and said i'm going to leave these on your voicemail so you can have these to pull, you know so he didn't know how to record them so this is for eric the, this is so eric can get a job on yucko's cartoon yeah these are the voices that eric does yeah here, here they are. Uh, Yucko, if you're listening, uh, here's Eric's audition. That's what he wants out of this. Uh, here's Eric doing his little boy impression. Hello, Mr. Yucko. I was calling to my mom when she just told me birthday party. I want to have a clown. But I just want to see what kind of clown you are. I want to see if you do balloon animals or magic or jokes or what? I like that impression. That sounds just like a little boy. Right. With, yeah. a, with a breathing problem. <laughs> <laughs> a little old boy. A little <laughs> <laughs> I gotta tell you, uh, I'd, I'd use him as a little boy. <laughs> I think he'd make a great cartoon. I don't know what you're talking about. All right, so uh, Eric doesn't stop there, and his part of his audition was, uh, this is Eric doing a southern guy, if you need All a southern right. guy. 
Hey, y'all go. I'm calling to get a clown for my kid's birthday party, and I just wanted to know what kind of things you do. I wanted to know if you do balloon animals. Or you. What do you think, Robin? Isn't it's going to be the same read every time. Well, well, everybody's interested in the same, balloon same animals. Same idea. Same <laughs> idea. Yeah. I um, like to do British now. Hello, <laughs> I hear you're a clown. <laughs> Funny you say that. Uh, did you say British? Yes. British. Yeah. Well, there's an explanation. No. Is a British <laughs> man. Here you go. Stop. Uh, you'll be astonished. You'll think this. You'll think this is someone from England. Cheerio, Miss. <laughs> 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 I want to see if you are available for a birthday party. Unfortunately, I came off a little southern doing that. Mm. Wait a minute. You know what, Howard? Yeah. I need to hear the British, yeah. the little boy, and the southern guy all at the same time. Okay. I can make that happen. That I can do. You want to hear them all played at yeah. the same time? Hello, Mr. Hey, y'all uh, go. Maybe Hello, I spoke Mr. too soon. Hey, y'all go. I can't do it. I'm calling you. <laughs> get a clown. I can't do it. Uh, uh, my computer has limitations, <laughs> I guess. But anyway, uh, that's pretty good. And, of course, uh, so many listeners have been sending in songs. The guy obsessed is Eli Braden, but every time, you know, it really irritates a a Eric, the actor, when you tell him every show he's been on has been canceled. <laughs> and people hold him responsible, even yes. though he's been in three seconds of it. But it drives him nuts. So uh, there was a bunch of songs. Eric, the actor, seems to curse every show he's on. These are only funny when Eric hears them. <laughs> Just gets them crazy. All right, Gonzo, thank you. Uh, hey, Howard. Yeah. I um, uh, wanted to uh, just quickly ask if, or request, speaking of Eli and uh, little Mikey, whatever, if uh, I could get like a theme song. And stuff. Uh, Gonzo know, Shitcock theme song? Yeah, I thought that would be cool. Well, yeah. as, long as, uh, as long as Wolfie doesn't get one. <laughs> all right, Gonzo, thank you. All right, all right. It's Gonzo uh, Shitcock out of California, whose whole reason for being is he messes with Eric on uh, Twitter. They, yeah. they seem to fight with each other all the time. Gonzo claims he's an Eric fan. Eric claims Gonzo has bad intentions. <laughs> uh, this is great. i got to get that Eric the actor on the phone at some point. What's going on with Eric? Oh, there's Gonzo. Hey, Gonzo, you're uh, about all things Eric. Hey, you'll like this. Hey, what's up, Eric? What's Eric up to these days? Are you still tweeting with him? Uh, yeah, he's um, he's actually tweeting under an alias now. Yeah. That we've, uh, I don't know if you have the information there. It's like a, a this account called Rodeo Man 1969. I don't know that account. I don't know anything about it. Uh, I'm sure yeah. Eric would deny it. I mean, you two are always feuding, but my best thing is uh, Eric. Um, I got his. Um, I guess he wanted to be on. Wait, how do we get these? Yucko the Clown. I got to ask Eric about this. He auditioned for the cartoon to play different characters on Yucko's uh, TV show. Right. And um, he's got a bunch of auditions here. Uh, what happened was he didn't know how to audition, so he said he called Shuli and said, "I'm going to leave these on your voicemail so you can have these to pull, you know." So he didn't know how to record them. So this is for Eric. The, this is so Eric can get a job on Yucko's cartoon. Yeah, these are the voices that Eric does. Yeah, here, here they are. Uh, Yucko, if you're listening, uh, here's Eric's audition. That's what he wants out of this. Uh, here's Eric doing his little boy impression. Hello, Mr. Yucko. I was going to, my mom wants to throw me a birthday party and wants to have a clown. But I was just wondering to see what kind of clown you are. I wanted to see if you do balloon animals or magic tricks or jokes. Or what. How do you like that impression? That sounds just like a little boy. Mm. With, yeah. a, with a breathing problem. <laughs> <laughs> A little old boy. A little <laughs> <laughs> I got to tell you, uh, I'd, I'd use him as a little boy. I think he'd make a great cartoon. I don't know what you're talking about. All right, so uh, Eric doesn't stop there, and his part of his audition was, uh, this is Eric doing a southern guy, if you need All a right. southern guy. Hey, Yucko, I'm calling to get a clown for my kid's birthday party, and I just wanted to know what kind of things you do. I wanted to know if you do balloon animals 
Corey. What do you think, Robin? Isn't it's going to be the same read every time? Well, well, everybody's I'm, interested same, in the balloon part. animals. Same idea. Same <laughs> idea. Yeah. I like to do British now. Hello, Pitman. I hear you're a clown. Funny you say that. Uh, <laughs> did you say British? Yes. British. Yeah. Well, there's next no. to is a British man. <laughs> Here you go. Stop. Uh, you'll be astonished. You'll think this is someone. You'll think this is someone from England. <laughs> Cheerio, Miss. <laughs> 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 I want to see if you were available for a birthday party. Unfortunately, I came off a little southern doing that. Mm. Wait a minute. You know what, Howard? Yeah. I need to hear the British, yeah. the little boy, and the southern guy all at the same time. Okay. I can make that happen. That I can do. You want to hear them all played at yeah. the same time? Hello, Mr. Hey, Yoko. Uh, maybe Hello, I spoke Mr. too soon. Hey, Yoko. I can't do it. I'm calling you. Get a clown. I can't do it. Uh, uh, my computer has limitations, <laughs> I guess. But anyway, uh, that's pretty good. And, of course, uh, so many listeners have been sending in songs. The guy obsessed is Eli Braden, but every time, you know, it really irritates uh, Eric, the actor, when you tell him every show he's been on has been canceled. <laughs> and people hold him responsible, even yes. though he's been in three seconds of it. But it drives him nuts. So uh, there was a bunch of songs. Eric, the actor, seems to curse every show he's on. These are only funny when Eric hears them. Because <laughs> he gets them crazy. All right, Gonzo, thank you. Uh, hey, Howard. Yeah. Um, I wanted to uh, just quickly ask if or request, speaking of Eli and uh, Little Mikey, whatever, if uh, I could get like a theme song. And stuff. Uh, Gonzo then, Shitcock theme song? Eric, the actor, was on the phone. Uh, controversial uh, conversation with Eric, the actor, yesterday. I tried to give him a. A love doll that Penthouse Magazine sent me, a $1,700 love doll that is very uh, female-like. Had full vagina, anus, and uh, mouth that Eric could have fucked. He turned it down, called me back, and tried to get it. I said, too late. And uh, he called me a fuck. <laughs> anyway. no, I, I, Good morning. I said, fuck you. Fuck you, All right. Anyway, what can I do for you, Eric? Well, for starters, not in the mood for any stupid games. And I got <laughs> bad news about a friend of mine. So I don't want to have any stupid things go on right now. <laughs> well, you but, called the wrong show. <laughs> the only, Why are you uh, calling us in this distraught state? Yeah, the only thing that I know is that this is the stupidest show, and there's lots of stupid things going right. on. Right. We do nothing but stupid stuff. Yeah, I oh, would yeah. like to have an intelligent show, but it doesn't seem to happen. I, I had two questions about AGT. <laughs> all okay. business. All right, if you're all business, may I ask you what happened to your friend that got you so upset? He's near death. Uh, what happened about to him? This, about the same age as me, he's got spina bifida, and he has an affection, and it's got hit so bad that he's almost probably got just a couple weeks left to live. Well, you're in a bad mood. So let's get to the questions yeah. about AGT. Let's, not, let, let's try not to do anything that, stupid. Did you guys know that you have a, a ringer on this show? I, 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 wh who's the ringer? Emily West. Why is she a ringer? She, she has had a career in a country singer before. Yeah, that, that's not... So, a, that, 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 everyone's well, aware of that. About Anyone in America. You know what? The Beatles can enter America's Got Talent absolutely. and compete. Anybody can. Yes. But she, to me, it seems unfair to the 90 <laughs> some for Well, that's to you, but the rules say she can enter. Yeah. Uh, listen, you've had a career as an actor, and you can compete in America's Got Talent. You know. And it, then the other question. And by the way, I've never heard of Emily West, and I've never heard of. Um, a, you know, I don't. I doubt many people were aware of her country career. 
I'm sure she tried to make it. By the way, there are many contestants on most of these shows who have had some... Some success. Yeah, like they've gotten recording contracts. Last year, there was a guy who actually had a couple of country albums out and he competed. It was a, a big guy. I can't think of his name offhand. Um, heavy set guy. He used to bring his wife on. The guy who... Oh, I know who He'd sing to his about. wife. Right. His name was Marty, yeah. I think. Yeah. yeah, he had several country albums. And his career didn't go anywhere. And he said, you know what? I'm going to try out for America's Got Talent. So that's encouraged. You know who tried out last week, Eric? Celine Dion. I don't know if you saw it. <laughs> People haven't heard from her in a while. All right, what else do you want to reveal? I just wanted to know why it's they're doing the, the show in the format that they're doing where they're jumping from city to city instead of it focusing on one city per hour. They're doing that because I think they decided let's show... Let's show the talent as opposed to who cares what city we're in. In other words, oh. you know, it, it makes for a better show. Because it keeps going from New York to L.A. and back. Right. And nobody and nobody cares. Nobody and by cares the way, but you. Uh, that, was at, that was at my encouragement. I said, why? Well, I don't think the audience cares. I think they just want to see talent grouped together in an exciting way. And, and um, the producers are great. Oh, okay. All right. All right. And I'm sorry about your friend. Thank you, Eric. Uh, bye. The serious, Nothing stupid happened. Nothing stupid happened. You know, that was too much pressure for me not to have <laughs> anything stupid happen because Eric was in a bad mood. That's how you got to get off because any at any time something stupid could happen. Eric, the completely unfunny midget. See? <laughs> Yesterday, Eric was really funny, and today, nothing. Well, he's in a bad Eric, mood. The annoying midget. He didn't want any shenanigans. He had to ask those two silly questions about AGT. He had One to get wasn't on. even a question. It was Eric, a complaint. The loud mouth midget. I almost think they both were complaints, like, you have a ringer. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Because he doesn't like the jumping around from city to city. Eric, the obnoxious midget. <laughs> <laughs> Eric, the ridiculous midget. Yes, Neil. Eric, the actor, you're on the air. Go ahead. Good morning. Morning. Quickly, Eric, today. I mean, I don't want a whole long, drawn out thing. Well, you're the one that had Steve call me back. Oh. I hung up. I, I didn't even know you were called in the first place. Steve, yeah. why did you call Eric back? I didn't tell you to call him. He, I call, I put him back up because I thought he had something interesting. He'd been on hold all morning. No, oh, I, 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 it wasn't coming from me, Eric. I wasn't looking for oh. him. But go ahead. Well, Johnny was... Johnny he, is your uh, agent. Yes. Right. He told me earlier that he had something big to tell me but he said he could only do it on air. Oh. Do you have him? Gary, why would you call Eric back if you don't have Johnny? <laughs> Eric makes a point. Do you follow this, Robin, so far? Isn't this great? Uh, yeah, we're, we're at a standstill. Yeah. Eric was on the phone. I didn't know anything about it. Right. Gary right. makes the decision to put Eric back on, but Eric only wanted to be on because Johnny had something to tell him, but we're, they didn't, he doesn't get Johnny. Both of them back up. Johnny's not answering his phone. So then why didn't you just pick up the phone and tell Eric that you can't do it instead of wasting my time? Uh, Eric, he's not here. I, I got to go. I'm so sorry. Uh, forgive me. That's the incompetence of my staff. Uh, maybe tomorrow. Maybe. Later. Eric the Bye. actor. Bye. I mean... Johnny Frado and Eric the actor are on. I, I have uh, kind of limited time here, but they, they, they've been calling for two days straight with some sort of big news that Johnny wants to tell Eric. Okay. All right, Johnny, you're on. Tell Eric your news. Well, Howard, boy, I'm so, I'm so conflicted about telling him this because he's been such a prick. Yeah, didn't he but fire I, you? I will. Didn't he? Yeah, he fired me. Eric, you fired Johnny. He keeps, he keeps firing me. But listen to this. There are gentlemen at FXX 
the new FX, you know, with the other X. Yeah. Uh, Jim Jeffries, Peter O'Fallon, and Paul Berdino, uh, Bernardo. <laughs> that um, these guys have hired Eric to do the TV show legit as a reoccurring role. Really? Eric, Eric did you know this, or you're just learning this now? I'm just learning it right now. Wow. So, well, you sound excited. He actually sounds the same no matter what is going on in his life. His range is zero. Eric. Johnny, real quick. Two things. One, you need to apologize to Paul for flubbing his last name. I said Paul Bernard. You said Paul Bernardo. Oh, I'm Italian. I put O's on everything. And then the other is, this is a job you were supposed to get for me last year. Our, our, oh, my goodness. Wow. Okay. Our, I'm going to kill him. Wow. <laughs> this is a, it's a, it, Rob, Howard, it's a reoccurring role, a scripted show on Fox. Wow. So, FXX. And isn't it amazing so, that Eric just kind of... Like, just literally just said two of the most negative things. Number one, you got a name wrong. Who cares? Number two, you were supposed to get this from me last year, so I'm not even excited about it. Right. Hey. Oh, fucker, better get excited about it, because earlier I, I said to him, Eric, this big thing I have to do for you has got to be on the 2nd or the 3rd of December. He started arguing with me about that. He wants to argue about fucking second or third. I, I am an intern. I just figured out by listening to you guys, I don't get paid or anything. <laughs> you give the intern. I must be an intern all of a sudden. Eric, you don't Eric want to start up. When, when, when is Eric, oh, Johnny, calm down for one second. When does Eric start this job? December 2nd. And Eric doesn't want to? You tell him, Eric, what you, how you feel about that date. The problem is, the second is following Thanksgiving. Right. Thanksgiving, the day before, all the way till a few days after, are nightmare travel days. Eric. Uh, well, Eric. Eric, it's for wait, me to get down there. This is unfucking believable what I'm hearing. I'm, this is what you call a job, Eric. Yeah, it's called an inconvenience. Yeah, but. How am I going to be able to... Eric, that's not your employer's... Hold it. That is not your employer's problem. Just get yourself there. If it means getting up earlier, you get up earlier. I mean, I've done everything I could do. I wish, I, I, and I can't believe you don't sound happier. Well, this here's the thing. With, <laughs> I think Johnny was expecting like a thank you. Yeah. Who's to say... That there's actually any open plane flight with any open seat. Wow, we. Who's to say? The airline. Eric, this is and insane. They're, 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 we'll figure that out. That, that'll, I'm sure they're going to figure that out. Eric, oh, it's a reoccurring role. Eric, Did you explain to him how important yeah, that is? You're talking about a regular role on a series. People, actors wait for this the entire life. Is he going to have a problem getting there every time and have a problem with whatever date? You know, I'm sure someone can show you. Yeah, I got people, but I asked them and they gave me the wrong information. <laughs> Howard, with Game of Thrones, it all pays off. Like you saw the you've whole seen series? the whole no, no, no. season. I've read the books, oh. and uh, it all pays. No, I'm, off. I'm watching it because I like that um, dwarf dude. Uh, Tyrion, he's great. Yeah, whatever his real name is, uh, Peter Dinklage. Peter Dinklage, I like him. My boyfriend. <laughs> yeah. Robin said she'd fuck Peter Dinklage. She loves. I Peter. think he's fantastic. I like him too. He's good for like short people, little people, or whatever the name is. Little people because <laughs> short people. He's got he's got dignity, you know. He's he's like he's not. He's not just there for comic relief, right? He's not just the like the Wizard of Oz kind of character, yeah. <laughs> you know. Which usually, yeah. I was. Uh, he should call himself Peter the actor. I was thinking about him. <laughs> now, Eric's Eric the actor. <laughs> right. <laughs> Peter the actor. Then he would have no dignity. Speaking of Eric the actor, I got to tell you, you know, it was funny. Uh, Chuck Zito, I love Chuck Zito's show. Chuck last night had on Tony Danza and Steve Gutenberg as his guest. Really? Yeah, it was a really good show. And they're talking about acting and stuff. 
And would it, and, would it, um. And you know, Chuck is always sort of, he's sort of like Eric the actor in that, like, Chuck won't do certain things mm. if his, like, he, he, if he wouldn't do it in real life, he's not doing it on screen. Right. And then Tony Danza was trying to explain to him, well, you're an actor. It's okay to do weird things because you're an actor. And Chuck would right. have you, none of it. You could kill somebody on screen, but that doesn't mean you're going to be killing people right. in your real life. Or if you shit your pants in, 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 a, in a scene, it doesn't mean in real life you'd shit your pants. So Chuck would have none of it. And it reminded well, me. Well, that's me. what I was going to say. If they were talking about acting, what did Chuck talk about? Oh, Chuck! No, <laughs> Chuck, hey, Chuck was talking about his five seasons on Oz and all that. But it was, it was, it, this was the greatest conversation. Listen to this. This is, uh, this is so much fun because, you know, Chuck's like, "Hey, fuck you! I'm not doing certain things." And Tony's like, "Well, then stop complaining that you can't get acting work because if you're an actor, right. you, you, you got to be do, willing to do stuff." And you, I, I was saying in the car how great you were in Oz. <laughs> oh, thank you, man. You're thank really you. Good. We had a good and time. I was saying, you're a dramatic actor. Uh, you know, it hard. was off for six. That's Steve Gutenberg. Years I did it for five years. There was a lot of nudity on that show. I <laughs> yeah, I, but I never. I told Tom right there. I said, "You know what? I don't. I don't." First of all, Tom. He goes, I'm going to bring your character back next year, see how far I can push this. He says, I don't do rapes and I don't get raped. Right. You can live with that, fine. He goes, you know, those guys, you're acting. I said, let me tell you something. <laughs> Sticking your tongue down another guy's throat ain't fucking acting. Did you see John Wayne do that? James Tagney do that? Fuck that. <laughs> they say that, uh, uh, you know, you got to, uh, I hate to say this. Uh, to come on. Uh, no, I'm, I'm, I hate to say this, but you're, you're, you are either an actor or you're not. Let's be honest. You're either an actor or you're not. If you're a bad guy and you want to be that guy, that's a character and that's a type. Yeah. But you you can sit here all day and, and, and curse and say, well, like, you know, what's bad. But that's that's what you do. And that's the world we live in. And you guys sometimes <laughs> have to do it. And I'm sorry. There's... Maybe you're just a chicken shit. How's that sound? <laughs> I mean, really. What do you want? Well, I'll tell you something. Is, your, is, there tell something, you something. is there something? There, there, there's one, one thing, right? I, I had a show that with Chad McQueen was it called Red Line. Yeah, I remember that. They yeah. wanted me, when he puts a gun to my head, they wanted me to piss in my pants. Well, you know, they put right. the water in the fucking thing. And I said, that ain't happening. <laughs> 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 the director goes, he goes, that's, that's what's in the script. I said, I ain't fucking doing that. And whatever, whatever the case may be, you know, so the reason you, you can't tell the director, yeah, I, mean, well, I, 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 I know you did, but, I know you did, but, <laughs> but you're over here crying that you can't get a job. That's yeah, all that's I'm all right. saying. That's all right. I, I, listen, yeah. you're going to have to, you know, you're going to have to bite the bullet here. I don't want you to, you know, give <laughs> give up your manhood, but it is acting, you know. It's not real, you know. Yeah, it's, it's, it's acting. Yeah. It's not real. <laughs> Do you know, you remember that guy, uh, what's the fuck's his name, that was born a guy in uh, uh, um, <laughs> Sopranos? <laughs> right. Yeah. That's your only people. People remember that one thing. People uh, remember him for one thing. Hey, remember Peter Green from uh, um, Whole Fiction? Right. By the way, I don't remember the guy who blew the guy. I'm surprised Chuck no. remembers it. That is in Chuck's mind. Yeah. With Ving Rhames, that oh, scene? Oh, yeah, yeah. That's the only, he says, everybody comes up to you, that's the only scene they remember. I don't need people telling no, me. That's I, the only reason I, I, I need. It's I nice to that. be remembered. <laughs> you don't need yes. that. No, yes, I, yes, I, yes. I didn't think about that. That's, that is, uh, ah, we're going to our second break. <laughs> Chuck on the hot seat. But I, I just thought it was really funny because uh, that's the discussion I always have with Eric, the actor. I, you know, I go, Eric, you're acting. You got it. You know, if 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 the part is of a, of, of a certain type of guy, it doesn't mean you're that guy. And it doesn't mean people are going to think you're that guy. Uh, Eric, the actor, you're on the air. Good morning. I was calling this this morning if you. Saw your wife's interview yesterday on Access Hollywood Live. I absolutely did. I, uh, you know, it's hard to keep up with my wife's interviews. She's out promoting this uh, TV show that she's doing uh, called Spoiled Rotten Pets. It airs on um, National Geo Wild, and she went out to LA <clears throat> when I went out, and she was uh, booked up on so many shows. Uh, it was quite quite remarkable the amount of shows. So she, she was on. working too while you were out there. She was. She was busy, and uh, she had so many shows booked. But I did see her on the talk, which I thought she did a great job. And uh, you know, she always asked me uh, how'd I do, and I really, I, I just thought she was uh, great, delightful. And then I saw the Access Hollywood with so there with that empire of his. Big, I'm so jealous of that big picture of Diana De Garmo and him. Oh, look, he blew it up. Blew it no. up and it sits behind him now. It's got a whole thing going on. Is that in his room or part of the screen? I, can't I don't tell. know. I can't it's tell. Part of the screen. Oh. 
But so, where do you have it? You must look at it several times a day. Beat off my, to it. It's on my computer. Ah. Eric, be honest. How many times have you slapped it to that? None. Zero? Really? I doubt it. Well, who are you slapping it to, if not her? Hey, this guy says um, he was watching your webcam, and he saw something weird, too. What is it, Rusty? What did you see? Hey, you know, last night I was on Eric's webcam. I saw him fucking a dog. <laughs> <laughs> Man. Eric, how do you respond? Is that I, true? No. <laughs> Eric, I know this is legendary Matt Rusty Staub, and he doesn't lie. Yep, I'm telling the truth. I also saw him doing a Nazi salute and beating a Jewish kid. Hey, are you the same Rusty who calls into public access? Yeah, that's me. I, I listen to you all the time. I love to call. I, I, What's that show you call? Uh, Beyond the Rabbit Hole? Yeah, Down the Rabbit Hole. Down the Rabbit Hole, yeah. Yeah. You're very good on that. I love Eric's webcam, too. He's doing some wild shit on there. What do you do on there? What would you catch him doing? Well, I saw as he was doing, uh, he was burning a cross. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Rusty, uh, Rusty, outfit. Rusty, I want you to hold on. Yeah, I want to talk to you, Rusty. Uh, <laughs> is this Paula? Let me see your tits. Uh, oh, Rusty, oh, Rusty. Why? Rusty, don't do that. Rusty, you know, um, I love the phonies. <laughs> the phony, f what is it? He goes, we've had some interesting the calls, calls. Some the cranky, cranky calls. I like the cranky calls, <laughs> but um, not now, Rusty. <laughs> Let's see that. Let's see that shit pipe, Paula. Oh, oh Rusty. 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 Rusty, we're ending the show. <laughs> Rusty, <laughs> this is a. Rusty, would you hold on the line? <laughs> would yeah. you please? I'm gonna talk to you, Rusty. I got nothing better to do, Paula. Especially you. <laughs> oh my, Rusty. I love you, Paula. Oh, thank you, Rusty. I love you too, Rusty. Uh, Rusty's one of our cranky callers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking bizarro. What flat is she from? She's from. She's one of those like flower children, like. Kindergarten teacher, you see. You know? Oh, Rusty. <laughs> I, my favorite one is where she, it's her last show, and right. now she wants to make friends with Rusty. <laughs> <laughs> and, you, and then you apologize to her. Don't go, Rusty. <laughs> Rusty, wait. Um, can you hold the line, Rusty? <laughs> it's our last show. And it's our last show, and you're like, no. I miss you, Paula. <laughs> no, come on, Rusty. <laughs> I have to go back to the flower patch. How did she look, Rusty? Was she hot? Uh, she looks a little older than she sounds. Oh. She was hot in her day, I'm sure. <laughs> oh, Rusty, but that's terrible. You probably gave her a thrill. So now instead of Paula, you watch Eric the Midget and you saw a finger up his ass? Uh, I did. I saw a finger in his ass. I saw him, uh, uh, what else? I saw him shooting up. I saw him. Shooting up? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wow. He had a huge needle, bigger than him. <laughs> That'd be funny if, like, Eric had some creativity. And was, like, do, like, people would catch him doing weird shit That's on right, that. That's right, tie it off. But he has no sense of humor. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I tuned in since my show was canceled, and I was horrified. I saw Eric getting a plumpkin. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Richard, this is your dad. I tuned in, and I saw Eric getting given a blowjob. <laughs> oh, God. Eric, yeah, he, Eric, do you ever do anything on that cam besides sit there? No. <laughs> Not really. It, I do my shows. I seen him hunker down on a feller's car. Why don't you do something funny? Like, an, if you want to get some traffic to that website of yours, I'm thinking, you know, I'm thinking showbiz now. Announce that today at 12 o'clock noon. Uh, you're gonna light an M80 in your mouth. No, like you're gonna, oh, you're gonna. Uh, even taking a shower, Howard. Mm. I would love to see Eric mm. take a shower. Well, he's not going to be naked on there, but I'm saying, do something, like, do something, like, at 12 o'clock, all you have to do is, uh, hmm, let me what? think. Oh, do something. Come on, well, come on, I'm thinking, he's got to do something to get people to tune in. Would you, would you light yourself on fire for, like, two <laughs> seconds? Oh, oh. <laughs> no? All right, let me think. See, I'm telling you, he doesn't have to be, show everything when he takes a shower, but I'd love to see how he mm -hmm. takes a shower. I don't even want to see the stuff he's going to show. <laughs> shaving your eyebrows what about that like you'll you'll shave off your eyebrows at do noon. you want to know what he could do seriously clean your ears at yeah. noon today on your website you're going to take q-tips and clean your ears i'd what watch are your that. daily activities what do you have to do yeah, what are you going to do today i'm going to make a couple of phone calls and then you know, later at 7 30 my time is idle gives back that's till 10 o'clock and I do that show, and then I, last night I was on here. I did Idol 
and then I did the. Um, no, but I mean, what are you going to do today to like maintain yourself? Right. I mean, when do you eat? What What do you do? I wanted to see you eat. I don't eat on cam. That's what we want you to do. Yeah, I'm saying you got to do oh, something well. on cam. <laughs> I mean, do something. We like to see what you do. I've played video games with the camera watching. Nah. That's not what I mean. Put the camera in your kitchen and see if you could fit in your blender. Hey, you wanted my advice? I'm looking at you now. That you couldn't fit in any appliance, fat ass. <laughs> well, not many humans can. You know what, Eric? <laughs> that goatee and mustache? I'm not yeah. thinking it's working. I mean, even that, just it's shave it off. 